die just too fast. Yeah, I kill him in stride. I love all my haters, they concealing their pride. Went from humble beginners to numerous winners. I took a few losses, you know I'm here to still got chicken to fry. Know some people out here picking a side. Know I'm out here picking a lot. Watching the face, watching the snakes, slither, striking the time. TDE, it's the family, we them dominant dogs. Top cheering, when them comments evolve, we out for it all. Rock out, he ain't dropping the ball. Prime time, who want it with us? Us. Got clarity, longevity, like bust and bust. Run that back turbo. 20 years of madness. 20 years of magic. 20 years of mad. I do what it takes to win. I came first place again. I'm coming too hard, no, they won't see me fall. I ain't never gonna let them win. How do you describe a playmaker? Oh, he keeps going! Unpredictable. Mm. Unbelievable. Rowan, great throw. Unstoppable. 20, the 10. Touchdown, Falcon. Mama love when I live it right. Daddy raised me survive and fight. Now they watching me on prime time. Now they watching me on prime time. Now they watching me on prime time. Who's ready to be the cheat code? Kobo, stick work on a thousand. Who's ready to break the game? Who's ready to change history? She's on a path to a million dollars. It's unbelievable. Been a problem my whole life. Mama love when I live it right. Daddy raised me surviving. Come on! Now they watch me on prime time. The great feast is upon us. Now they watch me on prime time. Before the feast comes the harvest. Now they watch me on prime time. Tonight, the story of the MCS next champion will be told. So take a seat at the table. The harvest challenge starts now. Belly up to the table, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Harvest Challenge live from our EA Studios in Redwood City, California. There is the beautiful Madden NFL 24 Harvest Belt, and we've got our first semifinal ready to go as the six-time belt winner, Henry, takes on one of the OGs, the Madden 16 Challenge competitor, too tenacious for a spot in the Harvest Challenge Finals and a chance at that belt and $30,000. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape, see how these two size up. User, I'm not gonna lie, that if this was a scale, it'd be pretty heavily weighted towards Henry, but we know that once they get on this stage, the numbers don't matter. It's all about what you do on the virtual gridiron. It doesn't matter when you look at the tail of the tape, but I'm gonna be honest, whoo, the scales is heavily lopsided. Mm -hmm. But one thing about Tenacious, we know this guy knows how to play man. He's a labber, he's a guy that sits down, breaks down every aspect of the game, how zones react, how players gonna react. He knows what you're in before he snaps the ball. He's a very smart man player. By the way, Ryan, how, how amped did it get you for this game with the legend 20 years after Madden 04, Michael Vick doing our intro? Man, I had chills. I had some flashbacks just seeing Mike, Mike Vick on the screen. For all the Madden OGs, I mean, he was literally the glitch, the cheat code. Mm -hmm. He could run around. He had an arm, he was throwing daps down the screen, down the field, but just seeing Michael Vick, man, he means so much to the game of Madden. The kick is away. We welcome everybody watching on Twitch, on YouTube, on Twitter, and on TikTok. 
as we get this first semifinal underway, let's take a look at Two Tenacious, get to know him a little better. He competed in that inaugural MCS Live event, the Madden, the MCS 16 Challenge. This is his third major appearance. His first Final Four, though, uh, 25 years old. User in Madden 25 makes you a veteran. Yeah, and, and you know, I found out he's a bartender, but he really don't know how to bartend. He said, all I really do is pour drinks. I was like, you really not a bartender. If you can't make no mixed drinks, does that technically make you a bartender? <laughs> What were you asking him for? You I mean, for I was like, can you, can you make a Mata? Can you make a Long we Island? Were you in a pina colada? Yeah, I mean, he, he was just like, listen, you was, all I'm really doing is just pouring the tap. That's it. He's 8-0 this year in the MCS, Ryan. He is, has not lost a game. Uh, we talked about how he, he's the only one who's undefeated. He, it's the only tournament that has, he registered for. And all he did was run through it without losing a game. Sometimes coming into this game with a fresh mindset can help you out. And when people hadn't seen you competing at the main stage, they're not as comfortable with you. So it could end up being an advantage here. He may have something that we don't know. Now, everything that we've seen from his playbook, from Colts to Chiefs, he's, this is going to be a meta matchup. It's not a good matchup uh, to be playing against Henry. All I'm saying is that he could win this belt, and users are still going to be like, but can you make me a pina colada? <laughs> he's going to be like, no, man. <laughs> Notice Henry here in the 3-3. One of the things he pointed out is this is great at stopping the run, so he can play the pass and the run, and you know for Henry, he loves to stay balanced. Back to pass. He's got Warren Moon at quarterback. He finds Michael Irvin underneath. What's crazy, looking at the rosters user, we got four competitors today, all four using different QBs. Yes, that's, you know, that's very unique. We haven't seen that situation been before. While. Because normally these guys, you know, they end up understanding who's the best player to use, and kind of all of them are using Big fourth down to start things off. Good defense from Henry. Fourth and three. Ball's at the 32-yard line. Warren Moon at quarterback. Alvin Kamara in the backfield. Three-man rush from Henry. Lots of time for Moon. He'll look underneath. He finds Michael Irvin. Picks up the first down. Maybe the first test there, Ryan. Something to maybe settle the heart rate down a little bit, picking up a fourth down. Yeah, that was huge. And Denatius is running that double post action, so he's going to look at that drag first. But if there's no pressure, he has that post for a touchdown over the top. Tackles. Big play right there. You know, one thing Henry touched on about it, he said, you know, Tanner would throw you a pick. He's blind. And so he kind of feels Did like. Did you say that or are you ad-libbing that? No, those are word for word. Not wow. You. you know I would never sit here mm. and tell no lie up here, Nick. Come on now. You can go back and check the car facts. Check the car facts now. Come on. I would, I would never put words in somebody else's mouth. Over the middle. There's Michael Irvin once again. Irvin been the main receiver so far as he's caught all three of Warren Moon's passes and tenacious inside the 40 to the 39 yard line. Quickly back to the bunch formation in the shotgun. He's got a bunch over to the right side. Solo receiver left side of the field. And again, that's the thing about that double post. You can hit the sidelines. You can get over the top. But that first drag is the look that Henry's going to have to bait and use. So we'll keep an eye on how that works. Able to get a little pressure there. Force an incomplete pass. The first one of the game. The Houston Oiler great in the shotgun. And you're going to see this route combination a lot. You know, where they put the tight end on the corner route. And a lot of times, oh, that's good defense. It's really well covered. Moon will take off and he'll pick up six in the scramble. I like the patience that Tenacious is playing with. You know, if he has a quick read, he's going to make that quick read. He took the chance to be patient and picked up some good yardage right there. Looks oh, like a dangerous wait, throw into coverage. That should have been going the other way. Moss almost played a little defense right there to make sure Henry didn't have a pick. And that's what Henry was talking about. He said, Tanner will throw you one. That should have been That one. might have been the one. That should have been one on the opening drive. But here's the thing. A lot of these guys elected to go with, you know, double deep outs rather than having pick artists on the floor, so on the field. So if you had pick artists out there, you would have chance that would have been a huge turnover. That's true. But you, we, we both know deep out is the best defense ability on the game. That's Nap a move. open that picked off and pull him out with the interception. How appropriate is it that Henry created this Isaiah pull him out and he gets a pick with his own created player. I'm glad you mentioned that. That's something he said before the game is that he created his power mile and the one thing about the power mile is he has great not just height but the change of direction and you just saw it on display there. So Henry taking care of business with the card that he created as you mentioned Nick. 15 MCS major appearances tied for first all time 10th final four the most all time and $807,000 in his pocket, user. What hasn't this man done? 10 Final Fours is insane. It's insane. <laughs> that is they insane. They tried to change it this man. year and make it only Final Fours, and guess what? He's still qualifying. For 10 <laughs> Final Fours is it's insane. It's single Elam. Maybe Henry won't be here. Guess what? He's here again. Oh, my goodness. 
but again, the game behind the scenes and that double post action, you got the drag and the post over the top. So Henry was baiting that the whole time. And Watch look at this. this. Parham's wide open. He has a touchdown with Parham. Instead, he tries to throw to the inside receiver that looked like McLaurin. And when you got pull him out right there, Ryan, with his height, it's so tough to get it over. And notice Henry doesn't even have a pick artist on that power man. So he's he's getting these picks off of his timing. So when you talk about being good at the game, he's labbed all those things. So that user timing on the catch defensively is elite from Henry. What's crazy, users, you look at this game, Henry already up a stop. Am I the only one that in the back of my head is going, oh, this game might be over? Uh, it's first quarter. I don't, I don't think you're the only guy who thinks that. I mean, you know, the first pick, dropped it, very next play he throws an interception. And that's what Henry, like, you know, it's the thing about it. Henry knows your game and he knows what you're used to. So he, he kind of goes into the game like, I ain't worried, this guy's gonna beat himself. And that's what you kind of start to see. He just sits back and watch you throw right at him. And then he's like, okay, I'm gonna just play my game, take what's given, not turn the ball over. And let's see how this pans out. In the words of the great philosopher, Rasheed Wallace, ball don't lie. <laughs> and, and, and again, as I mentioned, if you're going to beat Henry, I don't think it's ever going to be with the meta. You're going to have to have to have something unique and too tenacious. That Henry has had thousands and thousands of reps against that bunch. Underneath to Camara. So we talked about four different quarterbacks from these four players. User, he's got Troy Aikman out there, gift wrap, gunslinger, and as you mentioned, as Ryan mentioned, set feet lead. The only one using that set feet lead ability. Yeah, set feet lead. You know, that's a velocity, Kim. So the ball has more zip on it, and that's big. Uh-oh, Alvin. And here's the thing. Anybody who's played against that set feet lead, you can get some ridiculous passes through that before or prior were getting intercepted. But like you said, user, that zip. So we may have a situation where Henry gets a little more aggressive, takes a few more chances, and that set feet lead may be stronger than the deep out KO that you mentioned that's really good on defense. Stepping up with Aikman. He's got all sorts of time. Good pocket. And he still takes a sack. How about Tenacious defense stepping up Vaughn Miller in the backfield? That was good defense. Tenner had everything covered out there. Aikman back to pass. Yeah, there's double post open. Looking for Wilson. He's got him over the middle to the 20, to the 34-yard line, excuse me, as Garrett Wilson comes up with the catch. Boy, I bet you Garrett Wilson's pushing Zach Wilson could throw it like that every once in a while. The Jets offense is a little <laughs> tough out there. Alvin Kamara underneath. He'll pick up a first down. And that's that new Tyreek Woolen out there on the field right there. Well, making you mean the, the one that everybody is watching today to earn. Correct. Correct. Everyone's watching, trying to see if they can earn that Tyreek Woolen. Guess what? You're getting a first look at it right now. Created Tackle. by the beast named John. Mm -hmm. yes. Created by John Beast. And guess what? It's not bad. I've, I've, I've looked at the stats. This is actually an insane Beamer. card to be given away in the stream. Speaking of giving away Tenacious defense, giving away an easy touchdown, Jamar Chase to the house. Henry up 6 0. Yeah, and, and with that set feet lead ability, you saw there was no hesitation. He just streaked up the same, and then you cannot react. The users, the defenses don't react in time. So hats off to Henry for using the ability. Shout out Beast Name John. Uh, but he knows he should be here right now. But Henry is doing a good job, man of just taking time and I think it's just scary. You're not going to beat him with his own offense. You know, you got to be off meta. You got to You can't show him a look that he used to run in thousands of times again. That's a beam right up the seam. Did you see that set feet? Lead? Very poetic. That's nice. <laughs> well, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I kinda Our mean. own Dr. Seuss over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I, I ain't even really put He would not throw that on a train. He would not throw that on a plane. <laughs> And then you see Tenacious going to a five wide look, trying to switch things up. And, and Henry just going to keep seeing, sending. He's going to keep screaming. So, you know, he's wanting to bait Tenacious into a silly throw. You already have one. And, and I hate to say it, user, if this is going to be another, he might come out and get routed here. He looks underneath. I felt like he had the streak. I thought he had that triangle open yeah, down the I field. I felt like he had the streak. You can't play timid now. That's one thing you can't do when you're playing against the champ. And I think if you're tenacious, you got to start painting up those corners and the sidelines. You got to get Henry's user out of the middle. His user is way too he got good. He's got him over the top. Maybe. Can he get it to Moss? Oh, KO. Really good KO. You saw it light up right away. That's why you have those deep KOs. And again, he had set feet lead. Yes. That, that. would have been a touchdown. <laughs> And you kind of ask yourself for the route combination because Tenner has Hot Route Master out here. Is it worth it? Because you see, is he really cooking up Hot Route plays where he needs it? Here we go, fourth and six. The I third, fourth down that Tenacious is faced, by the way. Moon back to pass, stepping left, throwing left. He has a man. It is Wilson. And Wilson up to the 39-yard line. Garrett Wilson picking up a first down, and that's 
Got to be at least a little bit of a deep breath for Tenacious not turning that ball over. He's in business. You know, Ryan, I heard you say, you know, you got to be off meta to beat Henry. When you look at the group of four guys that we got out here, who, who do you think has the best please, chance? Please. That's uh -oh. a book. Uh-oh, there it is again. Isaiah, pull him yeah, out. There, With the there, interception there. going the other way. Can Henry make this to the house? He's inside the 40, to the 30. Down on park, little turtle, and pull him out. We'll take this to the 22-yard line. And there's that grin you never want to see <laughs> from the six-time champ. Again, man, you got to stay away from the middle of the field. Henry has maybe the best user that, we, yeah, the best user one great. I want oh. you to hear that, oh, that oh. we've ever seen. So oh, no. you got to hit the sidelines. That's and a then one play, one score, 84. Randy oh, Moss puts him up two corner. scores. This could get ugly. He said he could throw a book. I didn't know he meant multiple he went, books. He went, he went a library I didn't know ball. he meant we was throwing a user. library out user. here. That was the same play. <laughs> yes, it was. The difference was what? Set feet lead. Set feet lead. Now, I know we came out here to see great matchups, but like we said, you know, sometimes you can end up winning a matchup just the way you built your team. If y'all remember, y'all remember my guy, what's my guy, Voltarex, when he came out mm -hmm. here with no quarterback. He really just had a better team, better scheme set up, and that's why he was so much ahead of everybody. If you Who's look right pick? here. I mean, that was red the whole way. Too easy when he got pulled out back there, and then here's that set feet lead, zips it in, Tate has no chance. But guess what? That's the same streak. Mm -hmm. That's the same streak that, you know, Tenacious had for a touchdown that Henry was able to recover to that now Henry throws it and he gets it through. So, guys, you got to put the most velocity on your quarterback. It may work, work against regular players, but at this stage in the MCS, you have to have it on. Set feet lead is a must right now. Y'all take notes. We'll catch up with Ryan Hollins at halftime. Second and 11, 4-2 Tenacious. This, he was like, this seems like, I mean, to understatement, a massive drive. Two teenagers need six here to stay in this game. He, he doesn't. Like, he's facing, seems like he's on fourth down every other play. Then he's throwing interceptions, and he's down 14. He doesn't get the ball at half. You know, right now in this situation, you kind of wonder, do you try to manage the clock? What do you do in this situation? Because, you know, things could get real ugly. And you, you hate seeing so many fourth downs so early. From Washington Husky. Warren Moon in the gun, looking to the corner route, nice. chicken par ham down to midfield. I mean, talk about a guy who inside is is not just a good player, but physically built six foot eight. Yeah, Parham is easily the best tight end on the game. If you're not rocking 50 most spirits right now, it's too late. Harvest is coming. <laughs> it's too late. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry about it. Stay tuned for the harvest reveal tonight because we'll tell you what you can do there. <laughs> All my budget ballers, this is now the time for you to start racking up on the harvest. I mean, on the most feet. This is not the moment. <laughs> 8.30 p.m. Eastern, we got the harvest reveal. You should tune into that one. Two-minute warning, bunch to the right side. Ricky Williams. Oh, man, Ricky Williams. Offset behind, left of Warren Moon. Hands it to Williams. He's trying to get this run game going, user. It's about two, three yards at a time, which is cool when it's a tie game, but you're mm. down 14. Yeah, and see, in this situation, I'm not mad at him taking this clock, you know, because sometimes you can end up doing more damage than others. Like, if you go down, let's say if he scores real quick and he leaves, you know, Henry with two minutes left or even a minute left, then Henry goes down and scores. That whole touchdown was irrelevant. So if he managed this clock, takes all the clock, score, that actually counts for a stop for him because Henry's going to get this ball after half anyway. How about another fourth down, though? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. He's facing too many fourth down situations. Eventually, Henry's going to tighten up, make the right adjustments, and get up with another, come up with another stop. Fourth and two. Empties the backfield. Moon alone in the backfield. Five wide set. Moon back to pass. Rolling left, throwing oh, left. He's no. got Parham underneath. Juke move back inside to the 30. Nice stick work there from two tenacious. He'll get down to the 27 and pick up another first down. Man, not even going to lie, Nick, when I saw the delay route combination on the field, I was like, you know, that's kind of cute. I believe that's going to be open if he comes out on his route, and he did. So that's a nice route combination that Tenor put out there. Hand off to Williams. Uh oh No room up the middle. By the way, you talk about Warren Moon. Talk about set feet lead for Henry. Warren Moon's got gift wrap, anchored extender, and gunslinger, and hot route master. Yeah, the anchor extender is just crazy. I mean, <laughs> the AP. Chat, y'all let me know. Y'all going to be out there with anchored extender. So we talk no, about velocity camps. He does have slinger. He just doesn't have set feet lead. Slinger's not a velocity camp. It's just you get the ball out faster. And that's the big difference. Set feet lead is the only uh, velocity camp that you have. Set feet lead is 
uh, gunslingers basically quick draw all the time. Yeah. So you talk about like that trade off. He went with slinger hot route master. When he should have just went set extender. feet lead, you know, gunslinger. And, and anchored route. extender? No, and never not, anchored extender. I don't know. Okay. I mean, sometimes you try to be too cute. I mean, I'm be honest. Sometimes you just try to be too cute. An anchored extender is a too this cute this ability. This isn't a stone wall situation. <laughs> yes, man. This isn't a stone wall. Third and two, 44 seconds left. Three tight end set. He's going to run to the stretch to the left side. I'm getting Madden 20 flashback. Run, Ricky, run. He picks up a first down, under 40 to go. I like how he managed the clock. If he can get seven here, this is big. You can't settle for three in this situation. You got to get seven. Oh, nice. Nice cut inside. Ricky Williams fighting his way down to the one yard line. 18 seconds and counting. He will use a timeout. That's great clock management by Tenna. Yeah. Listen, live. Look, look. If he can bit, get seven, he needs to get in here. And all he has to say is one stop. One stop. Henry will get the ball to start the second half. So it's imperative that he gets seven here. Can't be settling for three. He's got two timeouts. Ball is right at the one yard line, maybe just inside of it. Stretch left bubble screen. Y'all know what's coming. A little motion oh. jet sweep Ooh. and Kittle with the journal into the end zone. How about two tenacious, a beautiful drive to end the first half. There was a masterful drive that he put together. The way they used the clock left Henry with only one timeout. I'm thinking about 18, 17 seconds left in this game. That's huge. You know Henry right now. He's just, oh, and he's going for two. He's thinking, he's, he's not just thinking about it. He wants, he's playing the analytics game out here. This is a very Doug Peterson, Nick Sirianni analytics move. Going for the two point conversion. Jet sweep again, possibly. Two Stretch. tight end, two you, wide you always receivers. have to respect the bubble. Here comes the motion. Here comes Irvin. He journals oh. inside. He's got something there. Two mm. point conversion. It's 14 to 8. Now he's ran that twice. <laughs> I think the third I, time's going to. I promise you, Henry. Go pop that he, journal. Listen, he's, he's putting it in his book, noted. And if it comes down to a situation, game on the line, fourth down, I believe Tenna might have a tendency to go back to it. Hopefully it works for him. Take a look one more time at the little jet sweep touchdown. This one was Kittle. Journals it into the end zone. And then this, we go to Michael Irvin this time. Two plays. And I love how Tenna is doing the journal. As soon as he's getting the handoff, so he's able to control his user and, and get right behind that tight end on the outside. See if Henry, 13 seconds, no timeouts. So if he gets anything in the field of play, it's going to end the half. Good pocket. Because the pressure, nowhere to go. Really, the, what's crazy about this game, user, is because of Henry's defense, he hasn't really had to do anything offensively. It's yeah. been short fields and pretty easy moves. Yeah, and you know, that's the thing about it. You can't come out here and beat yourself. And that's what Henry says, you know, when I talk to him and chop it up, he said, a lot of these guys, they're going to come out here and beat themselves. And Tenor just put them in a situation. And you got he's gift wrap, so you got you to. Gotta... <laughs> Able to swat that one away. He was looking for, he was looking for six foot eight Donald Parham. Let's be honest. That's why you have Donald Parham on the field trying to make those plays. 14 8 at halftime. What? And it oh, will oh. be Henry getting the ball first. And you got to think, too tenacious just thinking one thing. One stop. One, one stop, stop, and I'm back in this game. Yeah, and he has the two-point conversion, so he doesn't have to go for two again if he gets that stop. You know, what? just take it one step at a time. Pump your brakes. Pump your brakes, Jack. Relax. Halftime. Little bit of life. Halftime. Here's semifinal number one of the Harvest Challenge. 14-8, to eight, the six-time champ with the lead. But a great drive to finish the first half. Puts tenacious in... Good position, needs a stop in the second half, but certainly has a little bit of life. We got ladders coming up this weekend, 18th and 19th of November. We got ladders for the Zero Chill Challenge. That's coming up in December. So ladders this weekend, online elimination next weekend, $125,000 prize pool on the line. Those all important MCS points, as we mentioned, 
you still got a chance to qualify for Madden Bowl, and there's a million dollar prize pool in that Madden Bowl. So make sure you sign up right now, MaddenChampionship.com. Open till 1 p.m. on the 19th. You're gonna want to get there the 18th and play those ladders, but sign up now, MaddenChampionship.com. Don't forget to have your EA account linked with your Twitch account to be earning those Twitch drops. We've already seen this Tariq Woolen make plays in our first semifinal, and you earn it just for being here. This is a 90 overall Tariq Woolen designed by the Most Feared Challenge champion, John Beast. As you can see, three standard drop packs on the line. If you watch 150 minutes of content tonight, pretty easy. Just hang out, watch, and earn. And at that 120 minute mark, you'll earn that MCS drop pack, which contains that 90 overall MCS Tariq Woolen. Again, make sure your Twitch account is linked to your EA account so you're earning that Tariq Woolen. What a first half we had. User Ryan Hollins, who is definitely, Ryan Hollins is tall. I know user about 5'10 over there. Break down this first half. Crazy how you're trying to cap and sound 5'10. Ain't nobody shorter than me gonna sit here and tell me I'm 5'10. <laughs> First of all, I'm six feet, and we ain't gonna discuss that no more. Listen, incredible half, first half. I thought things could have got out of hand, Ryan, but I love the way Tanner hand handled the last minutes of the second quarter. You know, taking the clock away from Henry, saying, you know what, I'm gonna use this clock as a mm. stop and get himself back in this ball game. Here's the thing for Tenacious, he has to stop looking deep because the biggest difference we've seen so far is Henry has set feet, set feet lead and Tenacious doesn't. Let's run this clip. So the one thing you're gonna see is Tenacious actually has a touchdown here. He's got Randy Moss here in the slot. He's got a wheel route that's gonna fry man. Run this clip. So as you run the clip, user, take a look here. All right. Freeze this. Let's circle this man. Mm -hmm. Warren Moon right here. No set feet lead. Randy Moss is frying. Look at this is a deep out all the way over here covering the wheel. And you got a wide open Randy Moss. Run the clip. What do we end up seeing here? No set feet lead. This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. All the way over there. Ronnie Lack comes and makes that play. And as you can see the big difference in that play, right? I, I used the green line because you had the green light. It was open. Mm. It was open. Yes. Just because you had a green light, just like on 2K, don't mean you're going to cash out. And that's what happened right there as we take a look at the difference between the next play, pull that up, we're going to see Henry's play, and he has set feet lead. Now, my guy Tanner is out here with tape, and he has lurk artists on tape trying to creep on the end so we know he can make a ability. He can jump and yeah. pick the ball off. And as we'll spot like this once again, you take a look at the quarterback right here, Aikman. Aikman is the guy that has set feet lead. We talked about how all four of these guys have different quarterbacks. This is the reason why Henry is using Aikman. Go ahead and run this play just a little bit for me. And as you see, we're gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Now, the big difference is this right here. That set feet lead, you're gonna see him zip that ball in. When he zips this ball in, you're going to see he's going to be able to fit that ball in right between the lurk artist, and that's a beamer, just unable to make a play on it. And here's the thing, that's a 6-6 six, six tape. He knew exactly where he was going with the play, but with the set feet lead, we talked about it earlier, you can make plays with set feet lead that you normally can't end up making, so that's a huge play. He's fortunate, user, as, as you mentioned, man, I think if you're tenacious in the second half, you got to work underneath. Unless you have something absolutely wide open, I'm not taking those deep shots anymore because Henry, that deep out, those mm -hmm. deep outs are They're gonna converging and making plays. They're going to get there, and that's the big difference. If he had set feet lead, he would be able to – Fit the ball yes. in between there, and those deep outs wouldn't be able to make such plays like they have. Now, he's had some plays open, but because he doesn't have that Kim, like you said, he's going to have to stop looking deep and basically do what he did this last drive. Dinkin dunk his way downfield. I love how he put the delay blue route. But mm. listen, Henry is taking notes to all the little cute routes that he's bringing out there. The little jet sweep for the touchdown. You know Henry's checking in his book. Okay, he like to use this on fourth down. He like to go to this when he's inside the red zone. I want to see if Tanner can keep cooking up new routes, new dots, trying to catch him off guard. And here's the thing. Henry keeps sending heat. So you know somebody's open. He just has to step up and make the plays. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, we're going to throw it back to Nick for the rest of the game. We'll see if Tennis is going to be able to come back live. <laughs> Ryan User, thank you so much. In the spirit of giving ahead of the holiday next week, let's give away some AKAs that went live in-game on Monday. First, let's give away Jimmy Smith, AKA Lightning, the Jags legend. The first giveaway of the night goes to Jess with the Juice. Congratulations, you're taking home that Jimmy Smith item. How about we also give away Dominique Rogers Cromarty, DRC, former Giant shutdown specialist. This mutt item goes to 
Oli Sasquatch. Congrats. Check your whispers on Twitch. You'll be hearing from us shortly. A reminder, we'll be revealing the first release of the Harvest program at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. You're not going to want to miss that. Might have some more giveaways for you. Who knows? So make sure you stay tuned for that. Second half action, Tenacious and Henry. 14 to 8. Henry with the ball first to start the second half. Nick Mazesco, one great user. Ryan Hollins. I like that you tossed it back to me, user. Then you walked over here like, well, I'm technically throwing it back to myself because I mean, I'm on the call. You have to work the rest of the game, sir. Are you sure? Yeah, you do. I mean, they did tell me to get back over here. He's here we go. I thought I was going to take a break. Where's Ty? <laughs> Bring him back. Hey, user, if you're tenacious right now, do you feel like he's got to send heat or he can it's sit a back? Beamer. Beam. I really, I, honestly, I don't know what Tenacious is going to be able to do to get the stop. That's another play right there, just the velocity cam, able to fit that ball in there. And, you know, you see how important it is. Henry's telling you, listen, what's the most important building? Not hot route master, not gift wrap, even though he has it, is set feet lead. I don't know if you've seen Have you seen? I think Tyler Davis has been at, like, eight bachelor parties and nine weddings over the last four months. I think he's, <laughs> he's, he's at the age where everyone's getting married, all his friends are getting married. So I think he's probably... By the way, 30 years old. I didn't know that. I mean, we we got to be honest. Beamer. That's a, that's ridiculous. That's There's no way that's you should be able to get that pass through. But this set feet lead ability is is so juiced right now, and Aikman's the only one in the game with it. I, I don't think it's juice. I mean, it, because you know, you can, to we listen. The cards, right? We, we gotta watch our words because you know. You know, don't yeah, say it. Don't hey, say, hey, say it. Don't hey, say hey, it. This hey, man hey, hasn't hey, been here in two months. You and know. He, man, he hasn't tuned in since then hey. because he catches so much flack. I'm just saying you got to be careful because he who shall not be named. Hey, man. He's not Voldemort. Hey. Case Spade going to get rid of the lead. It's you know going to be saying? gone. You know, when you start acting like a building so overpowered, all of a sudden, you know, like, miraculously things start getting, they're just not the same way they used to be. That's all I'm saying. I mean, you're just throwing slander out here, right? That's up the scene, up. Alvin Kamara to the end zone. Touchdown for the sixth time. I, I mean, I, I don't know what you do right now. This set feet lead ability, Henry doesn't have to hesitate. When he sees a man open, Once he's open he's he the gets the ball. Yeah. He can fire it in there. And so what he pretty much has to do is cover everything. Mm. Or hit everything. I mean, I, me personally, I think you got to blitz him. You got to give a chance. You got to blitz him. You got to see if you, you got to hope at this point he makes a mistake. Maybe you get an under pressure and watch this user. Alvin Kamara sneaks out the backfield. There's two, three guys over there. His matter. user just can't get there. And, he, and he's lurking on Miller who can't jump. Von Miller has no lurk on us, can't jump. So I'm, I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure he got snapped right there. He's not trying to lurk with Von Miller. But like you said, Tenner is one of the only guys pausing to make those adjustments because he's running that 4-3-E, that 4-3-6-1 even mm -hmm. defense. And a lot of guys have switched to the dollar defense or the, the nickel 3-3, which we see Henry running. And, you know, that 4-3, yes, it worked doing the most fair challenge. But that's not it anymore, if you ask me. You have to be able to dial, dial up blitzes, get these linebackers to shoot through the A gap, whether it be a one second or two late, because I don't think 4-3 is it, Ryan. Yeah, the 4-3 four, four is a little tough. You're not able to lurk. The coverage hasn't been there, but you see Henry's able to stop the run. So, you know, you would think out of a heavy nice ascent, you'd there. be getting the pressure. That was a really good flood concept. There goes Wilson. Yeah, he, shot he put a lot of stress on the user. Right, and that's a nice concept that I've seen other guys running. You know, they're doing, you know, the double corner route because the top corner route is going to be able to push that 30 out so they can throw it up underneath because if not, that 30 will play that corner out, you know, no matter what, whether if it's a 10-yard, 15-yard. Okay. And, and use it, that's something I mentioned. That those corners have to get painted because Henry's too dominant in the middle. There's no set feet lead. Well, um, he's going to have to <laughs> – uh, go ahead and get those corner routes going and just pull his user out, make Henry have to adjust, but he's too good at, at, at covering everything inside. And if you start painting the corners, at least the, the hope would be, as he throws this one away, the hope would be, Ryan, you can start baiting Henry to make some moves to the outside. That opens up the yes. middle field. Yes, yes. As you take a look, there's some scenarios right now. Right now, he's 76th in the MCS point standings, but man, can work his way up into the 50s, 40s with, some, with the belt. Lock himself into some Mad Bull scenarios. So this is important for two Tenacious. I know there's two challenges left, but as we know, 
with only Final Fours, it is tough to get back here, user, and so Tenacious has to take advantage of this opportunity. Yes, he does. He, I and mean, you know, he didn't play in the first two tournaments. So I bet you'll be playing in these next two. Yeah. And so I would hope he would be. You know, I know he's hoping he could push push this and somehow be able to get past Henry right here. Warren Moon third and ten over the middle. He finds Randy Moss. Here we go Guess another what? Fourth. It's another fourth down for another fourth down. And, and if you're Henry, you're in a money spot right now. You know, this is going to be incredibly darn near impossible to score the football. So once you're in the red zone, man, in, in this Madden, it is tough to score. He oh, big hit. Hit. oh, he dropped it. A big hit. Oh, Drives that God, one free. Man, that hey, that is that's the first dropped. time we've that seen that route never follow, dropped. that throw route from the right side. All right, Amazing. come on. Use it, boy. And the KO goes crazy. What a hit. And that's a big play by Henry over there, able to get to the curl. I thought, for instance, I saw Henry users break into that curl. I'm like, man, he might get there in time just to break this ball up, and he did. I was thinking maybe Tenor was going to take let's, the drag. Let's see that one more time. He had the drag wide and look open, who it is. and I don't want to say he got greedy, but, you know, he wanted to touch that. You Run can't be mad at him, but yeah. you don't have set feet lead. You can't get that oh, play in there. And, and Henry's user, you know, had the ability, that change of direction, this card he built, making big plays. And then you catch uh, him with an offside was, right there, easy first down. It, what's interesting, that was that Isaiah pull him out again. No KO on that. That was just a straight-up timed-up hit. The drop at the wrong time. Hit everything. One of the new abilities that they added this year to Madden 24, just being able to break there, and Henry showing you, hey, well, if you, he has a chance. You speak really eloquently on that. Did you Did you work on the game? No. EA, <laughs> EA dev, one great user, one great dev? Listen. <laughs> That's K Spade, I got your back, man. I'm that trying to get him. That is the day of K Spade. I've never been mm. in the same room as him. It sounds like he works for works down there. No, no. He's down in Orlando a lot. I'm no. just saying. If you have any problems with the game, make sure you tweet at one great user. <laughs> he will fix them for you. And if you're Henry Knight right now, you just want a milk this clock. Is just yeah, milk you just ready to get out of here. Take as much time as you can. You know he's gonna run the ball on first down to keep that clock going. I, I think the frustrating thing for me seeing this from Tenacious is that he's good. He can go pound for pound <laughs> with the best of them. But coming out without a set feet lead ability, that's been a huge difference. I mean, it's hampered. And Henry's probably smiling right now saying, man, I, I, Nobody I'm has recovering it. to these routes, <laughs> right, yeah. that normally I wouldn't get to. Ryan, I got news for you. He's the only one running set feet lead. Yeah. We aren't and, seeing and, it from anybody else. And that's what I was thinking when I was looking at these guys' roster, how they had set up. Some people still had Lamar. You know, some people. Well, yeah. some series is going to run something totally different from everybody else. That's true. That's true. So that's going to fit his game plan very well. I mean, you can just beam with this set field. I mean, I, I think everybody watching at home, if you're if you're looking to get better, if you're signing up for the Zero Chill Challenge, I think there are going to be a lot of people who maybe weren't running set feet lead before that are looking at this game and going, wait a second, these are the throws I can make with this ability? But honestly, another thing, it, set feet lead looks so dominant right now because Tenor is running 4-3. That 6-1 even, I'm, I'm a, I have to tell you, like when John Beast came out here and ran it, it was hot. It was the hottest on the street. Yeah. It's not the hottest anymore. That dollar and nickel defense with the linebackers coming when they're sending four to five, that's the best <clears> defense. And we're going to see that in the next game with Kobo. And you see Henry running it. And, like, Tenner hasn't sniffed the stop. It didn't really matter if he had six feet, set feet lead or not. He hasn't came close to a stop. How many times have we seen Tenacious stuck on the wrong man? Because you got to set that 61 up. And that ends up being a problem where Henry's already adjusted. So even if you quick snap him, he's ready. Good pocket right there. Slide up out of there with Troy Aiken. Oh, my God, man. Boy, how many times have we heard that level of frustration from somebody playing the six-time champ? Just a, Yeah, that deep sigh. Know, that deep sigh. That's the, we're going to call that – it's going to get monikered the Henry sigh. I mean, you know, it, it, it's like, you know, uh, I don't know if – I forgot the name of the movie. It was like, you know, the, the lady, she was a villain. She said, I'd like to see the light go out. That deep sigh is the light going out. It's over. You know it. <laughs> And if you're Henry, you know, user, do you think he's trying to show any more of his offense oh, no. or he's just no. running the ball, playing no. safe? You saw him quick snap of verticals a few plays ago. No, he, he's just burning time. All, all he's been doing is drivers running, stepping up in the pocket. Him stepping so deep up in the pocket lets me know that he's really just trying to burn time, take off with the scramble, keep this ball on the ground. And, wow, wow. no fumble. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would just turn it off. Yeah, Tenor, you're right. I'll just walk away. I feel you, bro. You, you see the I frustration mean, from Tenacious. That was the turnover. That's what you wanted. You know, Troy Aikman oh, wasn't able to get that. down. And 
uh, Henry knows it, man. He, he's just gonna he's gonna milk this thing out, man. Yeah. It, it ain't no sweeter formation in sports, Can't right? Nini's <laughs> and GGs. Oh, and guess what? I retire. He's one win away from belt number seven. And, and, and did you say I retire? He might have said, I, "Yeah." Uh, we, 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 did we just we, get the the boots left in the ring? Is that what we got? I'm gonna need a replay on that one. That wraps it up here in our first semifinal, as we right. wind we down the final seconds. Henry is now officially the first player to lock a spot in the Madden Bowl. Mm -hmm. He is Madden Bowl bound. He is belt game bound. 21 to eight over two tenacious. Ryan, just a masterful performance defensively from Henry. The one thing you love is Henry's defense, but he doesn't mind playing a, a plain Jane Manila game. You know, he can fire it up. He can get it to a shootout with you, but he can also, also step up and take his time. And this game lacked the fireworks, and I think Henry knew. I don't want to say it was too easy, but I'm going to say it was too easy for him because that set feet lead ability, and you're not going to, even bigger for me, user, you're not going to beat this man running his own offense. Like, that's crazy. You should have been it, it, it running something else. Take a look at some highlights here from this game. We started off with a pick. Who else? Isaiah Polamau over the middle. He was dominant defensively for Henry. Yeah, and you know, we touched on it before the interception started raining in. Henry said, you know, Tenner has a tendency to throw these books, and that's what he did. But if you look, this set feet lead ability, you know, I kind of wonder, like, man, what's more important, the route combination or the velocity, Kim? And Henry came right out here and showed me, look, Listen, you don't really have to have nothing but the basic hot routes when you're able to fit the ball in the open windows. And that's what happened right there. And you see Tenner just trying to make a play, even though Von Miller never had a chance. Didn't matter what he had on him. And right here, that's just a great play by Henry's user. If Tenner would have been patient, took the drag, easily could have kept that drive going on fourth down. But he was facing so many fourth down situations, just unable. And this right here, this is just Henry saying, look, man, let's get out of here. Troy Aikman holding on to the rock. So you know what? Let's not make this game any longer than it has to be. I'm going to hold on to this. And the scramble with Troy Aikman, a wry smile from the six-time champ. 21 to 8 the final. He is on to another belt game. Looking for belt number seven. He joins us at the desk. How's it going? going it's been good. a little bit. Pretty good. It took a month off, but you're back. Okay, I gotta ask. Um, these guys are gonna ask about Seth Feetley and all that, but I gotta ask, <laughs> how cool was it getting to make some plays with that Isaiah Pole Mal that you created? I mean, he went crazy <laughs> in the middle of that defense. Yeah, it's, it feels good to uh, go crazy with the car you made. You know, I, I put him out. I told people this is gonna be the best user in the game. And you backed it up. I, I'm, glad, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I could show uh, today why I think he is the best user. You know, he has the agility, the height, the speed. You know, everything you need, so uh, it definitely felt good. And, you know, we talked about Tenner. You said he had tendencies to throw books. Did you know he was going to start throwing that many books that early? Nah, honestly, I was a little shook on defense because he's been playing good versus a lot of people. So I didn't, you know, I didn't know what we were going to get for real. But uh, after that first interception, that's when I, I, I kind of, like, settled in. I was like, okay, yeah, this one. I felt like I was playing good defense too. You know, there was a lot of third and fourth downs. Yeah. You know, he was there was a, a lot, lot of fourth downs, man. <laughs> there was a lot of fourth downs. I think we counted six of them. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, I felt confidence on uh, confident on defense, and if I feel like super confident on defense, I feel like I can win any game. Clearly, we're over here going crazy about the set feet lead ability, and we thought that was the biggest factor. And also, him trying to run your own offense against you was wild. Was there a point where you were looking and going, man, I'm completing everything easy, and he's floating books? Yeah, so, like, you know, that set feet lead, one of the big plays was, I think I was on, like, a, a third and long or something like that, and I hit a post over the middle, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without set feet lead, I don't think I complete that pass because he has he had a knockout right behind me ready to go. So, uh, set feet lead, big thing. I'm surprised I'm the only one here using it. Mm. Uh, it's, it's probably the best quarterback ability next to Gunslinger, so... Uh, yeah, I'm happy I'm the only one with it. <laughs> yeah, <I'm happy. laughs> and when you think about that, like, did I really just come out here? Did they really just let me come out here with the only set feet lead? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. But <laughs> are you, maybe they know something. Say, are you hurting without, because you don't have Hot Route Master, and a lot of people are going with Hot Route Master, deferring and not going set feet lead. Why no Hot Route Master? Why is that more important? Uh, well, I kind of just took it back to the first tournament here, you know, the first tournament, uh, mm. the kickoff, I didn't have any route cams or anything like that, you know, it was, it was all just routes by yourself, but, you know, th this time I can throw the ball faster. I was like, I looked pretty good at the first tournament, so it might work again for this one. All I got to say is, uh, how about that, that curl route play where you're able to break that up with Isaiah, pull him out? That had to have 
not just bit, that had to be a moment where you saw him let go of that ball and it's a little bit of a scramble drill with no ability on pull him out for the knockout still was able to make the play in the end zone yeah that, i'm not gonna lie as soon as he threw it i was like dang let's go score but uh i guess uh i guess he dropped it man i don't uh, crazy user by me i guess Dude, a crazy game. It, it, I mean, you get to go play for another belt. So you get this one. Do you like playing first when you're out here and getting to go sit back and watch a little bit, or would you rather just rhythm into the next game? I always like playing first. Uh, I, I usually never get to play first, so you know. Playing so this is a nice break, isn't yeah, it? Obviously, yeah. you wouldn't. I mean, you, you, you know, the feature, feature game of the night. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, it, it feels good to play first. I always like to, you know, just get it out the way. I just want to know if I win or lose. So. Hey man, well, you got one more game to go. And by the way, you're officially the first person locked for the Madden Bowl. First what? one locked in, so we know that was a big, a big, uh, a, I mean, a big goal yeah. for yours to get yeah. there, and yeah. working towards that million. So congratulations, man. We will yeah. see you later tonight in our final. Uh, we got a semifinal still to come, uh, but as we go to break, a quick note from the Mutt team. Hey, Mutt community. The team has identified a fix for solo battles targeted for this week's season three competitive pass reset on Friday. Since affected players were unable to make progress by completing solo battles, the team is preparing the following make good. Starting 11-3, players that did not receive all their solo battle games will receive 150 CP per week that they have been impacted. We will provide an update in the thread below when this make good is pro processed. Thank you for your patience. One game is down. Henry's in the final. Ho-hum, another tournament where Henry's fighting for a belt, but who will he face? That semifinal is coming up next as the veteran Sum Series takes on the youngest player in the field and offensive mastermind Kobo. It's all coming up next. along with us. This is a colossal battle between two young stars in the sport. This place is going nuts. This is what competitive Madden is all about. These moments, heartbreak on one side, but triumph on the other. You can call him the champ. He's your Madden 23 Ultimate Madden Ball Champion. Semi-final number two, who gets to march into a battle with Henry? That's your prize for winning this game. 
Some Series and Kobo, two wins away from a belt. Some Series, tight, former Titans Club champion, Madden 19 bowl qualifier, taking on the youngest player in the field. They've got their eyes on that belt. That might be the most daunting part about playing in these challengers. That belt sits above you as you play each and every game. It is semifinal number two from the Madden NFL 24 Harvest Challenge, our tail of the tape. Pretty even matchups. Kobo, surprisingly, for being the youngest player in the field, he's actually earned a little more money, but some serious. Ryan, he is a veteran. He has been here before, and he's played on the stage. I think some serious has this whole field shook because the one thing about this year's game, the RPOs are so strong, and he's off meta. These guys play against each other, rep in and rep out, so these games end up being a crapshoot. But some serious is a guy may have found something in the game that we don't know about, so I think every competitor has to be looking over at him, and, and, and you've seen him. I get where the nickname comes from. This boy is locked in. I might have heard three, four words out of some serious. You try to interview him, he, he, he lets you call him bubblegum. When you don't let one great user get under your skin, that's the thing That's right there, man. Good to go. He shook it off. He disrespected man to his face, told him to run bubble gum, man. Listen, I'm not here to get under nobody's skin. Listen, I stand on business. That's it. I just want to ask him how he felt about it, because you know, some people, they feel, you know, they feel like that's a derogatory term, the bubble. And I'm like, listen, man, it starts off with a bubble screen and it a bubble screen and we go for I that. don't like how you disrespect something that's off meta. Shout out my guy Ragusa. He runs the pistol. You, 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 you're talking, the taking dirty shots night, at man. the pistol guys. The, the spread guys. Listen, Come on, I'm man. I'm not taking shots. They know I love it. They know I love them. The dirty night men know I love them, man. As we kick off semifinal number two, again, appreciate everybody tuning in. Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, all the T's. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is our second semifinal of the day. As we get to know Kobo a little better, the youngest player in the field, his third MCS major appearance, his first Final Four, his last time he was here, it was that Madden 23 Ultimate Bowl uh, user. He looks back on that one. He says he was nervous, said he maybe wasn't as prepared as he uh, could have been for that event. But coming in now, having been here before, it sounds like he's as locked in as he's been. Yeah, he has. And I like the fact that even though his lab partner, his buddy Henry, is here, you know, he's like, you know, I haven't been talking to Henry. I haven't, I'm not worried about Henry. Let me take care of something serious. And then I got something special for Henry. Does Henry think he has me? But let me take care of what's in front of me. And it seems like he has a different demeanor. Now, you know, Henry said that could be fake confidence. We're going to see right now. Because guess what? The same way Some Serious got his nickname when he was young, that boy Some Serious right across from him. Big barbecue guy, by the way. A little disappointed. He said he might, he's done the barbecue for Thanksgiving in the past, and this year they're just going out to dinner. So, user and I are disappointed because we, we, we were hoping for that pictures of what that barbecue spread was looking like. On the flip side, Some Serious, Ryan, his third MCS major appearance. This is almost a carbon copy of Kobo's. It's just, He's 31 years old, Memphis, Tennessee, his first live event since that MCS 19 Bowl. And talk about calm, cool, and collected. That's all some serious is. I, I think you're seeing a lot of the OGs coming back into the game. So seeing some serious at this stage is huge. It talks about the equal opportunity. And Nick, you mentioned it. Even though they didn't have set feet lead, these guys made it to a major stage. So you have four different quarterbacks playing is just the uniqueness of the game. Everybody's using different abilities. Obviously, clearly, Henry is still a step ahead, but I just think the diversity in the game this year is off the charts. Kobo out of that Bills offensive playbook. So, user, what does that mean? We're going to see a whole lot of trips tight end. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of trips tight end. Bills playbook is one of the two playbooks that offers that funny post route coming from the tight end, and you know how people love double post out the bunch well, it's a route just like double post, but it's in trips tight end. It's on the tight end, so it's a great man beater, and that's why Kobo is in this book. Got that PA counter go out of there. He's got a little bit of everything in that trips tight end book. And if there's somebody that knows how to move the ball out of trips, user, it's Kobo. This is one of the best offensive players out there and somebody who Henry has gone to as, a, as somebody to lab with because he's so good offensively. Yeah, Kobo, he's a guy. He's very patient, just his game style. He plays very smart in his route combination. He's unique. He's not going to keep hitting you with the same route combination. He's going to adjust to what he sees on the defensive side of the field. Yeah, here's the thing. When that trip's tight end starts beating man, it's an absolute nightmare because you know it tears zone up. You don't can't play zone against trip's tight end. So when you beat man, oh my goodness, you in for a long one. Yeah, and that's a big difference because they have a man beater in that trip's tight end formation. And a lot of people who run trip's tight end don't have that man beater formation because they love to run, you know, bunch and then out of order that. Kobo is fully committing to trip's tight end. Uh -oh. There goes that Woolen with the deep out. There's that Tariq Woolen. Each and every one of you are earning right now. 
by having your Twitch account linked to your EA account. He's made some plays here early. Talk about that Pola Mal. That was from the, the uh, most feared tournament. This Tariq Woolen is very good. Everybody's going to have this guy on defense, so make sure you have those accounts linked and you're earning those drops. Third and seven, looking deep down the field, mm -hmm. but the pressure got there, and it'll be fourth down for Kobo. By the way, abilities. He's running Joe Montana at quarterback user. Gift-wrapped, gunslinger, hot route master. Only other non-X-factor ability out there is Alvin Kamara with Energizer. Yeah, Joe Montana being cut on my squad. I, I don't <laughs> I don't understand how he brought Joe Montana out here. He just hasn't been good, you know, for a while. And, but Kobo, you know, he made it here, so he know more than I do, so, you know, who am I? Look, it's the hot route master in his trip tight end, but clearly we saw what Set Feet Lee does. Fourth down, and he dials up. Oh, big hit, but the ball's out, it's fumbled <laughs> and picked up by Woolen. Woolen going the other way. Some serious uh. forces a turnover, an unconventional way, but laying lumber like a Home Depot in the middle of the field. Big hit stick right there by something serious, and that's what you need, come up with some... You know, that's it. Fluky stops with a big hit play right there. It's a picks great up route the, combo. Picks but up look the at fourth. Vaughn Miller with the hit. Picks up the fourth and then comes right across with a big hit stick fumble. Hey, Garrett Wilson clapping for him. He's like, good fumble. And, and notice what some serious has done on that possession. He blitzed that trip tight end. I think if you're going to have success, there's always going to be somebody open, but you blitz it and that you hope that, you know, uh, Kobo's not going to end up making a read. And I thought he made the right read, but man, great user there. You know, as we take a look at that face cam, you know, I don't know. I, 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 that look, I don't want to see him be shook. But, you know, sometimes people can fold when something bad yeah. happens against them. And, you know, we want to see if he can withstand it, if he can fight back in this situation. Because everything's not going to go your way every game. You're going to have to be able to withstand some adversity. Use a look at that man. Is it, what, what, what does his face say right now? He's some serious. <laughs> so and let's point this right. out. If he's able to get all the way and win this tournament, he goes from... 54th right now in the points to 10th. He gets into the Madden Bowl as of right now if he's able to get that win. So not only that, there's motivation on both sides. For Kobo, you're talking to Kobo. He wants his get back with Henry. Yeah, and, and you know you got, you got a lot of people at home watching. We talked about the Noahs, the Kids, and the d -Cross. They want something serious to get popped right now. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't need that. They don't need what they call an outsider take, yes. taking a spot. You know, we need something serious to, not we, but they need something serious mm -hmm. to get popped. You know, I got to watch my words because huh. they clipping out here and say, oh, user was rooting for Kobo. No, no, no. Well, it, that's what they say. Ryan, you know, as, as a college basketball guy, whenever you're looking at NCAA tournament field, if you're on the bubble, you don't want somebody from, from the SWAC who maybe was, wasn't was going to make it an upset in the conference tournament and taking one of those spots away. Yeah, you don't want any <sighs> upsets. And you just want those top seeds to go ahead, go ahead and knock each bits. other off. Yeah, yeah, you don't want the sleeper. So user is, is absolutely on. And sometimes you need a little help at this stage. And you know, the way this year is, this year's madness made, anything can happen. If you get the right abilities, oh. you know, you, you, you're going to have a chance. All right, so Lamar Jackson, that quarterback for some series, he's running that spread offense. You can see a lot of that gun monster. I remember when Gun Monster came this into the so game? This is so nasty. In, in Madden 20, Gun Monster was crazy. People were it's, like, what is this formation? And, and watch that Jamar Chase has slot apprentice. So this is key in that spread offense because that slot apprentice ability allows him to make those crossers, those posts in the corners. He's got, so the abilities he's got, Jamar Chase with slot apprentice. Alvin Kamara's got running back apprentice and freight train. And then Lamar Jackson, gunslinger, gift wrap. No hot route master. No set feet lead. He's all out here. Trying to use this this gun monster set up some RPO action and user we know how good the RPOs are right. I mean Nick, take a look at this. This is the essence of bubble gum. Oh, <laughs> he's coming out here. Bubble bubble double this bubble. Is the, this is the double essence. tape. If y'all don't know, if y'all don't know what bubble gum is, this is the essence of bubble gum right now. He's coming out here in a monster formation. You're like, is this even legal? Three receivers stacked up on each side. You have to come out and have your defense baseline just to be ready for it because if not, your defenders will be all over the field. Then he's audibling down to spread stack. And then he's like... And look, he so, can just run the ball here with Camaro, a little and, inside zone. And he's, he's, he's just basically playing a numbers game. Hey, you got to respect me when I'm lining them up outside. Otherwise, I can hit you with a quick screen. And then when he audibles so quick to spread, he's able to hand the ball off and get easy runs. He doesn't force himself to make a half... A lot of passes, another Good bubble block screen. on the outside. There's Donald Parham. You yep. move inside, inside the 10 yard line. The, this offense, I mean, listen, if you're Kobo, you knew this was coming, but it's tough to get reps against because nobody's running it. Let me tell you something about spread. You going on the tour. 
I mean, he can audible the bunch. He can audible to, I mean, literally just about anything, anything. out of this formation is, is what users mentioning. When you come out of the monster, if he's not baseline, you're snapping. He's, he's quick snapping and getting yards. <laughs> and, and see right here, Kobo has to show great user to be able to shoot that gap and make that tackle. Because if he's just one step off, that's an easy cutback walk in touchdown for something serious. And I won't be surprised he goes to it again. Let's try to cut back to that Alvin Kamara. Nowhere to go third and goal. And for the first time, it looks like he's going to get out of that gun monster. He's looking to get into bunch. He's just setting some audibles. He's going back to monster. I, but does if he set those audibles, does that mean we're going to see him audible from this monster to bunch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, literally, he can. See, there you audible. go. Look, look at all the formations he can audible to Nick, out of this. Mm -hmm. You're right. He can audible to just about anything out of this. So, you know, this bunch is going to be extremely dangerous in the goal line. Back with Lamar Jackson looking. Uh, he's just trying to throw this one away. Fourth and goal doesn't take points here. You know, and that's the situation right there. He, he audible back to a play that we're used to seeing spot dig in bunch. That's a play that Kobo's used to see to seeing him run. I would like something serious to keep running the bubble gum. You got down here, don't run something that Kobo knows. Run the monster, run the bubble screen, do what got you here. If you're Kobo right now, how I'm good are you that you throw. only gave up three? You know, you, off you of couldn't an, Off of a turnover? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Your throw. Three nothing the score as we head to the second quarter. And that is the one tough thing about the spread. Once you get to the goal line, you know, it's slim pickings. You know, you got to find a way to get in the, in the end zone. And this mm, is Madden. Mm. It, 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 mm. It's tough, you know. Did you see that hit? That was big hit. And, and that's why you have to keep running the RPOs. And it, it gets scary down there with the bubble screen, but you got to see it open before you throw it. To the trip side end goes Kobo. Second offensive possession. First one is a fumble on a fourth and seven. He actually picked up the fourth down. But a fumble. He's looking for a setup. He's looking deep down yeah, the field. Right. Can he get it there to Moss? A good knockout there. That was Simmons with the knockout for some serious. That Justin Simmons deep in zone KO. It lit up like a Christmas tree. Yeah, and, here, and here's the thing what uh, some serious has. He has two lurk artists, one deep in and one deep, deep out. out. So yeah. he's adjusted for this trips tight end offense, and that deep end ended up working. Scream on. Right side. He's got Garrett Wilson. Picks up a first down and more. A little hezzy. He'll pick up the first down at the 31-yard line. For Kobo, patience is going to be the key here, user. He has to work underneath. Yeah, well, you know the thing I see working against something serious. He's another guy out here in this 4-3-6-1 even defense. Yes, he got a stop by a big hit stick, big hit stick fumble. Wasn't technically a stop. Will he be able to manufacture a stop, you know, without a fumble? User, here's my thing. If you're in 6-1, you got to send. You have to send pressure. You got to send no less than almost five every single time. It's a pressure defense. So if there's no th uh, threat of that pressure coming in and screaming right off the edge, you might as well not be in 6-1. Yeah, you can send it. But I, I don't think right now the way the game is, you know, sending six or five out to 4-3 ain't it. That's why I just, I, I don't like the guys who running it right now. At the end of the day, if you got to ask me, say, who, what's your gut saying? My gut saying somehow, some way, if Kobo doesn't turn this ball over with fumbles or making bad reads, He'll be able, you know, by gift wrap, we should be able to hold on to that. You know, just are a, you saying six one is bubble gum too? Is that no, what you're no, saying? I'm just, I mean, no, just no, no, saying no, no, what no. you're saying, man. No, no, I'm saying six one is not better than dollar right now, and it's not bringing mm. the pressure that dollar or nickel three three is is normally is bringing right now. That's a good point. Henry did send a whole lot of pressure and stop the run out there three three. Third and four. Trips to the right side. It's Wilson. Jamar Chase and Randy Moss. Screen. Montana in trouble, oh, mm. and it's just set up a fourth down. Mm. And, and I will say something about this 61 that's unpredictable is he's getting interior pressure. One of those guys seems to slip through, yeah. and it's almost an instant sack. And normally when you crash the D-line, you get nano detective, and, you know, just unfortunate for Kobo, those guys are not stopping and getting that one-second detection. They're just... Coming right through. I don't know what happened with his defensive tackle right there. Bro. Yeah, you saw a what streak the, route oh from there. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh. Did not they have. They called him line. out? Believe that, yes, they did. Yeah, you, you don't they, have they that sideline catch on the par ham, and, and it looked like he didn't have the opportunity to get those feet in bounds. You've seen that before. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, low momentum play. When you don't have momentum 
and you don't have a, a sideline uh, uh, trait on your on your receiver, that is something that you can see happen. So it may come back to bite him. Bite Let's, him there. We I gotta mean, look at this one more style. time. There's look. Parm on the sidelines. One. That one, it's the right toe. on the, the white. Yeah. The toe. Well, here's the thing. Parham has great oh, size. That's just a bad awareness image. isn't super high. So when you don't have momentum on your side and you haven't been completing a lot of passes, you have a chance to see that happen. So uh, you, you can't be surprised there. But that was the right play from Kobo. Man, two stops right now. Some serious. Look like his D is something serious. Paul. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Second and three. <laughs> nice cut back, but that's what we back. talked about. Oh, something serious getting ready to play He's smart to play right clock. Mm. He's getting ready to take this clock, knowing he gets ball at half. Worst case scenario, he takes three. Oh, this is this is genius. This is genius. And look, he's idling down. He's going to do that same handoff, cut up in here, get two or three. Oh, that's a nice stop right there. Didn't give him a yard. Yeah, but some serious is playing to win. He's not playing an ego game. He's not trying to, you know, overwhelm you with anything. And I think we got to be most impressed with not his offense, not the spread, but defensively taking his time and having Kobo make mistakes. Motion. It's a motion bubble screen to Kamara. Mm, out of bounds. Out of bounds. I don't think that's what some series was hoping for to step out of bounds. He had some room up the sidelines. Going back to the monster. And you, you see the mountain screen. Listen, it's going to be bubble gum left, bubble gum right. It's going to be a the mountain screen. I, I mean, I think that's what they, they used to tell it's, it's motion. Oh. It's empty and it's motion. It's oh. not Mountain oh. Dew. I, I thought it was Mountain Dew. I ain't going to play it. I ain't going to play it. We've been calling it the Mountain Screen forever. It's oh. like, Yeah. They should have just best said Best of the best here on the desk here at the Harvest but, Challenge. But look at Kobo. Heads off to Kobo's defense. He's done a great job, man. We got a defensive shootout here, not the offense. Three nothing at the two-minute warning. You know the thing about because they always have a mountain route with it. So I think that's why all of us just kind of assumed it was mountain. So this crosser in the double stack ends up getting wide open and you have that. Uh -oh. Oh, come on. He almost had a pick Oh my six. God. And see that's the difference when you run a lot of bubble gum when you're forced to pass. What they say you pass. Oh that's your Y'all know the rest of the team chat. <laughs> You ain't nothing, dog. Y'all know you the rest nothing. of the scene, Jack. I don't know why he didn't hit that crosser. That crosser at the double stack is almost unguardable. Mm. And he had, the angle, he had the angle route, too. Because they, used, they were blitzing off that right side. Well, I mean, if you're Kobo, you so far has had a player fumble, your tight end didn't get his feet in bounds, and your pick six was dropped, and you're only down 6 nothing with down the ball. Six. User, how big would this be if Kobo goes down and gets a touchdown right here? It would be huge because everything, all the bad breaks that, he's that had from the fumble, from the, you know, the not Come keeping on. your feet in what? bounds, oh even to the, you know, the pick right there. I mean, it should have been a pick just not going for it, getting the right animation. You know, it would be huge. See if he can't get something offensively. Go to that corner route. Yep. Can't get his palm. Here's the thing. And that's Joe Montana, so I ain't even... Joe Montana been trash. He should have he been out there. When that Parham doesn't have momentum, he can get really high, high oh, nice. and low. I mean, he can be one of the most dominant cards in the game, but, you know, he, he, he doesn't have those clutch traits. He doesn't have those sideline traits, and it looks like it's making Kobo pay right here. Yeah, I, I, I'm leaning more towards this Joe Montana fault. Wow. Yeah. You going to blame the GOAT? What's wrong Joe, with you, man? Joe Montana card been out. Is, is, it ain't it no more. Should have had Troy Aikman out here. I, I wouldn't have been mad at Kurt Warner. University of Notre Dame product in the shotgun. He's got Kamara on his right hip. Montana back to pass. A little curl oh, route. Bro. Really nice design there. Caught by Wilson. First down for Kobo. And I think one thing we got to be impressed with is, is some series has been getting a lot of knockouts. And you mentioned not having that set feet lead. You know, Kobo's guys have been catching the ball, and then they, they catch up or the ball gets knocked out, and it's been on some major plays. Into that corner route again. This time, Parham does make the catch on the sidelines. To the 46-yard line, Kobo in business, hoping he can put a touchdown on the board here before the half. First and 10. Trips tight end. Parham on the left side of the formation. Quick throw to the flat route. It's Jamar Chase, the LSU product, shaking off a tackler, picking up six underneath. And here's the thing. Keep a note. That deep out KO on that right side is the reason that Kobo stopped throwing those corner routes. So he's kind of trapped to keep the ball, those corners on the left side of the field, and keeping them short. Uh oh, so oh my. dangerous throw. 
We'll call that one each way, okay? Should have been a pick on the other side. That one, Woolen almost took that to the house. Mm -hmm. But he does. He wants to stay away from those deep KOs. So that's why you're seeing the shorter corners from Kobo in this ball game. Third and four. Pitts motions from left to right. Kamara on the right hip of Montana. Six nothing. In our second semifinal, Henry waiting in the rings. He looks left side nice comeback, comeback route to Randy Moss. Out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Kobo is dealing on this drive, user. And that is just a masterful route combination. If you saw, he had the running back on the ghost route. So he had a pool route for the routes going across the field. Then he saw he was a man. He said, okay, well, then I'm going to just throw it to the comeback route over here. Nice, easy dot. Had everything set up for every situation. You need time to throw those comeback routes, but if you get time, they're tough against man coverage. Kamara out of the backfield to get to the 17-yard line. Clock still running under 30 seconds. And this is where trip side end becomes very, very tough because you have action that spreads the entire field from right to left. So Kobo doing a good job taking that check down to the running back. Over the middle, he's got Moss out of the one-yard line. Timeout taken. You saw there, it looked like almost identical route combos for three straight plays. He threw it to three different receivers out of there. Yeah, yeah, you know, that post on the right side is going to fry. You got to go cover that with your user. And if you don't cover that post on the right side, Kamara, whoever on the left, is going to fry you. You know, this is where 4 3, 6 1 even. Notice Jet, Lamar's sweep. Jet sweep, pop pass. Jamar oh Chase gets outside, and Jamar <sighs> Chase to the end zone. Out of all the things that have gone against Kobo, he finds a score and ties the game up. Look, man, right now, using my role, you got to be extremely confident right now if you're Kobo stepping away with the lead. I mean, he was terrible. I, oh, yeah. I mean, disgusting first half. I mean, because you look at it like, hey, I've already turned the ball over twice. No matter how he stopped, that's what you got to think you had. I've already turned the ball over twice, and I'm winning. Wow. I'm winning this ball game. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Take a look at the instant replay. Jet sweep action. I thought Chase was going to get hit on that outside and somehow bad pursuit angle on the edge chase finds the pylon and notice he threw that lamar jackson in so you know just enough to throw some serious off and maybe he thought about lamar jackson possibly tucking and running that football this chess match continues first and 10 back with lamar and immediate pressure 10 seconds remaining in the first half I feel yeah. like this is a dangerous situation for some series. I feel like you just want to run the ball here, yeah, get to the second he, half. He's a, you know he's known for being balanced and running the ball. Ten seconds left. Like we said, we, we've never seen anybody win a game before half, but you can for sure lose it trying to get greedy. Moving to the wheel route. Kamara makes the catch. Five seconds left. Well, if he can get in field goal range here. Five seconds is not a lot of time. Yeah, this, this could be a huge field goal, but, I mean, he just got a, I mean, got a quick dot. But like you said, you don't want to trick anything off here. That's what he does. Four seconds, three seconds. Nope, this is going to be the last play. He's just going to have to throw this up or make something happen. Lamar, he'll step out of bounds. We'll go to halftime. Seven, six. Defensive battle here. Kobo, not a lot has gone his way, yet he has a one-point lead going into halftime. A masterful drive to finish the first half, user. Kobo able to drive down the field against a certainly unique player in some series. And see, right now, now the pressure is on something serious. You've had two turnovers, two stops, however you want to play it. And then, you know, you're going in down seven. Yes, you get the ball, but you need to prove that you can get seven. Bill goes is not going to win you a belt, and it's not even going to get you to the finals. You got to go down here and get seven. You're right, man. If, if you're some serious, you got to be kicking yourself right now. I mean, you talk about a lost opportunity. He literally got two stops. User, when you get a stop at this level, that should be ball game. And then you step away and you don't have the lead. So if you're some serious man, you got to make something up here. Uh oh, dangerous. Oh, thank you. It's picked up by Woolen. And Woolen going the other way inside the 35 to the 30 yard line. That Tariq Woolen, that's a free card you get for being here. And he might have made the biggest play of the game. And it's free money right now for Kobo because at the end of the day, Something serious came out here, first and 10, first play from the second half. We, we talk about how people get out of the game plan. He's down six. He's thinking the same thing we're thinking. You're right. I should be up. Mm. You know what? I ain't running this ball. Let me go down here and score quick. And the first thing that happened, you get out of your game plan, you end up throwing a pick, and now you put yourself in an even worse situation. You can look at Kobo's body language. It's a little bounce in his style. It, 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 not a lot, but it, it's extremely slight. But he's excited. Um, if he gets a score right here, I mean, I don't want to say it could be ball game, but just momentum-wise, some serious is in the bag. Okay, he's he's absolutely locked up right now. 
And the thing about it, he's yet to show us that he can go down here with this bubble gum. Mm. With this bubble gum. You are saying that with it. With this little, bubble gum. little condescension in your voice. With this <laughs> bubble gum and get seven. You are really ruining our hopes for a sponsorship from Hubba Bubba. The way you talk so derisively about, about bubble gum. The, I'm just saying. The juicy fruit sponsorship is out the window. <laughs> All I said was bubble gum. How you take it is how you take it. Joe Montana backs past third and six. In trouble, rolls right. I thought he was going to... Gets hit as he throws. He's lucky that was not... So decision time here. Do you kick your three? So you are going to kick your three. So feels like a win the other way here for some series. You throw a bad interception. You put him in field goal range immediately, but you don't get him a, give up a touchdown. We're, we're truly seeing a defensive battle here. And, you know, unfortunately, it looks like the quarterbacks just can't deliver that football. Again, we're going to sound like a broken record. That set feet lead ability is elite. You saw Henry really being able to push the ball downfield and into tight spaces. And in this game, both quarterbacks are struggling to make those plays where they're seeing receivers wide open and the ball's just not getting there in time. Take a look at the right pick. Here. Stepped right. There's that Tariq Woolen. He had he had Kamara right there, user. It was just inaccurate. That, that was the correct yeah, play. You saw the, you saw the orange text at the yeah. bottom. Poor accuracy. Mm. And again, he's out here with Lamar Jackson. Gunslinger and gift wrap, but no velocity cam, no hot route master, and it's Lamar. And I'm not liking that he's not running the ball on the first play. We've normally been seeing him running the ball, taking the coat plays out, you know, seeing if he can keep that clock going. He's got to get back to his offense. Correct. You know, now he's not even coming out monster. He's coming out straight spread stack, double stack. There he goes to run the ball. Cut back from Kamara. Well, here's the thing. If you're going to get a monster and you're not going to run the football, there's no threat. Get out of it. There's so many different formations here in this spread. You got to get out and you got to move and challenge on a different front. That's moved the ball nicely here. The first couple of plays of this drive. The Louisville Cardinal Lamar Jackson in the shotgun. Two stacked wide receiver sets to each sideline. He's going to drop back to pass. Straight drop back for Lamar. He's got triangle over the middle. It's Jamar Chase and Jamar to the 20 yard line. The Lamar to Jamar connection. And again, that slot apprentice has the ability to make, do what? It makes that crosser. That crosser is an unstoppable route uh, in this spread formation. So let's see if some series can, uh, can stay with a little bit more of that because it ends up being good for him. And this is where he has struggled in the red zone, unable to get seven. You got all these bubblegum plays, the screens, the read options. We need to see something. Second down and 10. Quick throw to the outside. Jamar Chase with the catch. Takes a big hit. Brian Dawkins coming down and laying the lumbers. We see in the players' lounge, Henry waiting along, and the, the master of the gulag, Slim Ghost, man. And by the way, Henry wouldn't be here if it weren't for Slim Ghost. Henry had to go over to Slim Ghost's crib and play his ladder games. And Henry said, if I didn't have Slim Ghost, I don't know if I'd even be here. Not only is he here, he's the number one seed. Number one seed, but as we look, another fourth down in the red zone, something serious. He's going for it because he's feeling that pressure. And he's in a still a great situation. I don't mind him going for it right here because he's he goes down back to for the monster. It. I mean, in this defensive game, why not kick the field goal? Why not take the field goal, trust your defense, and, and live the fight again another day? I don't I would take the field goal right here, user, just with the tempo of this ball game. Fourth and Eventually, four. you know that Levy's gonna break. He has the dot. Throw Boom. it on the middle. It's user and it sends the Get other out. way. Oh. Wow. No points for some series. Another turnover. This time a great user. Pretty simple use there from Kobo, but he gets the interception. User, I think you're bugging, bro. That's what I said. Take the points. His no. defense has delivered all game. No. Why no. would you not trust your defense because, in this moment right now? Because I can guarantee you Kobo Giri go get seven. And something serious knew he was going to go get seven. Three ain't going to win you this ball game. Mm. Mm. And there's the pressure. On one possession. When your defense is dominant, you got to rely on it. Who's Kobo's quarterback? Oh, Joe Montana, okay? It's an outdated call, oh, so you're always going to have a chance, brother. Right there, listen. That was just a terrible read. He had the short post open in the back of the end zone. That's who I thought he was going to throw it to, not directly to the user. But that's what happens when you run bubble gum. You're not used to passing versus everything, and you wonder why these guys run the meta or run the same play over and over because they're used to seeing the same looks and knowing what's going to be open. Well, look at Kobo. Kobo was prepared for that monster. Look, he, he had laughed. He prepared for it. None of that threw him off guard. And it looked like some series did not have an answer when a monster was answered. I mean, you or look, the mountain screen. <laughs> or the mountain screen. <laughs> I mean, you look at it, you know, Kobo, technically, he just had two unfortunate stops, a fumble, mm. and then 
Parham not keeping. But was it unfortunate? Back. If if his quarterback on, doesn't now. have the velocity to get the ball there, those things happen. Man, your man was, runs out of bounds. That's a he completion. He dropped the ball. He got hit. That's a completion. <laughs> if that happens to me, I'm turning over tables. Turning oh, over you tables. Turn over tables. That's because that's a completion. Listen, man. If you had the nerve to come out here and not have set feet lead on your quarterback, that's your fault. Looking deep down the field. Can he get it to Moss? Just out of reach. Again, if you have the nerve to come no, out here man. without set feet lead on your quarterback, that's on you. I mean, listen, none of these guys are Henry, okay? The <laughs> man is out here with Joe Montana. <laughs> He's out here with Joe Montana. Oh, I, I don't man. even understand how. Somebody let Kobo come out here with Joe Montana. But he's making it work. Yeah, he made, listen, make, he made make it no work. Mistake. These, these guys made it here. We're critical. Me and you, we're all sitting behind the desk, so we're going to be critical. But after seeing what Henry did, it looks like something that we don't understand. It really good no, user downfield. Good pocket. Good pocket. Good user downfield. Able to cover a couple of routes. Third and four now. For Kobo, up by four in the fourth quarter. Kobo has to settle down because he's a better player than this. He's missing some reads. You know, Corner that's a nice dot. Parham got him first time. Remember, guys, make sure if you're out on Twitter, use that hashtag Harvest. Let us know what you're thinking. Who you're gonna win? Who's gonna win this game? Who's taking home the belt? You might see your tweet here on stream. Hashtag Harvest on beater. Twitter. He's got him over the middle. It's Jamar Chase. KO. The KO goes crazy. And why is that? Why is that? Why is that, why is that deep in KO going crazy, no, no. If user? He, if he did have set feet, yeah, need, come on, man. if he did have set feet, need, that would have been a beamer right there. That's for sure. That's all I'm saying. You yeah. know. So, but if, another thing is, Kobo. Hold, hold on, hold on. That's my point. Why not take the three if you're some serious? Why not take the three? I'm fantasy. He hasn't. Got, he, hasn't he hasn't gotten a stop yet. Because Let's, you can feel it in your gut. Whoa. When somebody's about to go up and score, you feel it like, I can't kick any more threes. I'm, I need to get seven. You just sometimes know, like, you know, I can't keep winning. I can't stay in this ball game by kicking three. Why I not? Your go defense get is locking up. You don't believe in his quarterback. Where's your heart at, man? Where's your heart, man? Listen, I'm just saying, at the end of the day, I need him to start running more with his bubble gum, keep the screens going, keep the RPOs going. And, and you know, his offense really has been flowing when he's playing his game style. Third and five. Interesting, Kobo into the bunch, and he's been doing a lot of short dots here. And he's got it. So let's point out, while there's all this discussion about whether he should have kicked three or not, even if he kicks three, he hasn't gotten a stop here. Right now, Kobo is driving down the field, and he's not able to get off the field on third down. Yeah, yeah. and that's why I said I'm not upset for him going for it, not taking three. Hats off to Kobo, though. Uh, you, you're right, Nick. He's been incredibly comfortable dinking and dunking, staying, you know, keeping it low. He's going to take a shot every here and there, but... You know, he's comfortable Screen with these lower down. plays. Mm. Again, where we're going to get into an interesting discussion is if Kobo is able to get into the end zone. Anyways, though, if he was down one, CBO wants I don't to score think games. Go, I don't think he's going to get a touchdown. So you user. don't think he gets seven right here? I know he – I don't want to say – excuse me. He, I'll say it. He ain't getting seven right here. You're some crazy. serious messed up, dog. He messed up because a field goal would have come back down and won the game for some serious. He's going to get the ball back with some time, user. He's going to get the ball back down two possessions. He he is, right? Yeah, because he didn't take his field goal. <laughs> no. Zig route. That's interesting. He backed off coverage pretty hard there and left that zig route pretty open underneath. That was Garrett Wilson with the catch. He'll flip the trips over to the left side. It'll be Wilson inside slot. Jamar Chase in the middle and Randy Moss on the outside. Parham, the lone tight end, right side of the formation. Corner blitz brought. Great uh -oh, come on. Kamara. And there's your six. Uh oh, and there's your end six. Zone. Touchdown, Kobo. Here's the thing. He didn't take his three, so he got thirsty. He could have just let him keep dinking and dunking, but he felt like he had to speed the game up so that he could get the ball back offensively to have a chance. He, would, again, he was just dotting him down the if field. If he took three, it'd be an eight-point game right now. He'd still be in it. What I'm Unfortunately, saying Unfortunately, it's a two-score game now. Nah, my point is what I'm saying is, and you, I know normally in the MCS type of circumstance, you go and win the game. You're going, you're you're going, going to get your touchdown. Mm -hmm. But I feel like he could have been more patient. He had to start pressing because he didn't take his three in this situation. Because he knew up. he was down four and he had to send something. Yeah, he's he's by the way, there. great outside juke move with Alvin Kamara. To the house for Kobo. How many field goals do you think he can kick and stay in his ball? Game? His defense has been playing great, brother. That's Joe Montana back there. He has to dink and dunk. Lamar Jackson for some series. Down two scores late in the ball game. Here's defense. the problem. Playmaker, I'll throw this away. I don't think some series has a coverage beater in this formation. I haven't seen any look that had been getting behind the defense or threatening. 
the deep crosser is just about it. And because he only has that deep crosser, this is a, a horrible situation because he had been able to run the football. There's no threat of him getting down the field. Yeah, I, I, like when he was only down one point, came back after half no. pressure, throws the interception. Uh oh. Tackle. Throws the interception. Like in that situation, you got to look at it as a 0 0 game. Mm. Yeah, you had the two turnovers. You didn't really get much off those except some field goals. But stay in your game plan. Run the ball, be balanced. I got to know why he's coming out in Gun Monster right now. This is poor game plan management. Oh, That's he's got to be down the field. It's it Garrett off. Wilson to the house. Touchdown, some serious clear. We got some life. Let's go. Appears the second time I spoke too soon, but now he's got to get a stop. So that deep crosser ended up getting down the field. Some serious has a chance, but it's got to be his defense now. And he hasn't proved that he's been able to get a stop. You've seen some serious just taking it. Excuse me. Uh, you, you've seen Kobo taking his time, getting down the field with ease. And for thing, two. Thinking about it, Kobo, he can pass the ball when he actually gets his mindset out of the dink and dunk. Nice throw. Good, nice good, really good route combo there in the red zone. He finds Devontae Adams for a touchdown mm -hmm. for a two-point conversion, 17-14. Hey, He's going to go onside kick. These Ooh. onside kick high balls are very dangerous because John a lot Beast, of times, your thoughts? Oh, it looked like he lined it up. Oh, mm -hmm. this just might be it. This might be it, Coach. Nope. Hands team gets out there. Cooper Cup with the re receives the kick and able to get the ball to Kobo. It's a quick one. I don't know why he didn't high ball. High kick that. That, did, that was that was just a normal ready. kick. That was a normal kick. You got to give yourself a chance. That high that high ball. They have to catch it, and then you see a lot of fumbles because the guys don't hold on. He went with just like the normal kick. And I mean, maybe he forgot to, to, to select the high ball. Oh, nice juke. It, it looks like that gun monster has not been working. And some serious is starting to make the mental mistakes that he didn't make early. I mean, he was dominant. It looked like he was locked in, and he started pressing. You know, he switched to the dollar just now. I like to see it, but I don't know who big boy he got shooting through the gap. Take us, uh, he's going to take a time out here. By the way, we got to give a big shout out to everybody watching in the watch party with Tim the Tap Man, one of the most entertaining people on the internet. Big shout out to the Tap Man, huge Cowboys fan. So he had fun this weekend uh, watching the Cowboys put hands, feet, toes, fingers, fists on the Giants. Sorry, New York Giants fans. That one, that one was a little rough. So big shout out to everybody watching with Tim the Tap Man. I know Fenn's going to get after me for that one because I, I mentioned the Giants. Shout out to Tommy DeVito. Second and 12. Jamar Chase motions from right to left. No timeouts left for some series, but the two-minute warning still impending. He had Kamara open. He had Moss open. He had a 7-11 open. Everything was open right there, and that's going to put a wrap on this game. We're going to get Kobe and Henry. Yeah, and that's been a money play right there for Kobo. That post is a, is a, a beats any type of coverage on the right side, and then he's working Alvin Kamara on the left side underneath and Parham, and that's been a, 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 just a, a, a nightmare. Uh, so go ahead and take a look at that. Lab that up. If you get a chance, get that on film. Anybody at home watching, because Kobo has a dot that he's been killing with all game. Yeah, and you know, double, Kobo this game, he was, to me, he was going down a lot, going downfield, a lot more than he normally does. Mm. He's a, he, he can really be surgical with the route combination he has out of those trips tight, that trips tight end. He can dink and dunk you, hit you with curl routes, little stock routes. I just felt like, you know, next game, we're going to really see his offensive power. Runs his clock down. Camaro with the carry. I think I think the struggle right now for Kobo is if he's going to play Henry, you got to score every possession. And if some series was able to get stops, I don't know how he's going to be able to ma match up with Henry. This is going to end up being uh, you know an easy one, but he, he's going to have to score the football every single time, user. And right now, his defense look excuse me his offense looked very pedestrian. And obviously there were knockouts. You know, a couple plays where the guy could have got his feet down in bounds. You know, he made the right play. But you miss those plays against Henry, you survive. But at the same time, if there's somebody who knows Henry and what he's going to do offensively and defensively, it is Kobo, one of his main lab partners. So is, is there some sort of advantage there for Kobo where, yeah, he maybe didn't look as clean and smooth moving the ball, but he's going up against an off-meta guy running 6-1. He's got a lot going on here. Whereas Henry, he knows exactly what he's going to run. He knows his looks. He knows what defense he likes, what offense he likes. 
Does that give him a little bit of an advantage maybe? I don't know if that means he's going to win, but at least gives him a leg up versus this game. Yeah, man, it's nice to be comfortable against Henry, but I don't think there's any part in any of us that feels like Henry's going to lose to something he's seen before. He will have to have something in his offense that Henry hasn't seen. He will have to have something that he's kept in that back pocket. I think that's the only way you have a shot against Henry. As you see Henry getting ready, user, how much motivation is there for Kobo? It has been said, the words have been said that Henry has called him his son. Yeah. That's got to give you a motivation Henry, factor. I mean, Henry basically said he is stepfather. To be honest, you know what I'm saying? He can't claim him on his taxes, but if he could, he would, you know? The and, adoption papers are in works. <laughs> yeah, and, but you know, Co that's, Kobo said from the very moment he made it, I want that's who back. he wanted to play. Yeah. He wanted, he got what he wanted. Now the question is, is he ready for it? That's not, many, not many people and, ask for the chance. Way, he's not many people on, ask for bro. the chance. That's like asking for a fight with prime Mike Tyson, dog. You might say you want oh, to no. fight him. Jamar Chase downfield, and the knockout knocks oh it out. God. 12 seconds left. You saw a big sigh of relief there from Kobo because Jamar Chase was open. Life? A <laughs> little bit of – it's not over technically. I mean, he gets the end zone. You're right. Anything can happen. We saw what happened with John Beast. Yeah, John Beast. Shout out John Beast, man. Uh, he, he hit me up. He feels like he can win another one. John, I'm he with you, He hit you brother. up in the middle of this show. No, no, he no, 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 no. You can't sit up here and say you with him when you said that's crazy when we asked you. You know what I'm saying? I said that, I like that's John. crazy that you're trying to switch up. Stand on business. I don't. I think it'll be too hard, and I don't think that's a knock towards him. But I like John. That's my dog. You ain't changing. We, that we ain't saying that you don't like the him. The same you way said, you shaded bugs earlier, I man. Never, no, no. Listen, you, master deflector. You're not gonna get away with this one. You said you don't believe that the beast can win a third belt this year. You said that's crazy. That's Accurate. what you said. That's what, that's what I said. But okay, he's still but my now, guy. He but, can't be my guy. No, nah, no. Nah, Both can about, be true. No, nah, you're talking about I'm with you, man. I am with him. Both can be true. I, just, I love John. The, uh, the, what's, his, what's his tag? The dinner, uh, the dinner monster? What is it? The dinner inspector. <laughs> yeah, that's my guy, man. Three seconds left. Should be the final play of the game. Looking to just hoist up a Hail Mary here. We've seen crazier things happen in this John Madden football. And look at that, that Donald Parham. He's got the height. Thank you. The pressure gets there, and Kobo <sighs> gets the win. And we get the rematch in the final. What a ball game between Kobo and some series. 20 to 14, the final score. It was Kobo's defense locking up a couple key stops on fourth down user gets into the final. Yeah, I don't think something serious could really ask for anything better. You know, he got he got his stops, he got his breaks, he got to be able to get points, get seven. Kobo, you know, faced some adversity, still able to come out and win this ball game, and, and just made sure he didn't beat himself. Take a look at some highlights. Fourth and seven early in this game for Kobo. He picks it up, but oh no, what's that? It's a Mack truck with the hit over the middle, and Kobo can't believe he starts off with a turnover. Yeah, I don't know how he didn't end up possession catching that right there. Uh, Kobo ends up getting comfortable later in the ball game, but you know, just some of these plays really came back to bite him. And some, honestly, some series just could not capitalize, but it was play in and play out where he ends up struggling. Right there, should have been a pick right there with Kobo, but it ends up getting a swat. Some series getting three right there. Real fortunate in this situation, but then Kobo able to manage the clock, goes down and gets seven in the gate. All the bad uh, this, turnovers. This was the play that turned the entire game. Tariq Woolen, that free item, I'm keep saying, you get to earn just for watching, making plays out there. Hey, man, some series wasn't the same after that play. You know, it, it took a lot of, you know, gas out of his stride, you know, when that interception, hap interception happened because he had out, uh, Kamara out the backfield but just couldn't complete it. 10-6 game in the fourth quarter. Nice little juke move to the outside. This one. Maybe put the game out of reach. We know that some series. He was able to get another touchdown, but it felt like that Kamara touchdown for Kobo was kind of the, the sealer. It, it, that's how it felt. But, you know, I, I really felt like, you know, you can't be halfway in and have one foot in and one foot out. And that's how something serious kind of played his offense. Like, he really wasn't too sure whether he wanted to go spread and really start throwing the dots downfield or did he want to keep trying to run the bubble gun with the monster and kind of catch him off guard. 20 to 14, the final score, and our final is set here from the Harvest Challenge. Join us now at the desk. Is our semifinal winner, Kobo? Kobo, congratulations, man. You said one of your goals coming in was to get a win in a live event. You got that. Get your matchup with Henry, but 
talk to me a little bit about that game started about as bad as it could. A fumble, yeah. you had Parm not get his feet in bounds, and then you had a dropped pick. How were you able to overcome that and get the win here? Uh, I mean, I was just playing great defense. I felt like I was playing good offense to start, so like, I knew I didn't have to get nervous or frustrated so I could play my game, stay locked in. And I think these like past two years, I've like really worked on my mental. I don't get like tilted or anything. I could stay in any game as if I'm down, it doesn't matter. By the way, with this win, you've officially crossed a hundred thousand dollars in mm. career earning playing Madden. What does it feel like just to hear that? Like I know like it, you're not like holding the hundred thousand dollars here, but mm -hmm. just to know that that's what you've been able to do in the game of Madden, how cool is that? I mean it feels great because like going to last year I had five thousand. So I've been on a great run and like you know, last year I was I said I wanted to play Madden to my parents. And I just had to come up with like wins and make money to like, be able to actually do that instead of going to have to go to school or a job. And so all these earnings, like it shows that my work's going in and that. And no, only 19 years old. It. Right, 19 years old and $100,000. You know what that's like. No, I don't. Man. <laughs> I, listen, I was living on mill cards at UCLA. Um, you lab for that for that um, that gun monster formation. Mm -hmm. You were ready. It never hurt you, and he just stayed in it. How comfortable did you did you feel defensively? Because I thought that ended up being your calling card. Everybody knows you for the offense and the dots, mm -hmm. but defensively you were spectacular. Yeah, I felt great going into the game. Uh, I really labbed it up with uh, J Raz for people that know him. Like I was going through every run, every RPO. You know, I was ready for him. The defense I started in didn't necessarily work because I couldn't shoot the gap right, but I just went to the other version I had, pinched D line, and got the job done. Would you call it bubble gum? Is it bubble gum oh, that you're playing? Sure bubble gum. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And listen, you know, we spoke last week, and you said you want, you hoped that Henry took care of Tenna because you wanted this rematch. You wanted this match, and now you got it. How do you feel? It feels great. I mean, He's talked a lot since Madden Bowl, so I need to get my win back. And uh, it feels mm. great to be in my first finals, too. You know, Henry says he believes his fake confidence. And, you know, y'all have such a great relationship together. He said if it wasn't if, – if he wasn't playing in this tournament, he would be rooting for you. And, okay. you know, you think about the situation, the moment. A lot of people don't want to play him. <laughs> and you one of the guys out of the four group. You was like, no, I, want, I don't want no tenor to beat him. Because I want him there for me, and you look at the situation, do you think you're ready for this moment? Yeah, I feel ready. I mean, I know him pretty well since we play a lot and talk a lot, so I think that's an advantage for me, but also an advantage for him because he knows me too. Okay, and we got a play right here we want to break down from when you was playing something serious right here, fourth and four. <laughs> now, on the defense, what were you expecting something serious to run in this situation? Uh, I mean, I was just trying to run the dollar middle linebacker blitz. Hope it came in. It didn't. But I just want to run a stock like cover two because okay, so you was hoping that this guy right here came in on a blitz. Yeah. And did you had this guy blitzing too? No, I just ran a stock cover two because I knew everything had to go kind of inside like a halfback wheel or angle or like a post from one of his slots. And so I just want to play that and use it the middle. And so you use it the middle. You end up coming down playing the drag with the mm -hmm. user right here. Now you take a look at this. He had the post open. Yeah, I saw that. I, I was really hoping he didn't throw it. And... Pause it. We we're going to pause it right here. Mm -hmm. So now I'm seeing that post break open in the back. And so I'm in the booth like, oh, I'm already hollering dot. Mm -hmm. Because one thing I know, one thing I'm thinking for sure, we're not going to throw it right here. We're not going to throw it right at the user. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. That's what you're thinking as well. Yeah. You're thinking you got beat for six. Yeah, maybe he thought I was like going to run back up, so he just threw us, but I just stayed down because I knew I couldn't get back to the post. Was there any threat in this game of him going over the top? It looked like everything was underneath. You were just comfortable. What were you doing to keep everything in front of you? Uh, I mean, I made sure to have the deep outs to like kind of counter anything deep, and I made sure to keep the deep zones because I know how to like the verticals play they call out double stack. That's how you kind of beat over top, and I made sure to not give that up, and that's one of the plays that he threw the pick before half he should have, and I just didn't give it up. Right there, able to come up with an interception. He throws directly at your user. Then we get right here on third and three. Mm -hmm. You know, you've yet to get seven to go down here and cook up some points because you've been scratching and clawing, taking some field goals. And in this situation right here, third and three, you know, your, your offense is flowing. He, he chooses not to settle for three. You get the stop. And now you understand 
Right now in your mind, you're thinking, this drive, no matter what, mm -hmm. I got to get seven. On this drive, yeah. are you ever thinking, I'm going to kick three? No, I wasn't kicking three if I got stopped right here. Stop looking at me, dog. Stop I'm just, looking at I'm me right saying, now, it's, man. It's, it's some, Stop it's looking some, at me, it's man. some people up here <laughs> thinking that in your mindset, right here, you're going to kick three. And I'm telling him, no. I'm like, listen, right now, something serious understands where Kobo is. He gets seven or nothing. And that's why he didn't kick the three. He's going for him. And you see the mindset. And he's able to execute as this play right here. We're going to show. What were you looking at in this situation? Was uh, this a check down route? Uh, well, so this play is just a quick hike play. I have a curl coming from circle or B, Garrett Wilson. And it's just a quick throw. I either read the curl or the angle route. He's or the pause, curl. Pause it right here. Pause it right here. So I have the angle right there. So you're looking to see if he's going to use it a curl mm -hmm. or the running back. So you're kind of putting pressure on the user mm -hmm. to decide, okay, where is the user going to go? Is he going to go to the left mm. or to the right? And so as soon as the user breaks to the left, that's why you're saying, okay, he can't make it to this running back. Mm -hmm. And the rest of that is just your user ability able to make a juke, not only make one man miss, but two man miss and get your touchdown. Go ahead mm -hmm. and run it. Right here, seeing that his user's out of the play, great run stick to be able to juke with Kamara, get your seven to put pressure on him to go up two possessions right there. And pretty much that's how you designed it. You understand because you've been seeing what he's been running. Right yeah. now, he has everything on the outside booked up. I got to put pressure on his user with this route combination with the streak in the running back angle. Well, you got the win in the life. Mm -hmm. You're up over $100,000. Now you get to – you're one win away from a belt. Congrats, man. Thank you. I know there's not a lot of time, but a little moment to take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. uh, good luck in your final against Henry. It should be a lot of fun to watch. Thank you. Big congratulations to Kobo for winning that second semifinal. Our final is set. we got to give a big special shout out to our crew for dressing up the set and making it feel festive. All we need is the turkey, unless you ask some of our finalists who may have some differing views on the Thanksgiving holiday and its traditional cuisine. Turkey, overrated. I don't really care about Thanksgiving, it's just whatever. Over overrated. Target, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say evenly rated. Cranberry sauce, underrated for sure. This underrated, underrated. I say underrated. I would say it's underrated. I, I enjoy my stuff. Man. Underrated. I, I think evenly rated. Pumpkin pie, underrated for sure. I love pumpkin pie. Uh, I don't like pie, period, so overrated. Overrated. I do not like pumpkin pie. What is a turducken? That's the that's the turkey, duck. Is that chicken? Turducken. I didn't even know that existed. So. <laughs> I ain't never know. Dog. They asked me the question. I don't know what it is. He said it's a, a turkey, the duck, or something like that. I never heard it. Certainly some big opinions from our finalists here. So I guess we got to talk about this a little bit. Thanksgiving coming up. I want to know where you guys uh, stand on some of these dishes. Let, I mean, let's start off with the main dish, the turkey. Overrated, underrated, or I guess as Too Tenacious says, evenly rated. No. No? It's, it's overrated. Let's be honest. Nobody wants the turkey. First of all, no disrespect to all the grandmamas and aunties out there, but we know it's a dice roll that y'all get that turkey right. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna be dry. And I ain't talking about my peoples, cause y'all know I love you, and I'm gonna see you on Thursday. Sound you know? like you are. No. I mean, who I'm else's just... turkey are you eating, man? I was talking about somebody else like <laughs> when I... Who else's turkey <laughs> somebody... do you eat nine out of 10 times? It's a dice roll. You know it's a dice roll in that turkey, man. Ooh. 
first bugs, now grandmama under the bus. Oh, that's I, a lie. I say it's evenly rated. Where do you, where do you land it's on turkey? It's evenly rated, it's man. Okay. It's good, it's bad, you gotta have it. It's evenly rated. No, man. you know it, you know it. Because <laughs> you know Graham's gonna get you. You tell the truth about that. So, turkey. wait, if you're not a turkey guy, are you, are you ham on Thanksgiving? We're talking Absolutely. to you. Okay. Absolutely. I don't know. Well, what Absolutely. about what about cranberry sauce? First of all, are we talking homemade? Or are we talking that the canned Jello that pops out? You just sort of slice it. Honestly, I've never seen homemade cranberry sauce. You only know the can. <laughs> I've only known the can, and, and it wasn't until about two years ago that I was actually like, you know so what? So it didn't look like this with the orange peel. I've and never, nice I've never no. seen this dish a day in my life. I thought this was Jello, to be honest. Let me answer for this man. Extremely underrated. It is. Yes. The it fact is. you can, right, you can get it, it in is. a can. It is. And you don't got to whip it. Yeah, Ain't it no is. special recipe. It is. I was kind of upset once I tasted it. I was like, y'all really didn't try to push me to eat this more? Y'all push the other stuff? It <laughs> elevates the turkey Why a little bit, so let's be honest. Why are you so excited for the food segment, man? What you mean? We done had all this magic, now food, you fired up. I am a food connoisseur. All right. Okay. Yes, well, let's go, to, let's go to, last but not least, Stuffing, dressing, whatever you call it, mm -hmm. overrated, underrated. I, I'm gonna say this. This might be a controversial. But I think it's overrated. No, wow. I no. Do. Now, wow. I, now this I right do. here, this wow. stuffing, I've never had that. Mine is dressing. They come in like little square blocks off the pan, fried crisp. Yeah, baked. I don't crisp. have any idea what you're talking about. But listen, dressing, another it was, dressing was kind of like another thing with the cranberry. I slept on it. Once I tasted it, I was like, you know what? I should have been trying this out for years. Underrated. Extremely underrated. underrated. It's always it's hard to mess it up. Yeah. It's one of those dishes like a mac and cheese. It's hard. If you can't cook your mac and cheese right, oh <laughs> stop somebody, it, man. Somebody can mess stop up that it, mac man. and cheese. It's hard Some to people mess go up mac too and much. Cheese. They put too much bell beater in there. Who you you think about somebody? Who no, messed up the mac and cheese? I man? just appreciate I that he hasn't looked down to this side of the table. Because <laughs> I, I, I was waiting for one moment. Because I already know what type of mac and cheese you got. You got craft out the box. I ain't even going to go there, Nick. This is between me and the brothers and the aunties Ooh. and the aunties. <laughs> Nick. You don't know nothing about no baked macaroni and cheese, Nick. And yes, I'm judging you by your Go cover. On. Let's just move on. Nick, what you... <laughs> Let's just move on. Nick. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. I know what you're going to say. You, you are anti. Yeah. Sweet potato, pumpkin pie should be illegal. Sweet potato pie, that's it. Sweet potato. No pumpkin spice, no pumpkin latte, no pumpkin nothing. Yeah, sweet potato. Know, I'm all sweet potato. I don't mind pumpkin. You can't just throw pumpkin under the bus like that. What's wrong with you, man? Thank you. That's only good you for decorating. You just threw it under. Only, only good for decorating Halloween. All right. Nick, yeah. Nick, are you doing mac and cheese? You look real quiet when you say, mention mac and cheese, man. Am I doing mac and cheese? Yeah. Kraft? How you do your mac and roux? I make a roux. I cook a mac and cheese, you okay? Do. I make my own roux. Thank I just you knew very for much. sure you had the noodles or the she shells. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. You See, just stirring it up in the bowl, huh? <laughs> I, may be, I may be an unseasoned individual, but I am a, a large man, so yeah. I can't, I, I, I go. I go top level for food. You know so, yeah, that's I make a roux and everything. Listen, us heavy set brothers, we take we our food seriously. Trust us we, uh, when it comes to we food. We risk our lives every mm -hmm. day for mm -hmm. this body. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to waste it with no terrible food. We're not going to do that. This man's an athlete. I, I get scared whenever he starts talking because, like, I know I know they got him on the meal plans in the NBA. So, yeah. I mean, last but not least, the turducken. User, I know you had an experience mm -hmm. with the turducken last last year. It might have been last year, last when summer. When the field. And, and, uh, and uh, it wasn't a true turducken, let's be clear. It was just a slider. Uh, but so this is the true turducken. That's the true turducken. Oh, my god. It goodness. is a, a, a turkey stuffed with a duck stuffed with a chicken. This should be illegal. Mm. This should be illegal. You had where, this, Nick? This where is, is Peter? This is Nick? Where is Peter? How are we stuffing all these birds together? This is John Madden's How do you legacy. See this? This is John Madden's no, this legacy. No, turducken is not his legacy. You're Every not going to put that on Coach. Every Coach. Thanksgiving, he brought the turducken into the broadcast. Coach one. He looked at Pat Summerall and handed him a plate and said, eat it. <laughs> Listen, and Pat <laughs> did that because of his love for John. I know he had it. Okay, how do you even season it? I have no idea. What season? You can't, like, those are three different meats. My house doesn't use seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, it, the Madden house doesn't either. Because all you can do is throw salt on this. That's it. There's black pepper and tea. No, well, how do you season three it, you can't. meats? You can't. You had a good traducan. Would it change your mind? Right, listen, I tried it before. And well, now guess granted, what? I said a good one. Guess what, say... user? We got a turducken for you, right? I know, I know that's hey. We don't. We actually don't. But that would have been really Why good. Why are you sweating? As soon as we start talking food, you in a full sweat. Listen, let me tell you. Ryan, would you try the turducken? Yeah. You try it, but you won't like it. 
Why are you sweating? I'm just telling you, you won't like it. You know why I'm sweating here. Ain't no AC in here, okay? I ain't want to tell the people the business. Hold on, the AC no, no, is in no, here. No. We watched the world champ, Henry. We saw a, a, a grind fest, and you sweating once we start talking food? You know ain't no AC in here, man. Don't do that. You gonna make you gonna here. make me throw gin up under the bus, and wow. I would never do that. Wow. I would never do that. <laughs> wow. I, I would never do that. I don't like where we're going, user, because I know you don't read prompter, but I do. Crap. <laughs> and boy, there's some there's some stuff on it. Come on, man. And you know what, Nick? You trying to move on right now. This I'm is trying crazy. to. That's crazy that you, first of all, you're not backing me up. You know there's no AC in here. How are you not sweating with we that? Have that with that the we have AC in here. You're the only We have AC. Okay. Look at Nick. Look at me. Listen, I don't know what you're doing over there to stay cool right now, but I'm going to need your handkerchief. Go ahead and hand me that. Somebody. <laughs> I don't know where we're going, but it, it doesn't you know look good going, for Nick. Nick. It doesn't look good for Nick because it just says transition. That's crazy. That's crazy. I, I'm scared. You're supposed to set something up. Nick, what Nick, are we doing? You, uh, you, you guys, you're a little hungry, Nick? You... We got another segment of That's Crazy. Oh. We got to see what is crazy. That's right crazy. Now. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Crazy. I mean, that's crazy. That is crazy. I mean, that's crazy. Don't do this to me. What? Yeah. I know this ain't going. This is my least favorite tournament of the year. Because every oh! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's crazy. That's crazy. You know the crazy thing about it, though, Nick? Out of all the years of you This being actually pretty, isn't the worst. This isn't the, this worst. Isn't the worst, no. You actually This is perfectly fine, I'm not gonna lie. You look pretty dapper. Yeah. You look pretty I I'm like actually pretty handsome. Yeah. And go with your coat. You they picked a good turkey. This yeah. is way better than most of the other ones. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, this... so I'd, like to, I'd like to thank everybody back there for putting a good picture. Where's your face coming from, man? The little, the little pucker look. Where did it get that from, man? I ate an airhead before, and it was, it was sour. You know, that, that that's better. I mean, we came along. No, we, we actually worked our way up. I, I'm yeah. actually Hold okay on, guys. We got one more that's crazy now. Hold on. I know Hold we don't. Uh-huh. No, we. Oh! Who is oh. oh, my oh, goodness! Gosh. Oh, it my goodness! Worse. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ain't no way. Ain't, I can't look wow. at this baby. Wow. Why does he look so distressed? Uh, that's crazy. Ain't no way. That's crazy. Oh, that my. is crazy. Ain't no way. Oh my goodness. Ain't that no is crazy. Way. Nick, I thought. Are you I, are you being birthed? Yeah, I'm he's turkey. being per, birthed by a turducken. He's being birthed by a turducken. <laughs> what, what do you call a nick in a in a turkey? What do you call a that? Nurky. A nurky. <laughs> a nurky. A nurky. A nurky. Nick. Hey man. Nick. Hey man. You look good, man. You look good, brother. Man, how many yeah. days old are you right there, man? <laughs> how many days old, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have fun, I'm out. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, my goodness. You I know what? I... It's crazy because... Nick carries the show. It, I mean, it, that, that was crazy because... Yeah, crazy. At, at Nick the end carries the, the day, show. Nick like, does they... so much work here. <laughs> here we go. And that's your type of turkey, too. What's the, yeah. the stuff on there, man? I like how they lined you up and gave you a nice line up with it. You know what I'm saying? Is there. The, listen, the edit team is crazy. Why are you so scared, man? Who are you scared for? Because he knew. He knew that Nick Durkin was coming. The Nick Durkin. <laughs> the Nick Durkin. The Nurky. The Nurky. I don't yeah. know if I want any of that Nurky. The Nurky. The Nurky don't look like hey, it tastes too that's well. That's crazy, man. I gotta call my agent. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta just make a call. <laughs> well. Oh, I thought I had friends here, but that's. That's crazy. The Nurky. I can't believe they made me the stuffing. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. <laughs> Speaking of Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> this man's dying over here. When I think, yeah, cool. Cool, how do we transition away from this one? The Nurky. <laughs> the Nurky. That is a cool nickname, though. I can't believe that made me the turkey. <laughs> it fits you, though. Hey, K-Spade, I got a spot for you on the desk next tournament if you want it. Oh, man. You know, when I think of Thanksgiving, nurky. and Madden, I can't believe that made me the turkey. Anyway. I think of the goat, Barry Sanders. In 10 Thanksgiving games, he ran for 931 yards and eight touchdowns. Earlier today, I caught up with the legend who did not see these pictures to talk all things Madden. 
It is my pleasure to welcome NFL Hall of Fame running back and Madden legend Barry Sanders to the program. Barry, it is so great to talk with you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, it's great to be here, man. Thanks for having me. Now, Barry, you retired back in 1998, and, and 25 years since then, you know, you're still one of the most coveted items in Madden. You're still one of those guys that everybody is looking forward to every year. What's it like seeing your legacy continue to live on in the game of Madden? Well, to me, it's, it's really awesome um, just to see how, you know, how many generations of kids have, have um, come to know about me through the game, uh, through the Madden game. Um, and just to see the game just become bigger and better each year um, and take in more fans and really educate people on, on the game of football. How much were you able to use Madden to show your family your skills before, you know, YouTube was around and you were able to show highlights on YouTube? Were you using Madden to show your family, you know, hey, this is how good I am? <laughs> well, no, I, I mean, I definitely enjoyed playing in, in the early days, um, you know, and, and uh, I, don't, I don't get the chance to play as much anymore because, you know, my teenage sons, they don't, they don't allow me, um, you know, they, 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 they never hand the remote over to me. So uh, they pretty much hog the game. But, um, but no, in the early days, yeah, I mean, I played a lot, um, you know, and, and uh, got a lot of enjoyment out of it. Pass the controller to dad. That's all I'm saying. Give him a shot, okay? Just give him a shot. <laughs> he, obviously, it, it's Madden, so ratings are always the talk. Everybody's always going to argue about ratings. I was curious, inside of Madden, where did you think you rated yourself the highest? Was it speed? Was it maybe your juke move, your spin move? What was, what was your peak rating? What was your peak attribute? I think the, the peak attribute was, was probably um, speed uh, in that mid to high 90s. You know, I, 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 um, you know, I always thanked, you know, and anyone related to the game, you know, for, for uh, you know, for giving me great speed as well as other attributes. But, um, but you can't have Barry Sanders without speed. I'd, I'd put that on a T-shirt. I'd buy it right now. Now, not only are you a legend inside the game, Madden, but, you know, I can't think about Thanksgiving without thinking about some of your performances. Do you have a most memorable moment or most memorable game from your uh, long career playing on Thanksgiving? Oh, wow. Um, so many great moments and memories. Um, you know, I think about um, the year that I ran for 2,000 yards. We played the Bears in 97. Um, that was a great game for me. Um, I also think about my, my last, uh, my last game. Um, I think it would, would have been 98 would have been, uh, you know, the, the Steelers going into overtime and, and, uh, the coin flip, the famous sort of coin flip game with Jerome Bettis. Um, and I guess the, the referee didn't hear him properly, uh, or, you know, some say Jerome changes, you know, he, he changed his call, but, but, um, just, you know, things like that, um, you know, kind of stand out in my mind. I know, obviously, it was probably tough being away from, from family on such a big holiday, but did you guys as a team feel a sense of pride being the, one of the teams that seemed to play on Thanksgiving each and every year? Oh, certainly. We certainly felt a sense of pride. Um, it, it, uh, you, you really understand when you tr play for the Lions that that's a part of their rich tradition. Um, and so many players, you know, they grew up watching the game. And so they, they, they have some sense of it, but you don't really understand it until you get there and you really uh, see it firsthand. Um, and then for me, I was fortunate enough to have a big family. They always came up um, in droves, um, you know, to, to uh, Thanksgiving Day games and, and uh, you know, set out a big spread after the game. Um, you know, so, you know, we, we did our best to try to create a real home atmosphere um, around that day. Obviously, we wouldn't have this game without Coach Madden. Coach Madden's such a big part of not just the, the video game franchise, but the NFL as a whole. Do you have any uh, standing, uh, any, any memories that stand out or any calls that stand out or interactions with Coach Madden? Well, to me, what I think about, um, I mean, I think about watching him in 1977, uh, um, you know, Raiders, Vikings, Super Bowl, um, and then I think about also as I became a player and he and he um, went into the broadcast booth and then on um, Fridays or Saturdays, we we'd uh, you know, we sit down and talk to the guys who are who are calling the game. Um, for me, it was a treat just to, you know, be sitting there in, in, in the meeting uh, with Coach Madden uh, with him, you know, uh, covering the game and um, and being able to just, you know, sit in the same room with, with Coach. 
obviously, you've got a pretty big week coming up. So tell us a little bit about what's coming up on your calendar this week. Oh, absolutely. Well, um, I'm fortunate enough to, to um, you know, to be a part of a great, uh, what I feel is going to be a great documentary called Bye Bye Barry. Um, it's going to be showing uh, on Amazon, um, Amazon Prime, um, Prime Video, um, November 21st. Um, and, you know, it just pretty much covers, um, you know, covers my career at, it, it, uh, you know, NFL Network and, and, um, and those folks followed me around, you know, for the last six months to different events. Um, you know, my statue ceremony, they, they, they went back home and talked to, you know, mom and friends and friends of my dad um, and old coaches and family members and and, you know, of course, they, you know, they, went, they went back to my old high school and my old college, Oklahoma State. Um, and so, again, uh, Bye Bye Berry, Bye Bye Berry is going to be showing uh, November 21st, uh, the week of Thanksgiving, um, you know, and, and um, you know, so hopefully people will get a chance to, to see it uh, and enjoy it. I heard a Go Pokes yelled somewhere from back in the back. There's somebody back there who's a big Pokes fan. Barry, oh, we're everywhere. We're I cannot, everywhere. I can't. I cannot wait to watch. I cannot wait to uh, get to hang out and uh, to play with you in Madden because every year Barry Sanders in Madden makes Madden more fun. Barry Sanders, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Great to be here. Well, we have a huge final coming up. Before that, the Harvest Program reveal for. Any Mutt player, you're not going to want to miss this, okay? It's coming up at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. That's just a couple minutes away. So don't go anywhere. We'll be revealing that first drop of the Harvest uh, promo. Guys, really cool to catch up with Barry Sanders. Man, user, I feel like Barry Sanders is one of those guys, the Michael Vicks of the world, the Randy Moss of the world, who's just, his name is synonymous with the game of Madden. This is no disrespect, but in my eyes, Barry Sanders is the greatest running back of all time. I know Emmitt has the record, but Barry was the best to me. And be able to see that interview, you know what I'm saying? Nick, I was trying. I was trying to get here, but the Uber was too late. But at the end of the day, when you see Barry, man, like you said, he was he was great on the field, off the field, the virtual gridiron. Barry Sanders was that guy. Nobody had his jukes, his speed. He was unmatched on the field. He has some of the greatest highlights ever. Um, and obviously in the game of Madden, man, you, you're going to have to try his card out. He always has immense speed. Uh, if he's able to break tackles, he's been a nightmare, uh, depending on whatever year it comes down to. But I think it's just really cool how humble he was. And uh, unfortunately, Detroit Lions, come on, Detroit, if y'all could have built around Barry Sanders, that was, that was always a frustrating point, you know. I think what you're saying, if he had the Dallas Cowboy offensive line, Ooh. we know Barry Sanders would have shattered, shattered even more records and probably how many, it would have been like how many Super Bowls. Correct. It would be crazy. Uh, the game you love on the go, make sure you download Madden NFL 24 Mobile today and build your ultimate team of NFL superstars from anywhere right in the palm of your hands. All right, let's get into it. You guys ready to reveal some Harvest program? Mm. Who doesn't? I mean, this, this, we've got a little sneak peek. This is going to be a fun one as we reveal release number one of the Harvest program. I know the Mutt fans out there, there are excited to see this one what we have in store uh, and let's tell you a little bit about what's coming out with this harvest program uh, important to note all the players that we released they're all getting their team chems and the harvest chems mm. the harvest ltds and champs they're getting two times harvest chem and their team chem oh that's tough that's we tough know how good some head. of these theme teams have been with the programs that's tough because most fear didn't have that. You know, that, that take card ended up getting plus five once you did all the objectives. But having this means you can probably squeeze in both theme teams. Go Harvest and the theme you team. You said possibly. the limited? The LTDs and the champions, the okay. 92 overall champions. So six different items all get that two times Harvest chem and so already the team you chem. Got them, you got eight Harvest already. Mathematically, you're already off to a good start. Trying Gotta to have it. it. We're going to go over a little bit of everything, not just the champions and the LTDs, but we've got challenges, field pass sets, predictor sets, and house rules to go over. A pack stream, a packed uh, program here, release number one of the Harvest program. A reminder, this program is dropping Thursday, not Wednesday. So it's not going to be coming out Wednesday. I know a lot of people are going to be logging on Wednesday being like, where's the Harvest program? It's not until Thursday. Let's get into it. Let's start off with those 82 overall elites. Some interesting names on there. You got the punter, J.K. Scott. If you're looking for a punter, you're running Chargers, Cam. Josie Jewell. How about Keaton Mitchell, by the way? 
Keaton Mitchell, who just uh, has come onto the scene in Baltimore and has been uh, a, a revelation and running back in that offense with John Harbaugh. Um, big shout out to Keaton Mitchell getting one of those 82 overall elites. Let's go to the 85 overall elite. Hunter Renfro, Icky Aquan. Well, there's a there's Panther. Yeah. There you go, right no there. Please, I mean, These yeah. are the 85 overalls. Uh, Mecole Hardman, Josh Uche, Andrew Dowell. Again, if you're looking to build those harvests, that harvest came up. These are the guys uh, to grab to put at those backup spots. So important. They all get their team chems, right? They all get their, uh, these guys all get their team chems mm. and their harvest chem. Let's get to the 89 overall heels. We'll start heroes. Let's start off with Marshawn Lattimore, New Orleans State, 89 speed, 90 Excel Saints chem. One of the best shutdown corners in the game. Let her go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm looking at this. Is this double chem at the same time? So you get harvest and the team? Yeah, yes, harvest that's what, and that's team. What we Every just said player a, gets a, harvest a and team. So I, you, no, 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 no. I was thinking that you, you know you had to choose like most fear. Mm -hmm. No, you, you get you get harvest and team no matter what. Here's uh, so here's that Marshawn Lattimore. We go to Michael Pierce, defensive tackle. He's rocking Ravens and Vikings chems along with that harvest chem. Oh man. There you go. I mean, we looking can, for a DT. We can really get to six six foot three forty five. Uh, looking on the offensive line, how about Rob, Rob Havenstein uh, getting that Rams chem if you're out there running that L.A. Rams theme team, 90 strength, 90 awareness at the right tackle position. Go to Eddie Jackson. Where are my Bears fans? I know Henry's around here somewhere. Looking for Eddie Jackson, Bears chem. These are all the 89 overall uh, heroes out of the Harvest first release. Again, dropping on Thursday. We got C.J. Mosley at middle linebacker. Jets and Ravens chem for C.J. Mosley. Also gets Lurk Artist for one in that tier three ability bucket. We move to the offensive line, back to the big hosses. How about Brandon Scherf uh, at right guard, 89 overall. Trying that Jags chem. How about Justin Reed, Chiefs and Texans chems out there at strong safety. Back to the offensive line, we got Wyatt Teller. Where are my Cleveland Browns fans at? Browns and Bills chem for Wyatt Teller. 6'4", 314. Go back to middle linebacker, Eric Kendricks, Chargers and Vikings chem. Gets Lurker for two AP in that tier three ability bucket. 89 overall. If you're looking for a halfback, how about James Conner? Cardinals and Steelers chem gets armbar for two AP in that tier three ability bucket. 6'1", 233, James Conner. Robert Hainsey at center, Bucks chem, 6'5", 302 at center. And last but not least, out of the 89 overalls, we've got Teron Johnson. Bills chem gets tip drill for two, outmatched for one in that tier three ability bucket. All right, so we got the game day players. So these are base 89 overall players. These can be upgraded to 91 overall via in-game team and individual performances. So keep your eye on the games over Thanksgiving because these players can be upgraded to that 91 overall based on how they do. They can be earned in sets with 485 overall harvest players and any four 86 to 87 overall players. These sets will be pulled down the day before Thanksgiving. So the only way to get these players is through these sets. They are not gonna be in packs and they will be taken down the Day before Thanksgiving. So again, 89 overalls can be upgraded for 91. We'll tell you with each of these players uh, how they can be upgraded. Let's start off with Julian Love. Uh, these again, these are the uh, game day players. So this is Julian Love, 89 overall. This is his base. Uh, you can see the conditions. If the Seahawks on Thanksgiving force a turnover or Julian Love gets two plus tackles, each one of those will be one extra overall. So if Seahawks force a turnover, but Julian Love doesn't get two tackles, gets upgraded to 90 overall. So each one of those is worth one overall point. That's mm. achievable. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad to get to that 91 you can overall. You get tackles. You can do that. Uh, I know Tim the Tatman will be excited about this one. Uh, at tight end, Jake Ferguson for the Cowboys. Cowboys got three or more sacks. We get you that pl one plus overall. And if uh, Jake Ferguson has four or more receptions, that's going to be a fun one to watch the Cowboys on Thanksgiving if you want this item. And to be rooting for Jake Ferguson just to get some catches. If he's sitting there at three, you know there's going to be a lot of Madden fans just rooting for that fourth one. Might be a tough one. Yeah, I think he's yeah, it it's going to be tight. Yeah. You're not going to know the answer to that. It's yeah, about yeah. fourth quarter. How about Benjamin St. Juice from the Washington Commanders? Washington hold, to hold Dallas under 200 passing yards. And yeah, St. Juice to get two feasible. plus tackles. Very feasible. <laughs> he gets outmatched in that tier three ability bucket, by the way. One AP. Six three also. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
6-3-2-0-2. How about I'm on Ross St. Brown? Where are my Lions fans at? Two plus tash, t passing touchdowns for the Lions. St. Brown to get 80 plus receiving yards. That almost feels like a lock already. They got the Packers on Thanksgiving Day. Six foot 197. Does get uh, mid in and mid out elite in that tier three ability bucket for two AP. Team that they're going against on Thanksgiving. Anybody looking for a Jordan Love item? User just shaking his head. All right. Well, the Packers <laughs> got to score 20 plus points for one overall. And Jordan Love's got to get two plus touchdowns for one overall. So you might have an 89 overall card on Thanksgiving. Sorry, Packers fans. Does get, he get, gets a lot of dead eyes in that tier three ability bucket, though. You're not switching to Jordan Love? No. Okay. What if he had a good release? No. Still no. No, I'm a Panthers fan, man. Bryce Young. That's it. Even it's... though we're terrible, let's just let it go. Well, there's one thing we know that all three of us will be on Thanksgiving. It's going to be hungry. And so we got these hungry harvest players coming out. So these are base 88 overall players. They can be upgraded to 91 overall using the turducken items. So you get three of these players for free, okay? One from house rules, one from field pass, and one uh, from challenges. Those are the three that you get. There are no more. You get those three for free. And you can earn enough Turducken collectibles to fully upgrade those three players inside of those programs. So from House Rules, Field Pads, and Challenges, you'll get enough Turducken items to fully upgrade these players. So it's three players out of these six you're going to have to select from. Let's take a look at the six players. These are the Hungry Harvest players that can be upgraded to that full 91 overall. We start off with Arden Key. This is his 91, so we're showing you the, the fully upgraded items. If you use all those Turducken collectibles, this is what you'll get. Titans, Raiders, 49ers, Jaguars, Chem. So a lot of Chems there. Also that Harvest Chem. 6'5", 240. Gets Deflator for two in that Tier 3 ability bucket. Not a bad outside linebacker to, to bring on a little pass rush. Great height. Not enough speed, though. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. he has great chemistries if you want to get one of those other team chemistries. Yeah, we're going to use him for the Harvest Chem. He a bench rider. How about a Miami Dolphin, Javon Holland? This is 91 overall item. Only the Dolphins chem. 6'1", 207 at free safety, 90 speed, 91 excel. Does get in that tier three ability buck. He's got deep end zone KO for two. He's got tip drill for two, flat zone KO for two. Not a bad free safety. Not bad, but I mean, because I'm thinking already, I'm looking, you're going to have that harvest chem. We, we should have 50 of them, so he'll be 92 base. And, you know, throwing with the Dolphins if we can, 25, it could be 93. Yeah. 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 I know we just finished with most fear, but we got someone scary in this one. It's Terry McLaurin. Washington Commanders, Chem, 6 foot 210, 91 speed, wide receiver, tier three ability bucket, does get slot apprentice for two, outside apprentice for two, and red zone threat for three. Yeah, scary Terry's tough with that Washington Commanders, Chem. You know what I'm looking for? Mm. A Dave Robinson, because they were so tough when they had the Washington Kim mm. with him. We need to bring him back out. Again, these are all the Turducken items. There'll be 88 overalls. You can upgrade with those Turducken collectibles. We'll be able to get three of these in game. Let's go to Josh Sweat. Defensive end, Eagles Chem, 6'5", 265 at, at defensive end. 88 speed, 91 excel, not too bad. Now this 88 speed is excellent because you can Kim to 90, possibly 91, like user talked about. So with, with his high size and speed, the Eagles theme team can be a monster. Uh, th this may be a must have card. I think this card can make it on the field. Yeah, and we'll talk about the house rules, the field pass and the challenges you can earn these from in just a little bit. Left tackle, Trent Brown, Patriots, Raiders, Niners chem. Great set of three chems right there. 6'8", 380. At tackle. One of my favorite cards. This card is a monster right here. When he has a decent enough awareness, he's going to play out of his mind. 6 8 3 80. You can run right at him, run behind him. This card is going to be a legit, legit card. And I think you're going to be seeing a lot of big Trent Brown. Last but not least, can I can I get some juices? A little bit of juice. Kyle Hughes chick. 49ers, Ravens, Kim. Anytime user, you can get a fullback with chemistries. That's what you're looking for. It's one of the toughest positions to fill. It's a tough position to fill on theme teams. And you know, the Niners obviously going to have one of the best theme teams, regardless at the end of the year, you know, or anytime during the season. So, look at 92 lead block. Not too bad. Not too bad. Again, a reminder, guys, you can, you'll be able to earn three of these. So, yeah, start thinking about what three you're going to want to get from your house rules, your field pass, and your challenges. Let's talk about the items that I know you guys are excited for. These are the LTDs. Not just for the LTDs, they get two times Harvest Chem and their Team Chem. Massive. We got two LTDs to reveal. These are 92 overall. They're going to be in packs for a limited time, so make sure. Are you, got, are you an LTD hunter? Absolutely. Okay. Just want to make sure. 
I want to make sure. I know Ryan is. I know Ryan's out there trying to get the best items. So we're going to be looking at them. Let's look at our 92 overall LTDs. We start off with a running back, a Colts legend. How about Edgerin J? By the way, shout out to the card art team. That's a tough art. So this mm. is Edrin James, his first item in the game. He gets Colts, Cardinals, Seahawks chem. His tier four ability bucket. He gets evasive for three and human joystick for two. 92 speed LTD halfback with that double harvest chem. That's tough. I mean, I'm looking automatically. I'm like, he's going to be 94 speed. And you know the way the jukes are. You're looking at his COD. And he has high carry, too. You gonna hold on to that ball. And by the way, Colts, Cardinals, and Seahawks. I know there's a lot of Seahawks themed teams out there. Not a bad player to add. Yeah, no, not at all. And that seems Seahawks team team is, is juice. You just got another Warren Moon uh, card come out, and I, I mean, it just seemed like they got a million cards. That Greg Olson card. A lot of people may not know that all Madden Greg Olson was a Seahawks theme team too. So Seahawks theme team getting quietly juiced out here. All right, this one is fun because there's some things that goes along with this one. Mm. Joey Porter. You notice. There's a third chem on yeah, there. what is that? Ooh, oh, oh, it has peaked uses interest. Not only does he get two, uh, two times harvest chem, not only does he get Steelers, Cardinals, Dolphins chem, he receives dad kid chemistry that will be useful with harvest release two. Mm. Mm. If that's mm. not a hint, I don't know what is. 84 hey, speed outside linebacker, 6'3", tier 248, that tier four ability bucket. He gets tackle supreme for three, under pressure for three, and double or nothing for three. So he's already a pretty good item. He's an LTD with that double chem, and I know everybody's going to keep an eye on Harvest, too, to what see. Is, what is the dig and sun chem? Oh, you? well, you will have to tune into Harvest, oh, too. I thought you knew something. Come on, Nick. <laughs> you can't tease us like that. Come on. I don't know if you knew this. I don't work for the Mutt team. I'm just the I messenger. can't tell you. You got paperwork over there. You do, too. I ain't got nothing. I just, I'm like, you everybody, got the same I, paperwork like everybody we else. Yeah, yeah, read, I'm looking to read, see what's dropping. I'm like, oh, okay. Note, will receive dad kid chemistry that will be useful with harvest release too, dot, dot, dot. I don't believe that. No, I, I, it's more on that paper. Oh, it also says user does not get it. Sorry, man. Dems and breaks. <laughs> Those are your 92 overall LTDs. Let's get to the 92 overall champions. Reminder, all these are going to get those that double harvest chem and their team chem. And we got some heat coming, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start off. I know I trashed him a little bit earlier. But my Giants fans, we got Sexy Dexy coming out here. Dexter Lawrence, the second, 6'4", 342, tier four ability bucket. Gets double or nothing for three, under pressure for three, defensive rally for two, inside stuff for two, and double harvest chem. And if you're running the Giants theme team out there, not too bad. It's a monster right here. Uh, obviously, the double cam is the most appealing. Even if you don't want to play this card, for the double cam, you have him. to go out and, and get these cards if you want to have a chance to go 50 or 50 or possibly go an easy 25, 25, and then have some room to play around with. So you're going to get options here if you get this Dexter Lawrence card. User, you want a wide receiver? Come on, man. Who we got? We got Amari Cooper. Amari Ooh, Cooper Mark, out baby. there. Browns, Raiders, Cowboys, Cam. So you get Cowboys, Cam, if you're running that Cowboys theme team. Already a good start. Here's your tier four ability bucket. Short in elite, short out elite, deep in elite, deep out elite, all for three. Outside apprentice for two, slot apprentice for two, playmaker for three. 6 1, 2 10, 91 speed. You can bump that up with those chems. I got to put this out here. Quietly, that Cowboys theme team is getting stacked and stacked and mm -hmm. stacked. You know, there's going to be another Deion Sanders card. And at Michael some Irvin, who's seen a lot. Just saw Michael Irvin, uh, J Javon Curse, uh, Carmichael. I mean, you can go down the line. I think this Cowboys theme team may be the way to go. Well, if we give him a new wide receiver, we got to give you somebody to combat that wide receiver. How about Patrick Sertan, the second? Goodness. Broncos Chem, 6'2", 202, tier four ability bucket. Short route KO for three, bench press for two, deep route KO for four, outside shade for three, mid route KO for three. How are the Broncos theme team looking? Because we could get him to 95 speed. Yeah. I mean, who they got? I mean, I'm about to have to. He's 92 speed already. I mean, if you go harvesting up, that's going to give you some action. 92 speed, 90 excel, and that's just without any of the chem. So that's Patrick Sertan the second. You know what? Before we reveal our last one, what? I feel like we should give one of these away. What do you think? I'm with that. You you need my uh, ID need, and all I that to send to? Name. You need to be entered. Okay. All I'll right. tell you what, Jack. Let's give away a Patrick Sertan right now. Man, oh man. G give me your answers, chat. Patrick Sertan the second's father was a three-time pro bowler for which team? Anybody know that here? Man, the Dolphins. You don't win it. That's and right. you gave away the answer, so. Oh, I wasn't supposed to say it. 
<laughs> Will you ask me? <laughs> hey, you did point at him. It's fine. Hey, no, you can't uh, take. We already have our winner. It's fine. It wasn't like it was up to win can't the game. Can't take I was you just, nowhere, I was man. He pointed to me. I was giving you a little man. time to lay out to see if oh. anybody put it in, and you were just like, "No, nah, I got this." Yo. Oh. You're so smart. Congratulations on being so smart. Well, thank you. You're I very mean, smart. You didn't throw in a rhetorical question. I'm it's sorry. It's okay. The winner of the Patrick turned in the second C Cotton Ten. C Cotton 10, congratulations. You're taking home that Patrick Sertan the second. We got one more. 92 overall champion. Can we get a drum roll, please? We need a quarterback, man. I mean, you know, we got guys out here using, you know. All right, here it is, Patrick Mahomes, the fourth of those 92 overall champions. Chiefs Chem, let me tell you what he's rocking with. 80, you see his numbers. Mm -hmm. Tier three ability bucket, slinger for two, roaming dead eye for two, dashing for two, sideline for three, long range for three. Tier four ability bucket, mm -hmm. hot route master for three, set feet lead for oh. four. Dashing dead eye for two, no look dead eye for three. Hot route master and set feet leading that tier four ability bucket. People have said for years, we don't give Patrick Mahomes a good card mm -hmm. in mutt. I think we just gave a good. We might be seeing everybody in that zero chill ladders this weekend using this Patrick Mahomes. I mean, you have to set feet lead, put him, pan, uh, pair him up with Gunslinger. It doesn't really matter what release he has. Gunslinger is going to make sure he gets the ball out. And we we are seeing what Henry is doing right now with Troy Aikman set feet lead. Can you imagine Patty, Patty Mahomes with the 80 speed? I see, I see you down there. I know you're excited to get out there with Mahomes. Uh, this, is, this is a must-have card. There's, there's no questions there. And, and double harvest, Kevin. He's going to be able to move just enough. No, he's not Lamar Jackson. But, yeah, you're going to be able to move with this Patrick Mahomes card, and it's a must-have. And right now, really stingy with that set-feet league. It's 94 only second throw one now. power, 80 speed. I mean, look at that. You're, you're at 90-plus in every accuracy, 92 throw under pressure. I mean, and then you could possibly get him to 83 speed. Chiefs King, the Chiefs theme team ain't too bad. Add that with the Harvest theme team? Mm-hmm. I know, I know there's a lot of people right now, all, all, all you, you guys at home who are big mutt players, I know y'all are at home thinking, all right, who am I gonna run in the ladders this weekend? They're starting to process with it. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Before we do there, let's give away a Patrick Mahomes. I mean, ooh. Whoa. Now, you reminder, guys. You need my, my oh. username? Yeah, is, it, is your username Kyle's Cord? Kyle C. Cord? Is that you? Is that you? Yeah. That's you? That's not Congrats, man. Yeah. You're taking, no, I yeah. actually, no, it's it's Kyle C. Cord. No, it's actually not you. It's not Kyle C. Cord 2, it's you. <laughs> it's Kyle C. Cord. You're taking home that uh, that Patrick Holmes. Be on the lookout, we'll be reaching out soon. And reminder, guys, these are all dropping on Thursday, not Wednesday. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's talk you through the sets. This release has two sets of 15 challenges for a total of 30 challenges. And not only that, we got these out there. These are your sets to get these champions, these heroes, these elites. Uh, those 92 overalls, each player has their own set. 589 overall players, mm -hmm. any 89s. The 89 overall harvest heroes, you get the fantasy pack, 585 overall harvest and 484 overall players, um, as you can see. Also, by the way, in the challenges, in case you're wondering, challenges are kind of fun because uh, the challenges, we got 30 total challenges coming up, including the kids versus dads challenges. What's interesting about this, the dad's team is going to be tall and slow, and the kid's team is going to be small and fast. You do those in, I mean, just for our solo challenge friends out there, that's kind of fun. That's tough. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, those are your sets right there, as you can see on screen. Um, we talk challenges. Let's talk, We are, there are also, by the way, regular harvest challenges with that as well. Let's talk field pass. Here are your rewards for your field pass. You can see at level 18, you get that 89 overall harvest hero fantasy pack that is not account bound okay so that's an a 89 overall sellable item you see the turducken collectibles that you can get to upgrade your turducken player uh, 82 plus overall harvest player at level 14 89 overall account bound hero fantasy pack at 12 so plenty of things to get in our field pass let's talk predictor sets this is fun so users can earn a predictor token in challenges and sets one token is going to come in that welcome pack 
Here's an example, okay? You can use this, use a harvest predictor token to predict that the 49ers will hold the Seahawks to two touchdowns or less on that uh, 20, the game on the 23rd. If your prediction is correct, you're taking home 11,500 coins on the 30th. If not, you'll get a 500 coin collectible. There's ones for each of these games, each of these teams. Um, it's a lot of fun. But this one I think is the most interesting. If, you, if you're putting one of these uh, collectibles into something and you're looking to hit a home run. If you use your predictor token in this set and we have a scoregami on Thanksgiving, a final score that has never occurred in NFL history, how about a 100,000 coin quick sell? Ooh, I'm with that. Listen, it's, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm not saying it's even likely to happen. But you get these, these predictor tokens, use it on something fun like the scoregami example. You can take home 100,000 coins if, I mean, listen, we see an 18 to 5 game. Mm -hmm. Well, Scorigami, Scorigami's fun. So that's that's your predictor sets. You'll be able to use these to get um, some more coins into your account. Here are your house rules. This is, you can get that house rules player reward, that 89 overall Jerry Tillery. It's also where you can earn some of those turducken items. Uh, here's how the house rules work. 30 yards for a first down, 10 second play clock, all quick snaps. There's not gonna be time to make adjustments. A 10 second play mm. clock, all Madden arcade game style, full game, two minute quarters. The way this was described to me, it's as as NFL blitzy as possible. And that the two minute quarters feels right like that. There's not a lot of time to make adjustments. This is an experimental house rules event. We're gonna monitor feedback on it, but I'm definitely gonna try it out, especially just to get that Jerry Tillery in my, my introduction collectibles. I like that, man. Fast paced games, you wanna get them over with and, and fun. You know, hey man, get the ball snapping and, and, and roll, be ready. You don't wanna see a lot of adjustments. I know, uh, we'll see user in those house rules streets. Listen, you don't have to make adjustments, user. Yeah, so... Uh, You're welcome. It's made for you. Wow. Snap and throw. Thank you, Nurky. Thank you. Wow. Okay, well, you know I'm sensitive about, about the Nurky. You know I'm sensitive, man. I don't know why you had to hit me where it hurts. Guys, make sure that you tune in to Good Morning Madden tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. TJ is going to be revealing Season TJ. 3 Field Pass players and rewards, Team of the Week, Week 10, Angry Runs, and the Matthew Berry Boost item. Tweet at the broadcast using hashtag harvest and your guesses for the season three field pass players for a chance to win a giveaway. User, get on Twitter right now. Yeah, you you, we'll do that in the break, okay? I appreciate you being professional and not doing that because I know you're trying to get those little giveaways. Honestly, I, I feel like, you know, y'all would, would do me like y'all do, Henry. Y'all would patch me. You would make sure I wouldn't win a giveaway. <laughs> you actually have been patched. I don't know if you know that. You're actually, it's actually impossible for you to win. Let's talk about our final coming up in just a few moments. We got Henry battling Kobo for a belt for all those MCS points for $30,000. There's a whole lot online between two guys, user, who know each other so well. These are lab partners. They know what the, each person is going to bring. And you know Kobo. Last time he played Henry on the main stage, he got worked. He's looking for his get back. Yeah, and he wanted this moment. He asked for it. the biggest stage in the finals, the Harvest Challenge. He's ready for it. He wants to claim his first belt. Can you imagine how big that is? If you're able to do it and then you beat the guy, the man, you beat King, he King Henry for your first belt, that's something that people have to respect. See these guys getting ready on the flip side. We continue talking about legacy. It feels that, that that legacy keeps getting built, Ryan. Henry looking for belt number seven, making his way towards that $1 million mark. He's looking to add another uh, belt to the trophy case. Well, the problem for Kobo right now is that Henry needs this. You know, he's looking for seating. He, he's trying to get, get a buy. I talked to him uh, in, in the Madden Bowl coming up, and he knows Kobo's game. So I, I think you want to get Henry uninterested but he's got something to play for, and the, the even bigger problem, user, you know it, he's the only man with set feet lead right now. Yes, sir, man. Henry, right now, you know he's always been hungry. This guy's always like the money motivates him. You know what I'm saying? So not only is he thinking about, all right, I've already secured my spot for the bowl. Check, 30K. Win this right here, 10, check. He's trying to get the money and keep advancing. He's on his way to become the first Madden millionaire, and he already understands he has to play Kobo. Like you said, that's a relationship that has been developed. And right now, he knows Kobo's game. He knows Kobo has a chance to beat him. And I believe because he knows Kobo so well, he's going to respect him and play arguably one of his best games. Gentlemen, let's talk predictions. If there's one thing that Henry can be motivated for, it's nobody's ever won a Harvest Belt before, so he can add a, at least a new-looking belt to his uh, other six that he's got at home. Ryan, who's taking home the belt at the end of this one? Is it going to be Henry getting number seven or Kobo getting his first? 
I mean, I, I got to stick with Henry getting number seven. Clearly, to that set feet lead ability is really hard. We keep harping on it, but it's it's just that much overpowered. But if you're Henry, um, I think his defense has to win out. And I think that when you play against them, you know, you got to be high power. You got to get down the field. When we watched Kobo in his last match, his inability to hit those deep passes, I think, is going to hurt him. And that's where that set feet lead comes into play. So he's going to have to be masterful with hitting all those little short routes. And you know Henry's going to go out and look to blitz him and try to uh, speed him up and hurry him in that trip side end. Bush? He <laughs> <laughs> brought up the nerky, so I had That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like that. Go ahead and mush him, man. You pull one. Go ahead and mush him, man. Yeah, first of all, we're not gonna bring that back. Take Kobo. Are we no. sure? No, we're not. We actually have take, a graphic. Hey, we don't. Hey, take Kobo. No. You gassed him up. No, no. You gassed him up. <laughs> ain't no way. This man I had with Joe Montana. I don't know what he was thinking. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going with the king. And it's crazy to think that he's gonna have a chance to win belt number seven. Kobo, he says he wanted this matchup. Honestly, I'm with Henry. I don't believe he really did. He got to prove it to me. Not only did he have to prove it to me and Henry, he got to prove it to the world that he's one of those guys. Can he step up here on the biggest stage and beat the monster, the thriller in Manila? No way. You are Kobo, though. Let's say you're Kobo. You come out. Do you try something new? How do you beat him? What what, what do you look for if you're Kobo? Not by trying nothing new. I don't know how you beat him. He can't beat him. The man, you, you... Five minutes ago, he talked to Kobo about how confident this is what you asked for. You, 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 you prayed for times like these. You're not going to give him a shot? Listen, I mean, set feet lead, Joe Montana, it's so many things that I think Kobo is just not going to be able to beat him. Now, I, I may be wrong. And if I'm wrong, you know I will come up in and own that. You know what's, I stand you know what's on fun that. about this whole thing? They're right there. They can hear the slander. <laughs> but listen, I'm going to be honest. Kobo just keeps looking over here, nodding his head like, yeah, okay. Hey, hey, listen, maybe a lot of fire up on them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But at the end of the day, oh, I'm so looking. Oh, so you're going to take credit if Kobo wins this way and be like, it was, this is me. No, stop either, paying either way, Nick, I'm going to pay you back. Stop, baby. You know what I'm saying? I got the gift of gab. I'm going to come out on all, top now. Don't worry I know about that now. is we get to hand out our first ever Harvest Challenge belt. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we hand out $30,000 and a belt as Kobo and Henry, a rematch from the Madden Bowl quarterfinals, the final of the Harvest Challenge. It's coming up next. Our first game of the day, upset-minded Kobo. A lot on the line here for Kobo. Let's see if he can live up to the hype. Going up against the top guy in the sport. Both these guys obviously know each other so well in the same crew. Something's got to give. As he's got a man, there's Christian Kirk. Ten, five, touchdown, Kobo. Kobo in the building. Welcome to your first live event. Henry ties it up. We got a ball game in our first match of our live event. There goes Henry, Terrell Davis, down the right side of the field. Fourth down and 10. Oh man, that's a heartbreaker for Kobo. Henry with the ball. This feels like a put away drive for Henry. If he's able to score here, this game could be over. Henry, all of a sudden, it's turned into a flood. He's up by three scores. Yeah, just too much smoke from Henry right now. It, it, what a turn of events, right? First quarter, great game, and then just like that, Henry takes complete control. It is Kobo battling Henry for a belt, MCS points, and a whole lot of dough. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape, see how these two match up. Kobo's crossed $100,000, and that is an accomplishment. He's only got $700,000 to catch up to Henry. You know, we're not worried about the money right now. Kobo knows exactly who he is. He's ready for this situation. He asked for this situation. And at the end of the day, a lot of people, you got to give them kudos to this. A lot of people wouldn't even have the gall to say what he said, to say, hey, I want Henry. I want my get back. And yet that has to amount for something. And at the end of the day, he's going to have his chance right here. I'm going to tell you one thing. He can't be the same player that he was against some serious. 
he can't do the same things that he did. So if he gets out here, uh, he's going to have to score the football. He can't have turnovers. He can't settle for three. He's got to be high powered. And I think the one thing he can maybe do is manage his clock music. I mean, you know, he's got to make sure he plays the, the game correctly to the best of his ability because we know Henry, he masters every situation. Whether he has to use the clock to get a stop, whether he has to speed up the pace or slow down the pace, we know Henry knows how to play these games. The kick is away. Our final is underway, as it will be Kobo with the ball first. If you're just tuning in, maybe you didn't see this before. His third MCS major appearance, his first MCS final appearance, he won his first live game in this tournament, defeating some series in the semifinal. User, he said from the beginning, his motivation is to get back, get Henry, and at least try to get him to stop calling him his son. Yeah, I mean, this is the biggest stage that you can get your get back on. And you know, he's out here with, he's out here with Joe Montana, hot route master. You are not gonna let this Joe Montana thing. I'm not, I'm, I, because I feel like, I feel like Kobo is one of those guys. He's, he's starting to put himself into you know the conversation when it comes to tournaments and i think that joe montana just right now isn't a good fit for him not if it was troy aikman over there i'm like hmm because sometimes you can lose the game before you start it like we had to respect people who came out here with no quarterbacks at one point and then you have to respect people who came out here when you had you know the, the arm bar you know so i just think right now maybe it was bad gming but we'll see well i think what he's saying is that hot route master essentially for the trips tied in is necessary. And it ended up paying off at the end of the day. But the reality, what we saw users, he just can't push that football down the field and it may come back to bite him. So, you know, we did have some change. Henry had some roster changes. And it looks like out goes Night Train Lane with universal coverage, out goes Terry Tate with Lurk Artist, just taking those abilities off. And he switched Brian Dawkins from deep out zone KO to just straight deep zone KO. Oh, I... And he added Justin Simmons on the back oh of the my end God. of that defense with deep in zone KO and the universal coverage X factor. So definitely planning for that passing attack from Kobo. I think Early. It's, it, it's no pick artist, it's no lurk artist. That's it, He's so good. Everybody complains about dropping picks. Henry's like, nah, I'm good. And early fourth and, fourth and 12, and, 12. Uh -oh. and just wow. swap that away. There's that Tariq Woolen again. Yeah, but no pick artist. He just ends up slapping. That was an easy turnover right there. And, uh, you know, Woolen just slaps it down. But that card has been absolutely dominant, user. Yeah, fourth and 12. Henry saying, listen, I don't even want the interception. Let me get, Let me get the I field mean, position. We ain't even got to the tell of the tape wow. yet, and this man got a turnover. You ever heard of Henry this Henry kid? <laughs> I mean, all he's done is 15 major appearances. His ninth final. We talked about 10 final fours. This is his ninth final, the most all time. Absolute dominance. Nine finals. Nine finals. Nine finals, and by the way, six belts. My goodness. The kid is remarkable, man. I mean, like we said, just came out here that quick, able to get a quick four and out versus Kobo. And Kobo is no slouch, no matter who he has back there at the quarterback. But that's just how good Henry is. He's so dominant. He's so prepared. This guy. I mean, his mentals is so tough. I haven't seen anyone like him just to be so focused and so locked in. He's always prepared for any situation. I couldn't get worse than being put on a turkey. I'm gonna put my head in a turkey. Well, my Twitter's in shambles right now. I, I, uh, I just gotta delete the mm, app. Big hit right there. Troy Aikman at quarterback for Henry. But again, that set feet lead. That set feet lead. Rifle it in there. there. It's a close catch, right? But that easily probably could have been a knockout uh, situation if he doesn't have Sefi lead. Second and four. Splits Kamara out of the backfield. Bunch to the left side. Aikman at quarterback. Pressure up the middle from Kobo. Down goes Aikman. Amani Hooker able to get in the backfield. Third and 12 for Hendog. And that's a big difference with the pass. Games we saw these guys going against Kobo and Henry. They were running that 4 3 6 1 even defense. Now they're out here in this dollar putting pressure on them. And he throws this one away, forced the fourth and 12. And Henry has to settle for three right here. Pretty sure he's going to take his three since he already has a stop. Hey, user, here's the thing we were frustrated with 
uh, Kobo offensively, but he was really good on defense. So we see that showing through here, but Henry doesn't mind playing a grinded out game. He's become more of a defender. And I mean, it, it, his defensive numbers have been absolutely history in the making. And it looks like he's tightening up even more. I mean, he only gave up eight points in the last game. That's ridiculous. I mean, already in mind, he's one of the best defensive Madden players of this generation. And, and when you can use it, we talked about this uh, at the beginning of the season. When you can get a stop in this Madden, you're always going to have a shot in the game. The one thing Henry has mastered is his defense. I'm sure his offense is there when called upon, but defensively, this man has been unbelievable. Because he always knows how to make some adjustments to try to throw his opponent off. Nice tackle right there, bringing up a second and 12. Like, he's just prepared for everything. Like, some people may struggle versus tight. They might struggle versus, you know, trips formation, but Henry puts in the time to be able to deal with any formation. And when you talk to Henry, you say, man, how do you know how to play all these things? You, you seem prepared. Oh my. You seem prepared for every situation. And the one thing Henry says is, I get thousands of reps in, thousands of reps daily. Third and three. Trips tight end to the left side, tight end. Donald Parm on the right side of that formation. Kamara on the right hip of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, Joe Montana. Looking deep yeah. down the middle of the field for Donald Parham. And good defense as wow. Tariq Woolen once again. He took a shot, fourth and three. Another fourth down. Yeah, that was that Bills wide post, and you know that should have been a dot, but that Woolen ended up playing Parham just as great. You know, he's six eight versus six four, and you know six four ended up winning. Right side, fourth and three, big pickup. Parham got the feet in balance that time. Big first down for Kobo. Yeah, that's the go-to route for Kobo. He, he's streaking the halfback out the backfield, and then he has the corner route with Parham, and that's been a money play for him. Over the middle, oh tight coverage. But Randy Moss makes the catch, trust 84. And notice Kobo. Kobo gets on this all the way and hugs the hash. He loves to play there in his trip side end. Everybody's blanking exactly. today. Nowhere to go. Bradley Chubb puts Ryan, a wrap on that one. And Ryan, you touched on it. You know, most of these guys, their offense is based off of hash marks. No one likes running that offense in the middle of the field. They want to make sure they're on the right hash or the left hash because the way they know the routes are going to run. We're going to get an illegal oh, contact down the field. Is that what we're going to get? I believe so. Guys, if we, and that's Henry's user running in, and you're, you're seeing a lot of those illegal contacts this year. A lot of players were frustrated Tough. that your user could bump a, a man off the route, so it is being called. But Henry's, Henry's defense is running with post routes. Normally, post routes fry every coverage, so that's a big adjustment that I don't think people have talked about in the patch. Screamed at off the edge. Just able to get rid of that one. It'll be an incomplete pass, second and 10 for Kobo. Again, was tough. I think you got to beat Henry uh, on the sidelines. And again, he's forcing Kobo to play in the middle of the field here. Out of the backfield, it's Camaro with the catch. It's the 20 to the 15, down near the 10 lo yard line. Nice read there from Kobo. As he stays locked in, he said he knows what Henry's going to run. He said Henry doesn't like to change a whole lot. Can he take advantage of that? And user, you notice in the trip side end, everything is open. But are you going to be able to see the open play and go out and make it? Because you've got five rights that routes that are going and, and, and breaking open. Oh, he had X late. Oh, my God, he had a touchdown. But the pressure, that's what pressure does if you're able to collapse that pocket. We're going to head to the end of the first quarter. This is a fast quarter. Three nothing to score. Anybody's ball game. Yes, and Henry, we've seen him running dollar most of the time. Now he's out here in the 3-3 cup. Yeah, that's a good note, user. Um, you assume he wants to get some of that organic pressure because that 3-3 cup gets natural shares from the defensive tackles. And, you know, user, what do you think about this? Kobo said, you know, the one thing he worked on is not getting on tilt, not getting frustrated in these situations. I think he's actually handled this extremely well playing against the champ in Henry especially since he got stopped on his opening drive. You know, he's able to go down here, and worst case scenario takes three, but we know he wants to get seven right here, facing the big third and six. Splits Kamara out of the backfield, bunch to the left side, timeout taken. And that's As a Henry didn't like his setup. That's a big timeout. A lot of times people would just let it go, like, you know what, that's okay. Henry's seeing that this guy's out of position. Kobo mixing things up, motioning out that running back, able to pull a timeout up off of Henry. Montana well, back to pass. 
in trouble, rolling right, throwing right. He's got Wilson open. The Buckeyes into the end zone, and Kobo takes the lead over the six-time champ. And that's oh, great pocket does, right man. there because the pocket, that guy was open already in the flat, but he was hoping that he would get there and get sacked. But by the time he had to scramble, Kobo keeping his eyes up field, seeing, hey, I got a guy sitting right here naked in the flat. Takes the check down, walks into the end zone for seven. And, and Kobo, every possession, he's got four or five short routes out there. And if you notice, Henry stopped screaming out that 3-3, and he got into that cub. That cub means I've got to play a little more. Oh, my God! Picked up, pull him out, recovers it, and Kobo gets a turnover on the kickoff. What a break. He was on the wrong side of the fumble in the semifinal. He's on the right side here. And the crazy thing, this is uncharacteristic of Henry. I'm kind of wondering why is he bringing that ball out, especially three yards deep into the end zone. Just wait for a fair, quick, fair catch. You're not going to take this kickoff back. And... Takes a fumble right there, just unfortunate. Devontae and he's, he's barely even got lit up like a Christmas tree. It, it looked like he was trying to lay down. Now, user, does Kobo have to come out and get seven right here, or does a yes. field goal put him where he should be? I think regardless, because whether he gets seven or three right here, he's good. Mm. Kayvon but, Thibodeau but we, with we the We talked sack. about this. You've always been, you got to capitalize on your moments. You know Henry going to have another moment, so I don't I don't agree with you backing off. I think this is a situation, if he's going to have a chance, Can he get he's got to get seven. Jamar Chase, two feet in. Touchdown, Kobo. He takes a two-score lead. Ryan, it was clutch for him to get six on that drive and put some pressure on the six-time champ. He had to do it. You know Henry's going to make a play. He's going to get his right back. So if you can't capitalize on your mistakes, which is something that he didn't seem to do in the last game, uh, you, you, you're going to have to have a chance. But he's been going short, short, short. Henry gets conservative. And that seam over the and top 20. ended up winning. And Montana got it there that time. Yeah, Even Montana. without set feet lead, Montana completed the pass. Yeah, he was able to fit it in. And it looks like Henry's been shading down on the press, trying to cover those underneath routes. That's why he's shading down, and he's he got beat over top because he's trying to stop those short post routes. He's trying to stop the whip routes. Yeah, those verticals, what they do is they fry that press, and that's why trip side mm. end becomes mm. so tough, but it is extremely hard to read. Shout out spamming, slim ghost. Those guys love to uh, other trip side end guys. If you find a good trip side ender, they are a headache to play against. Do you think uh, Spamming is still one of the best trips tight ends? I'm trying. Yeah, who else? He ain't leaving. He ain't going nowhere. Just because he ain't leaving don't mean he's still one of them guys. You're not going to slander I, I, I just asked right you a question. Now. I just asked you a question. Ain't no slander. I just okay. asked you a question. Listen, you brought him up, but I was like, you know. Slander. I think you got to put respect on his name. I'm shouting him and Slim because they stand Looking deep it. down the field, but, he's got oh Garrett goodness. Wilson. 35-30, oh 25-20. Inside the red zone goes Henry. But again, when you see a mistake, you got to capitalize because this boy Henry is coming back to get get his pound of flesh. OK, so he ain't he, he's a little frustrated from that play and, you know, he's going to look to score. So Henry in this situation is going to try to court score quick. He doesn't want to milk. By the way, something we didn't see in that first semifinal that Kobo played, he's getting some pressure up the middle. That linebackers getting home. Yes. And, and, and Kobo sending he's staying in this dollar formation. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't really send against the uh, against that double stack, but he's sending against Henry. Third and three, for Henry. Kamara on the right hip of Aikman. He'll now flip the play, move the bunch over to the left to the right side. Kamara to the left side. He'll give it to Kamara. Little bit of room finds his way to the five yard line, picking up for first down. Back to work goes Henry. Down 14 to three near the two minute warning. Will he snap this before we hit that two minute warning? I believe he will. He does like indeed. It's a bubble screen. Yeah. Finding Jamar Chase. Trying to fight through a tackle. He'll get three. Down to the two-yard line, and we hit the two-minute warning. Yeah, he saw the numbers, so I had a feeling yep. he was going to snap. He had two defenders over there versus three receivers. Bubble screen, good call. Able to pick up positive yards. See Henry here in his Eagles offense. Mm, big hit. Good gap shoot right there by Kobo. And here's the thing. Everybody runs these RPOs. This, this wing slot is one of the most popular sets in the game. And oh, my. Kamara, but look at the defense. Able to bring him down for a loss on the play. It's going to be fourth and goal from the six-yard line. Kobo talked about he laughed for all these situations. 
He was prepared. And, and he forcing, holds Henry to three. That's huge. Forcing Henry into a field goal because it, it looked like he wanted that six very bad. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, Henry trusting his game, staying disciplined, say, you know what, I'm down, but I'm going to take my three right here. A lot of people will press and try to get seven right there. Take a look one more time. Shoots the gap. His user didn't even get there first. It was the CPU there first and pull him out, clean it up. Yeah, he labbed that. And, and one thing that you notice, he manned up the slot. So that slot receiver oh, ends wow. up being a headache. You know, he had the bubble screen open right there, too. Second and four, Montana back to pass. He's going to take the shot over the top, trying to get it to Jamar. But the KO lights up and knocks that one free. Almost had another big play. And that's the Simmons. Henry made lineup made changes. That switch to that he Simmons. put Simmons in there, and that was a huge play. So he's able to press with man, and then he's got those deep in and deep out zones playing over the top. He got a man open down the middle of the field. It's Donald Parham inside the 20, trying Ooh. to journal, but that 6 8 frame couldn't quite get in the air. Yeah, there's that, that's that Bills wide post. You know, that's a, a, an unbelievable route with your big tight end going up the middle. And, you know, Cobo's not running a lot of it, but when he pulls it out, uh, it ends up being a really good play. And that's the whole reason why he's in that Bills playbook. Picking up nine with Kamara on the ground. Now Montana back to that trip's tight end. We're under 40 seconds to play in the first half. Three-man rush from Henry. He'll take the underneath route. Finds Randy Moss, picks up a first down at the 18-yard line. And Cobo seems like he's just... He's relaxed. He's playing he's his game. Comfortable. He's playing his game. And that's all it really takes is one turnover, you know, to, to shake the nerves off and like, okay, I'm good. But it's also two stops. He didn't give up touchdowns on either of those plays, even when he gave up a short field on the first drive, held him to a field goal. That's the difference. It's been two touchdowns for Kobo, two field goals for Henry. I mean, this is a monster possession here. Uh, if, if Kobo gets a touchdown, I, I, I'm telling you right now, man, he's going to put a lot of pressure on Mr. Henry. And I don't, think, I, don't, I don't think anybody predicted this, seeing it the way we're seeing it right now. Stretch run left side. Kamara's got room. Kamara's got the pylon. And Kobo's <sighs> back to don't a two-score lead. User, that's a formation we ain't seen from Kobo uh, in, in the last game at all. And he, he pulled that out of nowhere. Huge score right there. And if you're playing against Henry, this is what it's got to be. You cannot take any of these possessions for granted. And great job by Kobo punching into his last two opportunities. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, you, you touched on it right there. One of the toughest places to score is in the red zone. Yeah. And right there, running something that Henry probably is not used to seeing, coming out there, running out the stretch ace, stretch slot. And, you know, Henry, you heard him say, take neck, taking a note right there, like, okay, he's going to run stretch out of this formation because he probably didn't really know what to expect, bubble screen, anything. Well, it was it interesting. like Henry called out the pass the way, and he was manned up calling out the pass because the defenders turned and ran. They never recognized the run, and those RPOs still incredibly strong. And that was some of the frustration with some serious. You, we, we thought we were going to see the RPO show, and we didn't see that many of them. Nobody opened downfield. Aikman takes off. Nice gain here. It's interesting talking to Kobo yesterday, Ryan. We asked him, like, oh, you know, he streams a lot of games, like. I was going to say something, and then, then we got a technical timeout. Bro, finish, 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 finish. Yeah, finish, but anyways, we were talking to him. He was sitting there, and he was saying, you know, streaming the games, how much of an advantage or disadvantage it is. Mm -hmm. And Koba said, listen, here's the thing. I don't think it's that big of a disadvantage because when I play on stream, he end up maybe keeping four or five plays back. He ends up, he'll, he'll stream, but there's four or five plays that people won't see him run. He said that during uh, the qualifiers, he needed a play to get, win in the brackets, and he whipped out one of those plays that nobody had seen yet, and it was a different look. That could have been one of those plays, that stretch run that Henry, even though he labs with them all the time, he show, it comes out with a stretch run that Henry hasn't seen him run before. How many more does he have in the back of his head? Okay, if I need a big play, I'm going to go to this look. 100%, and user, you noted it. The look on Henry's face, his expression let him know he wasn't prepared for the play that he just saw. He called out man, he ran stretch, so he took away the slant. But on the weak side, that run to the left was wide open. It's one of the most open touchdowns that we've seen Henry actually give up. Yeah, just give it, gave it right up. And, you know, Kobo able to walk into the walk into the end zone. Now we got a, you know, a situation where these guys are going to have to restart the game. Yeah, so we, the what we had was Henry's game 
just straight up disconnected. Yeah. We've all been there. It, it, it does happen. It doesn't happen a lot, but when it does, it, it's frustrating. And so they're going to have to reset this game. So we're going to be in a little technical timeout you for a second. Maybe an opportunity here for Henry to take a deep breath. So there was, what, we're talking, what, 20 seconds to go in the half? I, I know in NBA games, when you see a stoppage of play, the one thing you do is rally amongst your teammates, talk game plan, you'll bounce around, try to stay warm. User, um, in the gaming world, what do you do when some of these technical difficulties come up? Because we see it, and it happens to happen, unfortunately, in a championship game. But what do you do in this mindset? If you're Henry, if you're Kobo, who does this put more pressure on? I mean, I, honestly, you know, I think this is a... a a disadvantage for Kobo mm. because right now he has all the momentum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You're up on Henry. It's a couple seconds left before half. Henry trying to cook up something just to get some points before half, and then you get disconnected. You got to make sure you stay locked in, stay focused. You know, a, a lot of guys always play the game and say, oh, man, I hate when I get disconnected because I feel like the momentum is different. My guys, you know, we, we had – a different type of energy out here. It seemed like we were swarming around and they not running as fast and stuff like that. And you're hoping that Kobo doesn't let those little things play into his mind. Like, hey, it's just restart the game. You're still up your points. Keep the same mentality that you had to get you in this position in the ball game. Yeah, and at the end of the day, listen, both guys have to go through this this technical timeout. It's not one person or the other. So for, for Henry, it's maybe a little bit of a mental reset. But for Kobo, yeah, as you talked about it, it's about knowing that, listen, I'm in control of this game right now and to not get out of that game plan that got him here because so far, let's be honest, this game is shades of Henry and Dez at mm. the Madden Bowl. He jumped yeah. on him early and quick. And he was confident. And here's the thing, Kobo's going to get put to the test. The reason I say so, he came over here and he sat with us and one of the things that just stood out out of everything he said is... I worked on my mental game. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to get frustrated. I'm not trying to get too high or too low in situations. And this is a situation where it, it's hard to use it and mm -hmm. not look back and be like, mm -hmm. I'm whooping on the on the, that dude. Mm -hmm. I'm whooping on the champ right now. Get too excited or go, oh man, why does this have to happen to be me? So Correct. in the highest moment, He's going to be tested on the things that he's worked on right now. He's been played great to so yeah. so far. That mental fortitude has to be tough because, like, you'll, you'll start saying little things in the back of your head subconsciously, like, oh, man, don't, don't blow it now. Oh, this right here was a situation. This cost me. And then you start to see things unravel. Mm. Just like kind of remember that game with – my guy TJ in the beach named John. Yeah, TJ yeah, yeah. still had a chance to win that ball game, even though he didn't recover that onside. And he goes right back, throws another, and throws an interception. And he's like, what well, the onside cost me? No, not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were just kind of on tilt. And you got to be able to, like you said, stay not too high, not too low, stay right in the middle in this situation. And somebody else who talked about the, the improvements in the mentals was John Beast. John Beast said that's one of the things that got him to win a belt and win a second belt was getting those highs. Listen, he's going to be an emotional guy. I mean, he's certainly Kobo is much more even keeled, but for John Beast, he's going to be an emotional guy, but it's being able to bring that back down to a center and not let, listen, it's a video game. These things happen. Bad, disconnects and bad breaks. You saw Kobo in that semifinal yeah. lose a fumble, have Donald Parham not get his feet inbounds on an open pass and drop an open pick six, and yet he was able to, to get that mental state right to win that game. I, I'm really impressed strategically you guys talk about different plays. The one thing that we're seeing from Kobo is a lot of verticals. I didn't see him run a lot of verticals uh, in, in totally that game against some serious. Yeah. He's running those verticals. Why? Because that seam ends up frying that man press. Henry's getting in and he's man pressing because a lot of times when you play trips tight end, man defense is the one that's going to stick to those routes, run with those posts, and then he got him over the top with that big touchdown, the run play. How many more adjustments does he have? Because when I look at Henry play, when we watch him, he's not just great because of one thing he does. He's great because he adjusts. Um, can he keep it up? Do you see Henry adjusting to the verticals of uh, 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 play? I mean, where does this game I mean, go? Even though Henry is down right now, you got to understand, he gets ball at half. So yeah. if he goes down... Gets the ball at half, scores, get the two points. Henry needs one stop. Mm. I mean, how many times have we seen a situ situation where Henry needs a stop and he, he gets, gets a stop? You know, especially what I'm as a defensive guy. Yeah, I so mean, it may it may look. This game dark. is far from over. It's, yeah, it's far from over. It, it okay. may look dark. It may look like, mm, but listen, there's plenty of game left. Henry gets the ball at half. And he's only down Fresh, two possessions. Clean, clean slate right now. Clean slate. Mass both of y'all. Who you taking? Clean oh, you, slate you right saying, now. You, so, Who so, you taking? 
So you saying let's let's I'm gonna scream. forget all the motion you did earlier. Oh, first of and all, the, you, you first, padded one you side, you padded another. No, I'm gonna no, forget no, it no, all. No, Who no, you first, taking? First of all, false accusations. You know what I'm saying? I I, I was up here just doing my job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now if you saying clean slate, right? Now, cause it might have seemed like I was saying Henry was gonna win that ball game. That would have made it seem like, but that's not what I said. That's who, not what I said. Who, but you didn't answer, answer his question, question man. Huh? Clean slate right now. Who Please are you slate. taking? And you got man, the lead, like, Cobo. I feel like I'm at the, the blackjack table or something, man. Why is it so much pressure? Wait, who are you taking? I'm just Wait, hit man. or stand. Hey, I feel like I got a twenty and the dealer's showing a six. Like, oh man, you know. But did they flip Same. over? It's, oh, no, it's oh, actually no. 21 to six. Flip over, it's, a five. it's actually 21 to hey, six. Hey Nick, you know what he wants to say right now. Go ahead and say it. Take Go it. ahead and say it. In the it. words of you, say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. Listen, he wants to say it. I stand on business. Okay. I stand on business. Well, Henry, man. If we all were shoes up here, this man would be a flip flop. <laughs> While we wait for play to resume, let's reward the audience for tuning in tonight and give away our first dump truck of the night. We're gonna have those two AKAs we gave away earlier, Patrick Sertan and Patrick Mahomes. It's a pretty good dump truck. Our winner of this, Pastor Joseph. <laughs> a huge congratulations to you, Pastor Joseph. We'll be in touch shortly. As we wait through this technical timeout, 21 to six, uh, Kobo on top. And man, I, I also feel like this is, this is a moment. I, this could be advantageous for Kobo if he has some of those plays in the back of his head, because so much is, is when you're playing, you're just trying to stay in the moment. But right now you have an opportunity to be like, okay, here's what I'm seeing from Henry. I know if I run this and this, he hasn't seen this before. Who are you rolling with? Who am I rolling with? Who are you rolling with? We going with... on, we gonna give you a chance to redo. Who are you sure. rolling with? Man who's up 21 to six right now. <laughs> oh. I think he's got defensively, I have not seen, he's got Henry in a bag defensively right now. He gave him a short field, held him to a field goal, and then on the next drive held him to another field goal. To hold Henry to field goals in a game where he has been so good, so methodical offensively. Now again, technical timeout could change everything. We know how momentum changes in the game, but to me, the way that he's been playing up 21 to six, and the way that he has looked confident, He's centered. He's not letting those high scores touchdowns, but he gets right back down into his. I mean, this is this feels like it's built for Kobo. If he doesn't win this, let's say this. If Kobo doesn't win this, I don't know if he can win it. But I think he's in as good a position as we've seen from anyone since Dez. I, I think you know Kobo had all the moments. And I said it with my chest, okay? Well, yeah, I didn't yeah, flip flop well, and back away. Yeah, mm -hmm. you did say it with chest. We appreciate but it's that. Easy. Thank you. It's, you know, it's, they it's, put me in a turkey and I said it with my chest. But it's easy to say that when you're up 21-6. Well, you were that, we gave you the same shot. Listen. We gave you the same. And I stood with Henry. I stood with Henry. I stood on business. So you're, so you're sticking with Henry? Yes, I'm okay. sticking with Henry. Because I, I understand the situation. And like all he really needs is one stop. Go down here and get six. That's it. And you know, we're going to take a second and look at one of these films breakdown at one of these plays that we looked at at the first half. Right here, this situation, Kobo comes out. And it's a formation that Henry normally hasn't seen before. I thought it was Ace Twins. Couldn't see that other receiver all the way over there. See, he is wide. He is way <laughs> outside. <laughs> he was all the way over there, and he's able to run a stretch left. And you kind of see Henry's like, I really don't know what to expect right now. Trying to figure out, is it going to be a bubble screen, something on the left? Could it be a dive right here, first, first and goal from the six? And Kobo just choosing to run a stretch right here. And as you see, the little hesitation from the user. Correct. But look and at, hold on, look at those defenders. You see those defenders up on the left user? Correct. Those top left defenders, they turn and, and look at their hips. They are going and they're running with their man. They're not even paying attention to this run right now. Correct. And it's an RPO, by the way. Why is that so big? Because the AI does not adjust to these RPOs. It has to respect the pass option. And then you, Nick hit it on the head. You can see. It was, it was such a subtle move. Henry user, he was normally he's you know sprinting to the play. Yeah. It took a second for him. He to took like it. it was like one little hip turn. And it it, that's all it way. takes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was trying to figure out what was happening, and then he, that's why he said, "Okay, noted. Okay, that's the play I need to know about." So you know those little plays, like you say, how many more sneaky plays does Kobo had? Guys, when we think about legacy games, this is going to turn into a legacy game for Henry in a sense where we're going to be speaking about it 
where he ended up losing to Daz, got routed. I think it's a different scenario than that. Um, but also, if he wins this, this is going to be one that we're going to be referring back to for a very long time. Because if he gets this game user, he's going to have to go back and work. This is going to be nothing given. Kobo is prepared for everything Henry's doing, and he's saying, I can't stop him, as Nick noted. Let me keep this short field. And sometimes that is the best defense you can play. And when he plays some serious, he was in a similar situation, got this stop inside the 20-yard line. So it, it, it looks like a, a, it is his strategy. The, see, the thing about it, I'm looking at it like I'm looking at it two ways, right? We, we got the technical timeout. Henry's coming out. He, he gets the ball at half. He goes down here. He's still going to have, like, I think 20 seconds, 25 seconds in the half, and he's near midfield. So okay. he could get some points here to end the half. I'm, I'm worst case scenario. But in worst case, he gets let's nothing. Say, let's sure, say sure. he gets nothing. Let's say he gets nothing. He gets the ball at half. He goes down, does what Henry does, and gets seven. Yeah. If Henry gets a stop, ain't no doubt in my mind that boy Foley. No doubt. Ooh. No doubt. He said that with his chest. No, no doubt, no. because it's so much pressure to sit there and think, like, oh, here we can go down here and tie this ball game up, all this type of stuff. We're going to really see if yeah. that mental fortitude is built like he said it is. It's easy to say you built for a situation if you don't have to prove that you built for the situation. Exactly. But do, do you agree, as far as the legacy game, if Henry completes this comeback, this is one we're going to be pointing to? This no, is I, and, and let me ask this. Is this almost the get back to that Dez game where he got flooded? Now, I, I, the thing about it, I don't even think it's so dramatic. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like it's three possessions. It's really just two. He gets the ball ahead half and one stop, and then everything unravels. Everything been rolling for, yeah. for, for, for Kobo. How is it I'll say dramatic? This. Because the momentum. I'm one of the old school guys. The momentum, I'm pretty sure the season that Henry is, he's thinking of any and everything. If things was moving fast, things have slowed all the way down for him now. The pressure is on Kobo. Can he handle this situation? Being able to sit here for 10, 15 minutes, keep your fingers warm, juices going, you yeah, already, yeah, yeah. you got him on the ropes, and then all of a sudden the ref jumping, hey, hey, <laughs> I'll say hey. This. Is it overstating for the community this game if Kobe was able to take down Henry, there's only been one person that we've seen that's been able to take down Henry. If Kobe was able to do it, maybe it gives a little hope to a lot of people. Out, like, this man is human. He might not have looked human look, a lot. Look, Dez, but Dez. it looks like we're about ready to go back to the game, by the way. It looks like they're right about the right spot. Ball's at the 43-yard line. We're about ready to get I back into this it. This is kind of different. Dad snuck Henry. I don't think Henry was ready for that dollar. This ain't a sneak. This is no. you played against. This is your. Yeah. You know, you know who this is. I beat you. We are back at. The, we appreciate everybody's patience through that. They have reset it. We are back at where we're supposed to be. It's twenty-one to six. Kobo with the lead. Henry with the ball in the forty-three-yard line. Fifteen seconds left. I feel like getting three here. I know we we downplay oh, field no, goals, no, no, but no, no, getting no, no. three here is important. One of my favorite tight, uh, sets here. That's this wide offset. And what it is, it's a it's a nice little cover two beater. Taking oh Pick pressure it. got Ooh. there. That was that Isaiah pull him up. His own player used against him. <laughs> and if that would have been picked, that would have been a play that has that only really happened because of the patch. Eleven seconds remain in our first half again. We appreciate everybody who's patient through that technical timeout. Just a, a disconnect, but we reset everything and we are good to go. So we do appreciate you guys hanging with us. We'll just call a little extra time to get those drops. Pressure once again, that's third and ten. That's a formation we rarely, if at all, ever see from Henry. So interesting, uh, he went to that from that wide offset. And one thing is that play, it doesn't block any type of pressure well. So uh, you, you see Kobo in there screamed in. Seven seconds left. What does Henry dial up here? Pressure once again, two seconds remain. How about the response? We wondered how the technical timeout would affect Kobo. He came out here screaming. Yeah, his guys is fighting. It seemed like they got the same energy that they had before the game was disconnected. Ryan, I don't know why you smiling. No, over because you do. It, you've it, been it, doing it, a lot it, of talking, like man. You, it seemed like you're going against the champ. Throwing it up back in the I mean, end you zone. Asked, you asked us, me. And he you. got that ball out of bounds. He got that pass out of bounds. You asked me. And I you. want because you haven't said nothing with your chest. 
No. Niggas, niggas are two play answers play. the question and stop trying to cut me off. Who do you like? I like Henry with my chest. Oh, okay. So you think Henry's gonna come back? I know he's gonna come back. Mm -hmm. How about that? But uh, I got all the respect in the world for Kobo and what he what he's come out and been able to do. So they are. So we are gonna have uh, Kobo pump this back to Henry because in the original game it was Henry getting the ball to start the second half. So just a little little punt trade. And Henry will take it to the 25-yard line, fall down there, and that is where we'll have the second half. So 21 to six at half, massive drive for both players to start the second half. Yeah, this right, right now here. this is the drive that user promised that Henry would score on, and let's see. And, and, and Kobo, I like what Kobo's doing. He's in that dollar, but he's been sending a lot of heat, man. Aikman stepping left, throwing right. He's got Randy Moss with the catch, big hit by Tariq Woolen. And if I'm Henry, I go on conservative right now because I cannot afford a turnover. It doesn't matter about the big play jukes. Just make sure that I don't get beat by the game, that he got to beat me. Hey, say what you want. I respect this Kobo. Right now, what he's doing, Kobo was going after Henry. He's not sitting back on his heels because if he knows if he gets a big sack, this could be everything closer to this to a ball game, and he's putting a lot of pressure on Henry right now. We gotta give a big shout out, by the way, to the Mutt content team. One of the coolest items in the game right now, user, that Terry Tate in the game. How cool is that to see that in the game? Yeah, the Terry Tate was tough. And, and you know the crazy thing is, in my chat, they said this will, and that's uh -oh, a, pick it, pick that's it. a dangerous Ooh. call picked off. Night train lane with the interception. Kobo's defense out. comes out and forces a turnover, yeah, and he's in firm control in the second half. Man, if you're Kobo, you have to be ecstatic. He manned up that crosser from Henry. Henry was looking to get those big chunks back in the basket in the, excuse me, in the football game, and he couldn't get it. And a lot of pressure. Henry trying to make something happen. Probably should have threw that ball away. And now... Now he's in a dire situation. <laughs> you must the champ. That's a ball. Balls out though, and Henry recovers the fumble. The user yeah, strips, and he's back to life. Life. <laughs> life. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Monumental. I mean, ship there. Kobo actually goes to bunch, goes to run base, tries to play it safe. Peanut punch Henry. gets him. And you know, you tried to blame the mush on me. You tried to push him so hard. I mean, oh, my wow. goodness. Gift wrap out here dropping. I don't know what's going on right now. That was a poor act. Here it is. Kamar in the pile. Here comes the user strip. It was Riley with the strip. And Miller scoops up the free turnover. And here we are. We're back. 21 to 6. Throw to the flat. It's Kamara with the catch out of bounds of the 35 yard line. And here's the thing about that Kamara card. It will burn, you know, it, it has a great short route running, but he's not the greatest runner. He will fumble, he will get lit up, and, and, and we saw him get strip sack right there. The strips are, are toned down a lot, but they're still in the they're game. They're still good. And, and listen, Henry taking Kobo to the strip club, I think it kind of shook him up, and now I see Henry playing his game. He's checking down, he's not getting greedy, he's taking what's given to him. I like it. Getting out of bounds, still moving the ball, saving the clock. Do you feel like Henry should have came out with this, or do you think it was a little arrogant of Henry because he just started taking shot after shot? Well, he hit the first two, and it felt like that was he was mm. like, okay, I know how to do this. I'm going to dot him up. But Yep. I mean, a fortunate break for Henry after throwing a, 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 a book. He gets the fumble the very next um. play. Blitz brought, picked up nicely. Par mm -hmm. with the catch and takes a big hit. Again, you got to have all the respect in the world for Kobo. He's going after Henry. He's not sitting back on his heels. He wants to force a turnover, and he's putting pressure on him. That's a Challenge beamer. The user. Set feet lead. Oh. End zone. Touchdown. We got a ball game. Nice. Like it, I was it, saying, he it, was going to come out after half. On the second drive. That's not what you on said. On the second drive. That is not the one you said. He threw a book. Listen, sometimes you got to give it, then take it away. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> if y'all can see the way user is cheering right now. I'm not cheering. Two. Hold I'm, on. Go. Yeah, you are. Going for two. Going for two. two. I'm not, a seven listen, point game. I am the most unbiased caster there has ever been. Henry got a little bit like of lies from, from user. Sides. He got to respect this boy Kobo. This boy Kobo is making Henry have to play football. He's backing up everything he said. All those son comments, all those, oh, I want Henry. It looked like he does want Henry. Kicks up. It's okay. good. Eight-point game. 
Henry about to show the most immaculate defense ever seen by a man. Watch the adjustments. If you're if you're Henry though, he's he has to adjust because he he he's been he switched to the man. He got more conservative. He stopped blitzing him. Do you blitz him or do you get more conservative? Here's all I'm saying. The amount of bias you're showing out here is disgusting. You might as well play for the 76ers because you're Tobias Harris. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, God. Montana, left side. He's got Garrett Wilson to the 40, to the 45 yard line, first down for Kobo. And that's that route combination that Kobo talked about before that he used on something serious. Has the hitch on the inside guy, Garrett Wilson, in the angle route. And you see basically Henry's user lost in space, trying to decide where to go to. Uh oh, looks like Kobo gonna take a shot here. Montana. Nobody oh, open, but he's pocket. got nothing but green grass in front of him. He'll slide down to the 39 yard line. First down, 16 yards. The first time we've really seen Montana get loose. Yeah, Joe Montana looked real elusive there. There's been a lot of Montana slander here, man, uh, from, from user. I mean, that was great pocket right there by Henry. He had him. He's taking the shot late. Can Come he on. get him? Garrett Wilson, end zone, oh, touchdown. One stop, man. Immaculate defense. Oh, wait. He gave up. He did give up. <laughs> What's going on up here? Do your job, Nick. I mean, we, I think we're, we're seeing. <laughs> Nostradamus our, over here. Our, our, our crew has. has <laughs> Nostradamus. But uh, you seem like you're tired of seeing this man. I'm been. tired of the bias. <laughs> Call the game. Do you be a professional like Ryan? <laughs> I, listen, are you serious? Look at this dot here. He this had a the streak. Up the middle, no set feet you, lead. You trash Montana. You said the immaculate defense was coming out. They disproved you on one play. Listen. Respect. Show your respect. I, I'm giving it to Kobo. Kobo is doing his thing. Y'all not going to sit up here and jump me, man. That's no, what y'all not going to do. He was going to score and get a stop, and he actually did neither. He actually did neither of them, actually. I mean, that's what I was thinking going to happen. You know what I'm saying? 28 13. Game still far from over. Aikman rolling right. I think the Henry fans are frustrated that you found a way to mush what, the no, unmushable. No, no, You mushed the unmushable somehow. No, no. no. Oh, call this man oatmeal because he's no. nothing but mush. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? How man? do you mush Henry of all people? He's got six of things. You out here mush. Listen, I mean, I'm we're, not we're, mushing that man. Let's focus here. He's going for his seventh belt. This is his Tom Brady. Fourth and ten. Oh, my goodness. Hey, man, Kobo is sending the dogs. He's scoring at will. He said he was ready for Henry, and this trip's tight end is serious. Fourth down. Aikman back to pass. Three-man rush from Kobo. Oh. Swatted. Turnover. And the defense Sonny from Kobo. Finish. That's the difference right now. He's got Henry in a box, in a bag, in a satchel. That's a Snuggie. A Snuggie. That's right. a Snuggie. He has him in a Snuggie. And, you know, Kobo has been playing immaculate defense, but that right there, that's not a read I'm expecting Henry to make. Not, yeah. No pressure, throwing that. Here's the deal covered. right now. He can take three. He can take three. He don't got to score. This is what's dangerous, user. This is snuggy. I need you to stop directing all that energy and that emotion. There's a lot of energy me. going Listen, towards the middle. He doesn't like, like being in the middle. That's the, the thing. Way, <laughs> the, way, the way you acting, you acting as if you pick Kobo. Left side, I did, good click on him about a pick. That wasn't I'm not great a much either. either. Listen, let's be honest. We got a lot of people in the chat. No. Chat, different. give me a one in the chat if you think uses the mush. Give me a two in the chat if you, you know think uses the mush. Y'all don't even have the chat up and y'all over here trying to pull <laughs> the chat in. This is crazy. Chat, Nick ain't looked in the chat in eight years. Ain't no, no sir. Way. In all reality, we talked about John Beast. Can Chase giving... get the first down? Good. He does get the first wow. down. We talked about John Beast throwing out a number of different formations in his bunch. Mm -hmm. Kobo is out. I mean, he's he got to be in the 30, 40s already with the combinations he's used. Yeah, Kobo is cooking. We want 43 from John Beast out of one formation. I'd be interested to see what Kobo's numbers are as he has mixed up the play calling to perfection. Hand off to Camara, the Tennessee volunteer to the 12 yard line. Let's be honest, Kobo looked prepared. He just looks prepared. Look like switching? No, I, no, <laughs> I picked Henry, but I'm just saying it looked like Kobo was prepared and you can look uh, at the body language. Henry's looking like, yeah, looks like Kobo was prepared for almost everything that he cooked up out here. You got to tip your hat off to him being in full control of this game. Clock management runs the whole nine. Another new play that we hadn't seen. 
I, I mean, he, he is absolutely prepared. And that's the thing about this Bills playbook. A lot of people don't run this Bills playbook, but the Bills playbook does have some very unique runs. If you want to run, you want RPO stretches, it's got a number of them, but uh, uh, great looks that uh, Kobo's taking advantage. So are you telling me at this point now, Henry's going to lose? Or are you still holding tight? Listen, I, I, I liked Henry's game. At the end of the day, Kobo came out here and he showed that he was well prepared for the situation, even with the technical the, timeout, with the fumble, the whole night. Those are the been, pistol stretch that time. The Bills tour right now. Yeah, Goodness. He, he's been able to fight through adversity, and you can't do nothing but tip your hat to Kobo. And, but by the way, I mean, this is, this is a different situation than Kobo's been in before. There, this game is not over, and if you're Kobo, you talk about the mental game. You can't start thinking about that belt that's sitting right, uh, right there two feet away from you. There's still a lot of game left. Yeah, he's, he's definitely a turnover and a stop away, but for Henry, man, he, he's going to have to go out and, and work. There's nothing going to be uh, e easy in this situation, but the oh, tough part... Tomorrow. End zone. Rocky Top, your man's in the end zone, and Kobo has opened up a three-score lead on the six-time chain. Kobo is putting on a tour of the Bills playbook. Everybody runs that Eagles or Colts. And, and he's seeing this Bills playbook that is, that is serious. And I think that we watched uh, some Kobo against some serious, and I don't think Kobo. anybody saw this. It's almost like he just kind of was chilling against some serious because this is this is serious. Yeah, it's serious, I, I, user. I mean, honestly, we didn't see this coming. And at the end of the day, you could tell Kobo was prepared for every situation. He was prepared for, you know, his defense, the dollar. He was prepared for his bunch combinations. Scream on. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh, Henry struggling with that dollar. Notice it's not the edges going. It's the middle of the field that's blitzing him. Guys, make sure you stay tuned. We've got post-game coverage coming up next. We'll have highlights. We'll have drops, giveaways, the whole shebang. That's all coming up afterwards on all the platforms, on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. So stay tuned for post-game coverage here from San Francisco. 35-13 our score. Henry wow. with the ball up the scene. He finds Randy Moss. That was a set feet lead throw if I've ever seen one. Because I'm not sure how much time he had to throw that ball. And, and here is the one setback. If that set feet lead isn't working, you know, what happens is you don't have hot route master. You can't get really unique with your routes and make those posts and corners and, and, and table routes. There's the streak to the left. I, did he have that earlier? Yeah. I, I, felt like, I felt like because Kobo's defense has been smothering it's getting Henry off of his reads earlier yeah he, well Kobo can predict what Henry is going to do because he he can't create those u unique routes so obviously I think I'm still all in on, on that set feet lead but Kobo looks so as, like as he like mentioned master. you have to amplify what you do wow you got to amplify what you do and right now Kobo has shown us darn near uh, probably be between 30 and 40 different looks out of that trip's tight end. Fourth and one for Henry. Got him up the sidelines. Jamar Chase with the catch inside the red zone. Yeah, Henry had that Kamara too, but he made sure he stared down the sideline. Gutsy move there by Henry. And a smart move with the possession catch because you know that deep out, what it, he has the touchdown. Throws it into double coverage. No, honestly, I didn't see that safety sitting there. You, you, yeah, you were looking at that as the touchdown. Yeah, because he blended in. in. He blended in, you know? <laughs> And for, the, for Henry right now, he has to score immediate, and, and he's not able to get the deep throws. Didn't this, help. Staying this, in where he, this is where he's been struggling at all game, inside the red, the red zone. zone. I mean, and, it's the hardest Kobo, place to get, get Notice room. Kobo in that 3-3, Nick. Mm -hmm. He got out a dollar. Back in the end zone, Adams can't get the feet in bounds. He's going to set up a second and goal. Thirty-five, thirteen. Bunch to the left side, solo receiver to the right side of the formation. It, it's going to take a miracle from him. He's got to get this score, and then he's got to go straight onside kicks and turnovers for, at this point. But, I mean, Kobo. It, he's it, got him. He, Touchdown. Yeah, take Garrett time. Wilson into the end zone for Henry. <laughs> he takes a look <laughs> yeah. back at He's like, he's like, you do see the scoreboard, right? Yeah, like, so here, every time there's a touchdown score, every touchdown some... matters, guys. Mmm. Kobo is screaming, and we talked about the champ is going to do it on defense, and I think we are going to have put respect on Kobo. He's known for an offense. Not a high kick. Not but a high kick. This is a normal onside kick, by the way. Ooh, it split everybody, but that referee is not a legal player to pick it up, so Kobo will take over. Let's go now. 
Listen, yeah, no, no high kicks. I'm, I'm surprised to see that because those fumbles end up happening a whole lot. And if you're Cobo right now, all you got to do is take time. You can Cobo, take time, don't turn it over, and just run clock. And Cobo going to goal line, letting you know he's trying to get out of here. Kobo, I don't think anybody in the world other than Nick Mazesco believed him when he said he wanted Nick Henry. Nick believe it. Nick ain't believe it. He said he wanted Henry. Yeah, and and, and, and he, now his actions are, are, are matching everything that he said. You're right. Wow. Got he him. must have rapped. I mean. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did. And Stop he'll it. go to the end zone. Exclamation point, period, no question mark. He did the unthinkable. I, I mean, listen, we are we are seeing hands and feet getting put all over Henry right now. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And over I, your take earlier. Over your take as well. You're not going to throw me up under the bus. I'm pulling you up it's, under here with me. It's the return of the mush. Return of the yeah, mush. Man. Once again, Rit. We didn't think it was possible. But he's back. We didn't think it was possible this for you to mush. How? Can we make use of the stuffing? Because it's kind of like a mush. Nah, listen, don't get mad, okay? Nurky, I am mad. The nurky, nurky, the nurky mad. got me mad. Don't get mad because you was birthed by a turkey. Don't do that. What I'm more impressed with is that when Kobo needs to run, he's got all the run plays dialed up. And these two are happy for each other. They laugh up, together, um, you know, cheering for each other. But make no mistake, man, Kobo <sighs> came in here with a mission. And you, you got to give credit to anybody willing to call out the champ. It's one thing to call out mm -hmm. some of the other players. And he you backed call it out up. The champ. He backed it up. He backed it up, and he had a lot of adversity but that he had to fight through today. You know, first off, the game was something serious. I felt like his two stops was very unfortunate. The fumble, not getting his feet in bounds, and then you talk about you know him versus Henry, the disconnect. Then he comes right out, and he stops Henry, but then he fumbles. You know, he had a lot of things that went against him, and he was able. He was able to push Take through. Down the Guys, you're starting to see the emotion hit Kobo. He, it, 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 it's sinking in. It's sinking in. in now. Right? It's sinking in now. Big shout out Henry just taking the knees, knows that this one is over. As we wait for the final seconds to tick off. And I mean. We have a harvest challenge champion. There are zeros on the clock. Indio, California, your native son is bringing home a belt. <laughs> Kobo is your Harvest Challenge champion. You got to feel great for this young man. You know it meant something for him. Guys, don't go anywhere. We've got post-game coverage, drops, giveaways, dump trucks. It's all coming up on the post-game show. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Just too fast, yeah, I kill him and strive. I love all my haters, they concealing their pride. Went from humble beginners to numerous winners. I took a few losses, you know I'm here to still got chicken to fry. Know some people out here picking the side. Know I'm out here picking the lot. Watching the fakes, watching the snakes, slithers, striking the time. TDE, it's the family, we them dominant dogs. Top tearing, when them comments evolve, we out for it all. Rock out, he ain't dropping the ball. Prime time, who want it with us? Us. Got clarity, longevity, like bus and bus. Got too far in this, the starving this, and that's a no no. If I'm hungry, then I'm hunting, always on the go go. Been a part of my whole life. Mama love when I'm living right. Daddy raised me, surviving fight. Now they watching me on prime time. Now they watching me on prime time.
I went out and got everything on my own. Please don't try to give me no advice. Where was your two cents and we was down bad broken? My mama couldn't keep on the light. No cat and no dog, we sleeping with mice. Beans and weenies, we ate it with rice. I swore to my mama that I was gonna change our life. I was grinding every night. I was by the ring that I'm just trying to get it. Championship, I'm trying to win it. All these racks, I gotta spin it. All my whips be limo You ain't with my squad and mind your business. Everything we start, we finish. Watch how I work the hardest with it. Tongue out like I'm Jordan. I'm trying to change my name. Dog days went through pain. Them hard days, I wouldn't change. It's the reason I'm still in the game. It's the reason I'm stacking this chain. It's the reason I'm chasing this rain. It's the reason I'm still in my lane. It's the reason I'm never gonna change my heart in the game. in the house 19 years old the youngest player in the field takes home the harvest challenge belt Kobo is your harvest challenge champion he takes home thirty thousand dollars and this beautiful harvest champion belt sitting in front of him and we have the champ sitting with us welcome in everybody watching on twitch youtube twitter and tiktok nick mazesco one great user ryan hollins and the champ Kobo does it feel good to hear that? Yeah, it does. It feels great. You know, I beat my father, so I feel like the son finally took over. <laughs> and now he's better, so, yeah. you know. Yeah. You got a smile from better here over there, man. Um, first of all, congratulations. I think it's important. Let's take a look at some highlights from this game because from start to finish, it felt like you had the defensive game plan even when things didn't go right, you had a fumble not go your way. But it seemed like defensively you knew what you wanted to do. Yeah. I mean, I was running like basically the tour of the whole playbook, starting dollars, see if he could pick it up. And then I kind of had to switch to 335 to try and get some pressure. And I feel like that was by far the best defense for him. As we take a look at 7-3 game, you find Jamar Chase. User slander Joe Montana a whole lot. Can you give a little defense for Joey Montana? I think set feet is like probably the best ability right now, but it's not in trips. So like, I feel like you need Hara Master to be in trips to beat like all the meta defenses. So that's why I stuck with Joe. I mean, I tried Set Fee, I tried Lamar, and even Moon, but it just, uh, I don't think it, it's good it at trips. It, Montana was the one that was the best. Yeah, out of that I knew formation. I had to just stick with him if I want to be my best. But the point is, I, I was saying, Joe Montana, right now, I didn't think he was one of the best quarterbacks to be used anyway. I felt like, you know, I'm one of those guys when a new quarterback comes back, come out, I'm like, you know what? This other quarterback, he's going to start falling off. So that's why I felt like Joe Montana was so old. I was surprised that you brought him out here. But like you said, the hot route master was so vital for your formation. Kobo, mm -hmm. knowing that Henry was backstage watching your game against some serious, was there a lot that you held back knowing that when you saw him, you were going to pull out a number of plays? Because we saw so many things you did that you did not do uh, against some serious. Well, they don't play alike, so I don't have to like hold anything back. Uh, and then when you're at live, like you can't hold anything back. You gotta use any type of play, you know, so you could score where it could benefit you. And, and like you know, first off, you know, when the cameras was off, mm -hmm. you know, we just gotta clarify this. Like, you don't believe in that much stuff. Now, you know, at, at the end of the day, I'm one of those guys. You gotta earn it. You gotta prove it. You know what I'm saying? I heard you said you believe you wanted Henry, and I'm like, yeah, it sounds good. You had to prove it. You came up here, you showed me. You're not afraid of the moment. You're not afraid of the baddest man in the land. And so you earned that and you earned that respect for me. But as far as the mush, let's go ahead and put that to bed right now. You don't believe in none of that. Oh, These no, you, guys You for sure have a curse, like. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for saying what yes. we've been saying for years. Come on, man. Like, like I asked you specifically, brother. He was looking for an answer. You <laughs> yeah, were trying yeah. to softball that one. It, it, it ain't no also Kobo. There was a, a situation, you're locked in, you're playing amazing, the game cuts out, out of nowhere. How much were you tested of, you talked about mentally preparing yourself, staying even kill, staying with your game plan. Where did your mind go during that break? Because we didn't know if you had the experience to turn it back on and you actually played better, we might add, right? I mean, it didn't change anything. I was just focused. Like, I don't, I don't think it changed anything. Like, momentum isn't that big of a deal, so. And I was just locked in once we started back up. You know, in this situation, you see a lot of guys, you know, 
not many people able to do what you <laughs> just did, able to come out here and beat Henry. Do you feel like you still have things to prove before people start giving you respect? Because some people can look and say, oh, man, you know, one fluky win versus the champ. Is, are you going to be one of those guys where, you know, you're going to be in that top five conversation? You feel like, hey, I'm one of those guys you need to look out for, like when you say the beast name John. Yeah, I for sure think I should have my respect. You know, my worst finish in, like, the past two years is basically a win and get in. So, I mean, like, that's pretty far in each tournament. I do it constantly every tournament, made a few lives. So, like, I feel like I earned my respect, especially with the belt and being Henry in it. You know, that, you know, people shouldn't, like, doubt that I'm one of the best. I got to ask family back home guys tuned in are they are they watching do, do you know if they were they were tuned into this one and what does it mean to have your family behind you and supporting you in this I mean it's it's I can I can say this as somebody I'm definitely of the older generation but I can't imagine going to my parents and be like I'm gonna play Madden for a living this is how I'm gonna make money how, how important has it been having that family behind you uh, it's great because I mean they're very supportive but obviously like I had to show it but as soon as I showed it like they, they were, were super su super supportive they wanted to know everything like any underground tournament I play, like how I did, how I do each ladders, the limbs, everything. So like they're very supportive. You know, they came to the bowl. They even thought about coming to here today. So like they're very supportive That's of awesome. it. Cobo, why, why were you so confident against Henry? Seems a little odd, somebody who's accomplished so much, so decorated. What made you so confident? We know you backed it up, but coming in, it seemed like you knew something we didn't know. Uh, I just played the game a lot coming up to this event. And I felt really good versus each defense. I didn't end up playing the quarters defense he ran, so like it threw me off to start, but I started like seeing the adjustments he made. But on offense, I mean, I played bunch so many times, like I was pretty ready to play it. What were those adjustments? Because we saw you get to a verticals look that you didn't play much of uh, against some series, but what, what was he doing that made you feel comfortable? Uh, well, he was mainly just pressing the outside and slot receiver, so I like noticed that. And he really wanted a blitz, so I started motion blocking receivers so that blitz couldn't come in. I could have time to make reads. Yeah, we saw that Garrett Wilson motion block a couple times, and he picked it mm -hmm. up nicely. And we're going to take a look at two plays. I feel like they was kind of the vital plays of the game, the breakdowns. They really kind of showed the momentum change. The first one was right after half. Henry gets the ball, even though he's down two possession. I understand how important it is. Okay, well, we're going to go right to, right to where you scored. And this is after Henry's already got the fumble and he scored. Now, this situation is first and 10. A lot of people were kind of saying, you know, are you going to run the ball? Do you kind of get conservative right here? But you choose not to get conservative. Why and what did you see and why do you call that play call? Well, one of the adjustments he was making was putting the two safeties in outside thirds. Okay. So, like, I knew that I couldn't really throw a chase on a streak because I got KO'd the one time. So I knew if he man pressed Garrett Wilson, I could throw it up the seam because they wouldn't be able to get there. Okay, so that's what you was focused on, this mm -hmm. man press right here. And when he ran it, that's when you saw the safety split. Mm -hmm. You was like, okay, Garrett Wilson should be able to get over top. And mm -hmm. that's where you saw an easy touchdown and able to fit it in there. Yeah. W was this the moment, Kobo, where you felt like you won it? Like, was there a moment in the game you're like, nah, I got this? Uh, going like, up 20, yeah, right there. When you're up three <laughs> possessions, you kind of feel like you have it unless you really fumble or get let up onside kicks. It's pretty hard to fold that type of lead. And then another play we want to look at and break down is when Henry, Henry was trying to get seven, right? Mm -hmm. He had already got seven, fourth and 10 in this situation. Now, you have been blitzing them all game. You've been blitzing them all game. You were sending pressure with this guy right here. He was struggling to stop him shoot through the gap. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're kind of wondering, I'm betting Henry thinking it's fourth and 10. You're going to dial up the kitchen sink this time. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mindset? Why did you chose to mix things up? Well, uh, I expected him to run verts or double posts. So I made sure just to run a cover two to stop everything. And I kept my user in the middle for any type of post or crosser coming across there. And everything was just bagged. He ran verts like I thought. Did you feel like you blitzed him because you were up, or did you come in with the mindset that I'm just gonna send pressure no matter what and not sit back on my heels? Uh, I feel like you just have to mix it up very well in this game. Doesn't matter who you play, and I know he fives out a lot, yeah. so I know if I could blitz, I'm gonna get pressure each play, and then he might make a mistake to that. Well, obviously you take home this belt, you win the Harvest Championship, but we got like ladders coming up in three. Are you gonna mm -hmm. be playing those ladders? What, is it just get back right into the rhythm? Uh, yeah, I mean, take a break today and tomorrow, and as soon as I get back, lock back in. I like that, I like that. Well, 
a celebratory turkey leg? I mean, sure. Yeah! Yeah! We got a celebratory turkey leg! Let's go! Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying about turkey. That's See what I'm saying? It's a dice roll. Hey, now, we don't know what you grandma can, can, That's got to be the no, best taste in turkey ever, though, because it's a championship turkey. No, it's cold. Man. Okay, it's not that good. <laughs> Shout out to whoever made that one. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's take a look at our MCS leaderboard. We'll show you where you are right now as we take a look as we head into zero chill qualifiers. How about that? Henry still at the top, 2350. He has locked his spot. But you sit there, John Beast, Kobo moves up to number three with 1,850 points. How's it feel to be sitting there top three right now? I know it's not locked, but you got to feel pretty good about your standing going into Madden Bowl. Yeah, it feels great. I have a chance at getting the bye now, which is like the next goal. And, you know, pretty much locks me for bowl. So that's the other, like, good part, you know, just to be back here and uh, whenever it is at the end of the year. And so, I mean, I mean, yeah. biggest tournament of the year, mm -hmm. and, and you're in a great spot, man. Mm -hmm. It's been fun watching you because, I mean, obviously we've kind of gotten to watch your journey over the last couple of years. Congrats on winning the belt. Congrats on the, the check, the points, all that. Can't wait to see you for these next couple of tournaments. Enjoy this win. We, we tell people this all the time, but these are the moments you got to enjoy. Enjoy mm -hmm. the win. Enjoy it with your family, and big congrats to you. Mm, thank you. Kobo is your Harvest Champion. I mean, what an unbelievable tournament that we had uh, here today as he was able to take down Henry in the final. We got a dump truck to give away. Don't, don't you worry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We've got uh, that the four items that we gave away today. Patrick Sertan and Patrick Mahomes are coming out in that Harvest First release, and Dominic Rogers Cromarty and Jimmy Smith were in the AK release earlier. King Kai 029, you're taking home the dump truck. Is that either of your lurk tags or? I mean, nope. shout out to him, a Dragon Ball Z fan. You already know what it is. Man. So you want he him deserves. to message you. He wants you to message you. He deserves it. Yeah. Big congrats to King Kai. You're taking home our dump truck at the end of the evening. That'll make your team a little bit better. Why? That's crazy? That's crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. That's crazy. That's what you needed. Right before we left. It's better. I don't care. The it's nerky. better. I will take it. The Nurki. The Nurki. No. Yeah. I mean, not, that is making not making those faces, Nick. What? Oh. Yeah. There you go. There, there you go. I mean, can there we talk go. about how? Okay. Yeah. How could this happen to me? I like mean, my when he's trying to break through the door. I mean, why are you so distressed? You look so distressed well, coming out of this, the, the, the turkey. The, I just like how it's lined up like on his head, like it's, it's yeah. perfect line. What, I mean, what, what part of the turkey are you coming out of, Nick? That we don't, listen, we are we for everyone here, sir. You might be able to do that in Houston, but not here in San Francisco, okay, <laughs> sir? Why we got the close-up of the turkey? I don't want to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, why don't you taste the turkey leg, Nick? Nick, yeah, go ahead and taste, taste the turkey, the turkey leg. Man, How about both of you turkey. guys taste the turkey leg? Since y'all was like, turkey is underrated, yes. I was the only one willing to take the shot at the turkeys, to take the shot at the aunties and grandma. I need to see you two guys bite in right now and tell me I need you to apologize dry. to the aunties and grandma and take now, a bite. I will once you two guys take a turkey leg and bite. That's championship turkey Grab legs. your turkey it's leg, Championship Nick. turkey leg. Those are marked for Kobo, and we are not going to sully that. Yeah, yeah. You I, we would, didn't win. We, didn't we ain't going to do it. I don't want no turkey. That's sad because you know it's not good. Well, guess what? We don't even get a break, and that's, that's the fun part about the schedule because we're going to be back in December for the Zero Chill Challenge. Right? Registration is open right now and runs through Sunday, November 19th at 1 p.m. Eastern. But ladders begin on November 18th, so don't fall behind on this one of the last chances to win $30,000 and qualify for the Ultimate Madden Bowl. For one great user and Ryan Hollins, I am Nick Mazesco. Kobo is your Harvest Challenge champion. We will see you next month for the Zero Chill Challenge. Nick, you out? You're the worst. Is the Harvest Challenge live from our EA studios? So then one more. play, one score, 84. Randy Moss puts him up two scores. And Kittle with the journal into the end zone. How about two tenacious, a beautiful drive? He oh, put big a hit. Oh, he dropped it, a big hit, drives that one free. The veteran Sum Series takes on the youngest player in the field and offensive mastermind Kobo. Oh, oh, wow. Big hit, but the ball's out, it's fumbled. <laughs> Bro. 
What the? Uh, was brought great. Uh -oh. Dump off Camaro. And there's your six. Uh -oh. And there's your six. Zone. Touchdown, Colo. Oh, oh, oh my oh goodness. God. As soon as we start talking fool, you in a full sweat. Lab partners by day, competitors by night. It is Kobo battling Henry. Five minutes ago, he talked to Kobo about how confident this is what you asked for. You and Jamar Chase, two feet in. Touchdown. You're not going to give him a shot? Let's go. Oh, the user strip, and he's back to life. <laughs> he's taking the shot late. Can he get him? Darren Wilson, end zone, touchdown. Indio, California, your native son is bringing home a belt. Kobo is your Harvest Challenge champion. Territory Turner, let's go. Let's go, man. It looks so it's good. <laughs>